lovely jewellery makers, how are we all? Oh, my name's Ella, we're meeting for the very first time. It's Sunday and we have got an absolutely incredible, incredible show planned for you. We truly have. Uh, Sunday fun day, absolutely. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Well, this hour is all about laughs and stock opportunities in your beautiful jadeite. Now, if you've missed out, if there's anything in particular that you want to see, drop us a message, give us the number. We've got a, a positive menu, a feast of beautiful, it is a feast, um, a smorgasbord, absolutely, of your favorite gemstone um, that is beautiful jadeite. Now, we all know the value of jadeite. We know that it is skyrocketing. And we know that how uh, Jewelry Maker have made such opportunities accessible to us um, over the past couple of years. Um, these are last of stock, so end of lines. Um, and if there is, uh, um, if you're looking for a great deal, I mean, we always give you great deals on a daily basis, then today is the day in your jadeite. So do have a little look, all the W's at Jewelry maker.com scroll down click watch live scroll down and you'll see each and every single one of those lovely uh those lovely items adam's showing you how to do that oh there you go yeah there's a foot there's another one brilliant um so for example you've got your multicolored jadeite strands red jadeite in a clearance hour oh my goodness me um and i think it's fair to say ignore those prices because they are going to true early bird deals. If there's something that you want to see live on air, like I said earlier on, um, yeah, drop us a message. We've got the last of stock opportunities in the color wheel strand. That's legendary, isn't it? You've got your black jadeites. The, the, I think that's one of the only black jadeite carvings that we've ever done in item number 10. And can we just talk about number 15? Because number 15 is one of the, and I do mean few, a couple, maybe, would you say, Roscoe? Of yellow jadeite strands we have in the entire business. Um, we're going to do something exceptionally exciting um, with that strand. Pure ice white jade. You've got some of your slider jadeites. I love num number 19, Olmec in that beautiful uh, sort of three-dimensional flower. You've got your bangles. Um, you've got your phoenix. Um, the lotus leaf, you've got your lucky pouch, um, amazing. You've got more Olmec carving. So um, look at number 27, it's already at 99 pounds. Um, I'm like, oh, one of my favorites with that samsara flower. Sorry, Roscoe, <laughs> sorry, Adam. Um, yeah, number, what's that? 14.99, Adam's looking. He's like, oh, look at that. that's gotta be wrong, isn't it? He's messed up, 100% messed up. Oh, dear me, Roscoe. Oh, you've got one job. <laughs> His ears are burning. To be fair, though, can I just say, number 29 is one of my favourites, by the way. Um, no, to be fair, Ross, he has got a lot on at the moment, to be fair. Imminent baby arrival. So we can kind of give him the benefit of the doubt, to be fair. To be fair. You can tell that he's just, you know... <sighs> Anything, anything could happen. Do you know what? And we had a conversation earlier on. I'm just going to say this. We had a conversation about when baby does arrive. And I was like, look, you know, try and enjoy the last few weeks. Try and be all the advice that, you know, parents that we, we give on a regular basis. Try and get as much rest as you possibly can. It's easy to do when you or to say he's got a two year old as well. So there's not going to be that much rest going on. It wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, just charge yourself up. But I said, because, you know, sleepless nights. I said, mind you, you know, if she's going to breastfeed, then, you know, you can still. And he's like, no, 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 Al. I'll be getting up too. So that's very admirable, Ross. Very admirable. We'll see, shall we? We shall see. Um, but actually, no, I don't doubt it. Um, can I also say we have got a very special guest in the studio as well. Travelled long distances and it's always a joy to welcome her into the Thank studio. You. Lovely Rachel Norris, Thank everybody. You so Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you Thank doing? You. I'm absolutely fine. Um, Two, three, one and a half hours sleep. Um, one and a half hours? No, because I couldn't get myself to, off to sleep last night. And I thought, hmm. And then I was up at three and I was awake anyway. So bless you. Um, yeah, but it's okay actually. Bless Weirdly you. exciting. Uh, quite hype here. <laughs> and as per usual, Rachel, absolutely incredible pieces of jewellery. Oh, I had lovely um, lovely av abalone to work with. It's yeah. been an absolute treat actually. And oh. twelve o'clock um, 
Master Class. Oh my goodness, I was so lucky, really lucky. Oh my yeah. word. Now, if you've never seen Rachel's work before, um, well, you have literally displayed in the V&A, haven't you? I have, uh, yes, it was a long time ago. Gosh, um, Paul Martin's Handmade Revolution. Wow. And, um, I was well, considered you, to be in there. They, they, they are incredible, you know, um, and, and Rachel, you, you know, it's been a long time since we've done a show together. I think you were with um, Carol the last time you were on yes, here, I weren't was, you? Yes, I don't do, I mean, I'm getting old <laughs> these days and I'm work, doing a lot of NHS work. And so, and it, I do so much work for these shows. Yeah. I just put everything into it. And then I sort of literally sleep for about oh, every afternoon. So actually, um, I do about six shows a year, I reckon, okay. probably. So yeah, this is not that many, but I love doing them. So if they'll have me back, I'll... Well, we will always, oh, yeah. always, won't <laughs> we? So very excited about Rachel's kits coming up. That's both in the nine o'clock and in the 12 o'clock so yes you've got an amazing master class your deal of the day today lovely jewelry makers is very exciting so a mega deal on our sterling silver chains now these come by the length and you've got them in the three different i don't know if you can see that let me just turn it towards dan um so this not separate auctions, that's all one amazing item. So um, when we launched this, how, gosh, how long ago was it, Roscoe? Can you remember? When we first launched this, this opportunity, um, they absolutely flew. Um, I think it was an entire sellout. I think these are slightly different. Yeah, the, the links are slightly different. The one at the top is a, a bit different. Um, <coughs> um, but heavyweight sterling silver, solid chains. These are coming your way at 10 o'clock as your deal of the day. And again, all you need to do, even if you're not a silversmith, all, uh, is just basically attach a clasp and away you go. And we've spoken about it at length over, um, over the years, really, about how, how much something like this would be, you know, as a complete chain elsewhere in places like Pandora or Monica Veneda and things like that. Um, yes, can we also take this opportunity? Actually, hold that thought. Um, I also want to show you this amazing display that Dan has uh, put out for you because oh my goodness me would they not make the most beautiful kit all together we are bringing you some beautiful uh, one of my favorite showcases is amazonite and we haven't seen it for a very 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 long time in fact amazonite. about about two years in fact since we've done a showcase so we've got amazonite like we've never seen before um this is a brand new strand as well um first time and i guessed it wrong in actual fact when uh, um, ross was asking me this morning i guessed it wrong it's the first time we've had peacock angelite in those drops that's totally yeah, natural wow. yes it's amazing isn't yeah, it I've never so seen beautiful. peacock angelite ever before so. it's gorgeous yeah well it's only launched i think a couple of weeks ago so yeah. it's stunning i know yeah if you love if you love your larimar and if you love your amazonite then i think you're gonna absolutely love this it's, it's kind of a marriage of the two um, <clears throat> so like i said this hour all about last and stock amazing amazing jadeite opportunities we've got rachel we've got amazing tools we've got incredible inspiration and demonstrations for you this morning but i'm going to take this opportunity as the nation root on the lionesses today go on girls um, yes. proud of you <laughs> yes. supporting you amazing no, aren't amazing, they absolutely amazing achievement isn't it it really yeah, is yeah. it really really is so go on girls we're rooting for you um and i wonder are you going to be watching the game are you going to stay with us you're going to have both on hopefully you'll have both on you could have be both good, on. It? you can have <laughs> jewelry maker on one screen and then the lioness is on the other and you can keep us up to date as well with how they're getting on also um so yeah giving them a good cheer on come and say hi to us all we'd love to hear from you we've got our usual lovely crew we've got gorgeous dan on camera there he is you're right gorgeous dan hang on i'm just just wait, wait where's the white shirt we should be wearing a white shirt today it is an accident i was gonna say okay in, in your heart you're rooting them obviously aren't you <laughs> unintentional um and the boys in the gallery hello lovely adam are you all right darling <sighs> we're excited about today aren't we Oh. It's nice. It's, it's very cool. It's very cool. I can't do that. So lovely. <laughs> yeah, they just get stuck. Then that's it. That's it. And then, ah, oh, I tell you what, he is the he he, he is the leading man. Um, and I know Ross. I know I could just see you getting tired. 
Um, you're getting tired and there's just so much going on in that wonderful brain of yours, but it won't be long. Baby Roscoe is imminent, everybody. I'm not oh, saying she's gosh. in labour, by the way, but she's, uh, yeah, it won't be long, will it, Roscoe? Oh, you're excited. Do you know, Adam and I were saying yesterday, Ross, I've just got visions of this beautiful baby being born with this mass of red hair. I hope so. I hope she has a massive... Oh, she had heartburn, Chloe. Yeah, so probably hair. There's probably hair. That's true, isn't it, Rachel? I think so, yes. Yes, think... actually, yes, yeah. it's more likely. Well, Willow, <laughs> Willow had lots of hair when, when she was born, and I had horrendous heartburn yeah. with Willow. Tiggy, bald as a coot, um, no heartburn. So, I mean, I'm not saying, <laughs> don't, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not biological or anything. And uh, you know, uh, I just basically honestly true. don't know. I, I don't, it's out on vascular, so I don't know anything about <laughs> that at all. <laughs> I haven't got a clue either. Anyway, should we get cracking? Are you up for it? Are we ready to go with our last of stock clearance deals? What are you excited about? Of course, Rachel, of course. We're all excited about that. Don't forget your Amazon night. Don't forget your deal of the day as well. Um, if there's anything that you want Roscoe to bring to air, we will do that. No problem whatsoever. But do um, remember that each of these items will be quite limited. So um, it is last of stock opportunities. And we'll try and go, in the words of Wayne, fast and pacey, fast and pacey. Um, or Al Fast and Pisces. I don't know why he always sounds like he's from London when he says that, but he does. <laughs> Fast and Pisces, Al, because he's definitely not from London, is he? A bit Del Boy. You do, th yeah, yes, you do. I can imagine, because he's, he's got fingers in all kinds of pies, isn't he, Wayne? You know, he's got photo booths. Oops. He's, got, he's got sweet carts. He's a gemstone buyer and a sales manager, you know. Ooh. He's uh, hi, Liz. Hello, darling. Morning, all. Have you got any jadeite on the show today? You got it. Yep, yeah, we definitely have. The first hour is all about last of stock jadeite, so do expect some mega, mega, mega deals. Oh, there's some beautifuls before me. Um, <laughs> amazing. Good morning, everybody. Nice to be with you. Um, uh, uh, this one. Okay. Yeah? That one, Ross? <laughs> so, it's like, L. I, f I do feel like, um, I'm, Ross, that I've got to be really careful not to get on your nerves at the moment because, like, you've got so much going on. <laughs> you say, I'm chilled. I'm chilled. <laughs> Just pick up the right piece, for goodness sake. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Ross. Um, oh, Mac Jada, how lovely is this? £99. You've got lots of different opening areas, so you could wear it like so, couldn't you? Or you could flip it over, and it could be maybe a chain from either side, and then a pendant at the bottom. Um, I missed that then. Hello to Elaine. Hi, jewellery maker. Could we see number 27, please? Need to see if it is drilled at the top. Um, you've got these drill points here. I think that's what they're intentionally, uh, so those scroll for. But also, if you wanted to wear it that way, Elaine, you've got the drill at the top. Um, so, yes, I think it's the simple answer to that. Very, very, very opulent. Yeah, absolutely. I'm visualising maybe your deal of the day chain, sort of, uh, uh, sort of, uh, What's the, what's the word I'm looking for um, leading down towards that statement piece? Remember, at nine o'clock, we are on, you know, on the nose. We're going to try and come out of your jade hour. So make sure you're checking out. Um, let's bring you one of the biggest carrot weights that we have in the entire hour. And also very lucky. Um, this is for Hassan. Good morning, Hassan. I hope you're well. Lovely to be with you this morning. Um, totally natural type A black Guatemalan jadeite. So can you see... Um, that it has got that sort of wet light luster, ultimately from whatever the origin, um, that's what we're looking for. Um, you have your fish and you've got the pearl, you know that story? Um, and then you have the lotus flower. But if I flip it over, you have the two fish on the other side, which is symbolic um, of uh, happy marriage, um, I believe, anyway. Um, you have got the drill hole through the centre, so if you wanted this to be a feature statement piece or if you wanted to knot onto it, maybe use it in your malas, um, then it could... Abs look at the thick of thickness of it. Uh, then you could absolutely do that. There is only one of them available, so it's the one I'm physically holding here in the studio. Look at that... 300 carats. It was launched at 199. Me and thee. Yeah. And then Wayne rocked on up a couple of weeks later and took it to 99 pounds. 
That's why there is only one of them left within the building. Um, wow, amazing. And it's the one that I'm physically holding. So London, if you want this, check out your basket. Um, it's the one that I have physically here in the studio that you will be getting. Um, you've done it. Well done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, let's bring you the cross that was relaunched recently. Um, now, this is a colour that I've never seen before in that pure white so we've done it in the green i mean um previously but um the relaunch actually included this pure look at that absolutely pure white and again you have got the drill hole can you see it just about there uh, very discreetly positioned so that when you are actually wearing it as a finished piece of jewelry um it's not interrupted now whether you wear your cross as a fashion statement whether you wear it for your own personal beliefs um absolutely stunning a little bit celtic i think this cross or a bit medieval perhaps um very very beautiful and again type a burmese jadeite so how many do we have of these then roscoe five okay that's it once they're gone they're gone and we're going to take it to your close out deal price tag keep those messages coming through for imperial white jadeite the color that was reserved for the emperors of china historically the, many remember what uh, Richard Wise was saying that pure white jadeite should be considered the finest of its type. At one four nine, you've got a beautiful hand carved twenty five carat white jadeite cross. I mean, rosary linking from that would be amazing. First time when we relaunched it, ever having it in white, and we only actually had fifty. So five of them left. When we first had crosses, we had over a hundred but we had them in green. We didn't have them in the white color. So um, it's rare to get hold of. Wow, that's low. That's very low. I was expecting 99 pounds, weren't you? Uh, 59.99, make sure you're checking out your baskets to get hold of this. I'm visualizing, I don't know, rosary linking with some more of your white jadeite. How about some of the Amazonite that's coming up? I think that'd be absolutely beautiful. Or maybe with your red jadeites, knotting marlas, all of the above. Oh, that's the kind of jewellery that I would absolutely wear on a regular basis. Um, well done, everybody. Um, only five of them left. And I don't know, you know, when we when we sell out of something like this, and it's obviously something I should imagine we'll want to recommission again, not saying it's definitely possible, but um, <clears throat> um, it usually takes months. So um, stay where you are on those phone lines. Amazing. Let's bring you, did you say um, a beautiful flower? Uh, hiya, California. Good morning. Why be good evening with you actually i don't know what time time of is it late night Could be early, early morning. very early morning very so i could say good uh good evening can't i or good morning either way um you want number 17 and 19 is that this one this is 17 okay um, I'll do the Olmec flower and then I'll do that one for you. Um, the Olmec flower, just so you know, California is absolutely flying. Um, if you haven't already got this, lots of people have shopped ahead on this one. So if you've got your heart set on owning it, um, you've got it in your basket. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'd be quick to check this one out. Um, again, you've got that drill hole. Look at that detailing. I agree. Uh, Producer Ross is saying one of the nicest carvings I think we've ever had. Certainly one of the most lifelike. Um, look at that. Even the bud in the center and the folding of the petals. Um, and at 999, yes, it's a considered price point. But let's be honest it's not in comparison to what it would be uh, um, elsewhere. Plus you've got your split payments there as well. Guatemalan Olmec Jadeite, we heard from Dave only yesterday if you tuned in. It's, you know, Guatemala, it's, it's what, what was his words? What did he actually say? Guatemalan Jadeite. Um, it's the future. There we go. Stanley, you were saying Guatemalan Jade, that is the future. Um, in 56 seconds, we're taking this even lower. How many do we have? Eight. California, you've done it. Well done. Maker, you've done it. I've got Susan, another maker, and another maker. Um, amazing. Isn't it gorgeous? I know. Hand carved. Oh, it is the detailing on this. I couldn't draw that. Oh, no, I, no. I couldn't make that in... in wire work or yep. whatever, and it's, 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 it's own beauty in the stone, it's got the colour and the background, it's absolutely wonderful. Hand carved out of amazing gemstone, it's just incredible, what a work of art. In 20 seconds we're going to take the final few, here we go, so this is the words of Stanley Yu, who uh, Dave was saying, who had the privilege of meeting only a few weeks ago, who was saying a lot of the Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America, this has the greatest potential of all jade currently, the future is Guatemala. Um, 
Um, the acceptance is now certified here in Asia and it is also listed as uh, Fei Chi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, which was historically reserved exclusively for only Burma. Not the case anymore. Um, yeah, and the industry has basically relocated. Uh, this is Stanley Chu alongside Dave um, on his recent trip to China. Um, here he is with one of, uh, uh, talking about, talking about a, a a bangle and a strand. Yeah, there we go, the strand. The only thing more valuable than a bangle is a matched strand. This is the most expensive jewelry in the world. We have sold type A jade strands for over 10 million US dollars. Um, we are going lower. We are not stopping at 999. Margaret, you've done it. Well done. How many do we have left? Five of them left. We're, you know, if everybody checks out, we've already sold out but don't let that put you off because they need to be confirmed. 299, I, look at that, seriously, one of the greatest carvings, the most detailed carvings I think we've ever brought to air. And again, you can make the most of your 0% interest split payment, 59 pounds and 80 pence only. I do see you joining us on the phone lines and also on the web. Hiya, Susan, the back is, is worth showing, sorry, uh, plus the drill holes in the center. Um, oh, there's not, Oh, it does, Susan. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Yes. Oh, so you've got an extra hanging. So you've got the obvious, obvious pendant hanging point. Thank yeah. you for pointing that out, Susan. So you've also got this area here that if you wanted to feed wire through to turn it into a brooch, you absolutely could. Nice. Yeah. How clever is that? Thank you very much, Susan, for highlighting that three-dimensional. You only have until nine o'clock to make uh, to get hold of these pieces, or until stocks last, of course. So make sure you are checking out your basket. I think there's one left of those. In fact, there is only one left. Um, now, just before we dive into the next request for California, which is coming up in one more auction, um, I have got. Should we do the green version? I think it makes sense, doesn't it? Because lots of you have shopped ahead on this one too. Um, again. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just, there's the drill hole. Um, I just wanted to show you that. California, you've shopped on this one too, amazing. Um, so different location, this is your Burmese flower. Absolutely incredible, look at that detailing. Very, very, very gemmy translucency. And there is a very discreet drill hole, can you see? Just there, very, very discreet. So you can feed it through the back of those so it doesn't interrupt the actual carving itself. We've matched that price point at 299 pounds. This is a bigger carrot weight though. I think it's, uh, well, I certainly feel um, the weight of this piece, but there is a clock on your screen suggesting that it is going even lower. So the peony is regarded as the king of all flowers in, in China, and I can absolutely see why. Um, if you're looking at as seeing a peony or whether you're looking at it as a chrysanthemum, and I know that's got relevance also, I'm no expert, but um, I think you could choose. Um, we're going even lower. How many do we have then, Roscoe? Five left of this flower. Um, yeah, be quick. Make sure you check out as soon as you possibly can. Look at that detailing. You know, the fact each of those feathers. Where do you start with something like this? This is what I can't get my head around. <clears throat> I don't know where you would start. Oh, well, I don't know either. Uh, <laughs> you, would, you'd score, I suppose you'd, you'd cut guess, out, you'd look well, at the sketch rock. sketch onto it, I yeah, know that. And see which way the light goes, check its, you know, the translucency. Then you'd probably start just very gently. Just, a, just the artistry. Yeah, I know. The Working work the that goes like into that. creating something like this. Mm. It's not a case of just chucking it in a mould. This is a hand-carved gemstone. And we're at 149. That's unbelievably low. If I just put this up to the neckline so you can get an idea of perspective, you know, imagine this with some pearls or something drawing down. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing. I'm visualising pearls just coming down to the front of the decolletage. That is going to sit beautifully on the neckline. Um, we've got multi buyers getting involved. Well done, California. It is magnificent. It really is. Um, I've got a new customer as well on the web. Welcome to the wonderful world, yet crazy, um, of Jewelry Maker. You can make most of the split payments, which is 0% interest. I think it was just over £37. Um, and that doesn't mean you've got to wait that period of time until um, how many months payment is that? Is that five? Four? How many months payment is that? Four? Split payments. Five. So you haven't got to wait five months. You'll still receive it. You'll still receive four. Four split payments. Uh, you'll still receive it. And you can be enjoying it whilst you're paying it off. How amazing is that? Um, 
Okay, so this was the other one that um, that California requested. Now, this one has already been set at its price point, so um, do make sure that you're quick checking out your baskets on it. ICJ Dite references the amazing translucency, absolutely exquisite artistry. Yeah, I remember this piece. Um, it's that one that, you know, as you look at it, you see more. You know, you've got the little man just down here, um, uh, sort of in his canoe style boat. You've got the overhanging beautiful trees. You've got the moon representative of the, uh, the pearls. Now, California, um, it's what? 20 minutes after midnight in California. Oh, well, good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's lovely to be with you. I hope you're well. Um, tuned in for the Jedi Hour. It's worth staying up for, isn't it? Most definitely. Definitely worth staying up for. We've set it at that price, though, California. This is one of those uh, amazing items that um, was locked and loaded. Look at that water content. Remember, uh, jadeite from whatever location, whether it's from Guatemala, whether it's from Burma, um, whether... Uh, um, it, oh gosh, I mean, it, it's your, your, I've gone blank today, your nephrite, if you like, from uh, Canada. It should always have that sort of ice cube, melting ice cube like luster. Beautiful detailing within this one. How many do we have, Roscoe? Three, but I've got Maker, Maker, and Susan and Brian with it in their basket. So um, I'll leave that with you. I'm going to try and show as much as I possibly can. Um, now, I mentioned earlier on this strand didn't i i said that we've you know of all the colors of jadeite probably yellow is the most limited of all um and we have a big quantity for you so i don't know and it's been under lock and key we've not had access to it until today um i don't know if we should be taking it to a clearance price point but that is exactly what we are going to do um irrespective of the fact that this is one of the rarest colors now um roland schlussel said who by the way if you don't know who he is he's like a, a guru in um in the west um regarding your jadeite he has contributed to countless different gemological publications um, about jade Hi uh, himself and his beautiful wife um, are extreme they're a font of knowledge when it comes to this gemstone um, I had the privilege of meeting them when I was over in Tucson um, where they have a booth they have an entire booth uh, of jade and they said that they believe it won't be long before the rare fancy colors the likes of your reds your lavenders your yellows will actually overtake the price point of your imperial green and the logic behind that is that that's been stockpiled um, but this hasn't and also it forms much rarer um, than imperial green because it's only the skin of the boulder if it oxidizes so this is coming up not just yet but you can um, you can shop ahead um, it's in item number 15 on uh, on the website right now um, we've got a few messages coming through to the studio good morning I hope you're all well hello to you Miss Janet hi gorgeous girls and team jewelry maker lovely to see you back Rachel Aww. hope you have a fantastic show and get home safely Aww. good luck the lionesses amazing amazing we're very excited hello. to have rachel here <laughs> very excited um hello to you jane good morning good morning ellen crew great to have rachel on the show today i love her designs so looking forward to the demos and the bargains oh they will be yes, both yes exactly amazing demos incredible bargains as well so yeah it's going to be unbelievable today um we have got margo morning lovely margo say morning lovely people um rachel your work is breathtaking as usual also rachel you get younger every time we see you uh, a lot of hair dye was applied yesterday you do I'm look nearly, very 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 I'm well heading on 58 58 now almost you're not yeah, 58 yeah just well i'll be 58 in december yeah, it won't be long. It's but a number though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I do think, I do think like um, with age, mm. and I'm perhaps saying this the older I get as well, I get as well. It is just, you're as young as you feel, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, sometimes you feel very old and sometimes you feel very young. Yeah, I get And sometimes that. you feel in between. Yeah. But a hair dye really helps actually, I've got to say. I feel <laughs> a lot better. Yeah. Good old though, though those hair dyes. Yeah, I know. I'm the same. I know. I start noticing like just a strip down here. I get a strip of grey and one. Yeah. I have. A, I have a streak. I just got like whoosh, everywhere. But it's okay. It's, yeah. it's controllable now. It it's all good. It? Well, you look lovely. Yeah. Yeah. You look lovely. You. Um, hello, Julian <laughs> Devon saying hi, Rachel and Elle. Good morning, ladies. Morning, lovely. Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? Hello. Lots of hellos. Lots of you excited to see Rachel in the studio. We've had another request as well, so okay. Um, it's the bangle 
Here it is. It comes boxed in item number 21, requested by Stephen. Um, hello to you, Stephen. Good morning. Would it be possible to show 21? No problem whatsoever. Oh, it's the hinged bangle. It's amazing, this is. When we talk about legacy, Stephen, this is absolutely legacy jewellery. This is the kind of... Oh, I love it. It's my favourite one, actually. Um, it's the kind of jewellery that I want to pass on to my girls, you know, when I'm, I'm gone and they think, oh, my goodness me, I, you know, I managed to get hold of the classic yin and yang, the beautiful monochrome type A jade out, not B and C. And remember, Dave said yesterday, we are now offering on Gemporia type C. Because we have to. Type A, to get hold of Type A Burmese jadeite, well, it's no longer coming from the mine. Um, so here it is, Stephen. I love this one. It's absolutely beautiful. So you've got pure ice white jadeite that's not polymer impregnated. It takes hours to create a bangle. And obviously, I should imagine quite a lot of losses as well. And then you also have your amazing natural piano black jadeite. These are totally natural. There's no dyeing. Um, and we are at your price point. This is a hinge bangle. The reason why we developed the hinge bangle is because so many people, and I get it, they are quite, you know, some of them can be quite small. I've got a couple of bangles and they do... I do well, have to almost painful. sometimes they can, yeah, uh, it can. the stone actually. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you're putting that risk. Whereas with a hinge bangle, if I just show you, you press this area, you've got a really lovely, strong spring like mechanism, loop it over your wrist, and then listen to this. Oh, it's beautiful. You've got a really nice, solid, secure 925 sterling silver. Uh, absolutely, uh, yeah, I agree. Ross is just saying this is his favourite of all the hinge bangles. I like it because it's kind of yin and yang. Yeah. You know, yeah, you've got day, that uh, night and day. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. it, it, I, I don't know, the classic monochrome as well. I mean, if this was in somewhere like, somewhere like uh, I don't know, Chanel, you're not going to... But they use... She used synthetic stones quite a lot of the time, but um, you're not going to be anywhere near, near three figures. Um, I get that that's a considered price point, but not in compar comparison to what it would be um, elsewhere. Stephen, you are there. How many do I have for... How many do I have, Ross? One. There's only one left, but four of you are showing interest. So, Stephen, I would check out sooner rather than later. Even though this is part of a clearance deal, you still get your full 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So do you know what I would recommend? Get in hold of this. Get a second opinion. You know, take it into a jeweler's that knows their gemstones. And, and I don't mean this to sound condescending, but some, most, most, and I used to work in these jewelers, a lot of them do not understand type A jadeite. So I would go to a gemologist. There was only ever 14 commissioned. There's a lot of you there, so I'll leave that one with you. Um, amazing. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Listen to this. Solid. Okay. Beautiful piece of jewellery. Amazing. Um, okay. Oh, yes. Six millimetre black type A jadeite. It takes three times longer to form black jadeite than any other colour. It's essentially transitioned through all the colours. Your apple greens. Well, your whites, your apple greens. No particular order, by the way. Your lavenders, your imperial greens. Because technically speaking, black jadeite isn't black. It's actually a very inky, greeny black. Um, and that's multiples of millions of years. It's not something that can be replicated within a laboratory. Um, it's something that only Mother Nature can do. It forms very differently to any other colour of jade eye, much, much, much smaller um, in their sizes. And some do say, actually, this is one of the rarest colours that exists. Um, you know, the uh, sort of... Uh, the younger generations within China really kind of pitch this as being the next imperial green colour, um, which might have fallen by the wayside because there's simply not enough of it to justify that. Um, it is very, very rare, especially when you have... We kind of romanticise it here in the West and talk, refer to it as piano black. Um, it's also referred to as imperial black. And you've got that beautiful, beautiful um, wet luster. All natural, all totally natural. And if you are making comparisons with any of the items that we are bringing you with this, within this hour, please make sure that, A, it's genuine jadeite, uh, not just use loosely using the term jade, which so many establishments do do, um, and make sure you are actually comparing the fact that this is type A certified, laboratory certified black jadeite. £99 only would go absolutely incredibly with your amazing mega deal of yellow jadeite. There's something so gorgeous, isn't there, about, about black and yellow as a combination. Because they are both six millimetres, you could alternate it. I mean, you're all the incredible designers. 
Um, we don't have an abundance of black jade in this hour. I mean, I think I've got two strands. That's it. Um, and carvings, we don't ha never have a much because, it, like I said, it forms in much, much smaller sizes. How many did we have within the vault? 11. Okay, 11 available. Marion, you've got yours. I've got Janice. Hello. Good, uh, good morning. Nice, nice to see you in West Midlands. I've got another web bidder. I can see you there as well. I hope you're well. Um, yeah, pop along. Say hi. I'm going to try and bring you as many of your Jadeite closeout deals as possible. If you're a fan of the four mil, which you know I am, then, or maybe you want to create a graduation. And here it is. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just showing it alongside the six millimeter black jadeite. Oh, I mean, look at that. We're opening up this auction under 100 pounds. Oh, look what I picked up today, by the way, folks. Picked it up today. Yes, Elle's wearing a jadeite this morning. Elle, what is that stunning white bee bracelet? Do you do share? Uh -huh. um, this was one of the launches that we had with Dave. It's the um, Kotan, wasn't it? It was the Kotan uh, showcase that we had. So it's, it's, it's Jade, basically. And I picked it up this morning and I couldn't put it in my bag. I had to wear it. Had to wear it. I know it's amazing. 14, isn't it? 14 millimeter. I think so, but yeah, I think so. I know I loved it so much. I was like, <laughs> that's my kind of jewelry, literally, especially with something like this and a pair of jeans. Yeah, I know. Nice and comfy to wear. Thank you for noticing. That's very nice. Yeah, I picked it up this morning and I didn't want to. Oh, I didn't want to put it in my bag. Um, okay, let's do a mega deal, shall we? We have 20 of these available. And we're going to sell out of 20 this morning. You've got 22 minutes remaining on this hour. We're going to try and be as strict as we possibly can um, on sort of time, um, timing of today's show because there's a lot to get in. This would be stunning with the Amazon night as well, wouldn't it? Amazing with the Amazon night showcase that's coming up. Or maybe, how about this? I don't know. If you've got um, that beautiful carved flower, you could use the four millimeters as the sort of the body of the chain sort of leading down towards that flower. Um, I just think four millimeters are, um, are, are so versatile. There's not nearly enough people on the phone line, says Roscoe, but he's still going to crash it. Don't worry, because when we say close out, that's absolutely what we mean. Um, full 38 centimetre strand with pearls. Black jadeite and pearls, dreamy. I just love that combination together. Because of all your black gemstones, black jadeite has that intensity. Even though technically it isn't black, we know that when you shine a light source through it, it actually goes more of a um, omphacite green like colour. Um, major, major, major price reduction. Four millimetres are usually one of our most popular sizes. 49 pounds i genuinely do not know anywhere else on this planet that brings you the rarity of jadeite at the prices that we do here at jewelry maker and as you can see you know i shop along with you guys sometimes i do a shift and it's completely for free because i've basically i've basically bought lots you, you know you know that yeah, this pays for my addiction to yes <laughs> gemstones. absolutely like that yes we're very lucky though aren't we because it's you know it's an honor to be able to sort of have jadeite draped over the back of my hand right now i wouldn't have known about any of these gemstones otherwise i wouldn't have known about them no I'm educated about them and known do you know the Financial Times are coming to do an article on no. us? No. Because, because they were really excited. I mean, Dave and Jake Thompson actually went over to China recently, a couple mm. of weeks ago, um, alongside the Financial Times, alongside, I forget, who's the presenter that is the, um, from the Antiques Roadshow? Oh, I can't... It wasn't for you, no. Um, on the Antiques... The expert, uh, the gemstone expert, any, I can't remember, anyway. Um, and mm. they were so excited because A, you're bring, they were like, what you do is introduce to the West jadeite where, and, and educate at the very same time and make it affordable for yes. people. Because I'm not too proud to say I wouldn't be able to afford this. Um, amazing if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker. Um, so yeah, Financial Times are coming soon, imminently as well. Um, love this next carving. Now it's listed as black, it is much more of a cashmere grey. Um, and I love it because they use kind of like the shadowing, the lights of dark, areas of dark uh, 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 and white um, to sort of highlight. I mean, 
you've got these beautiful look, little pagoda at the top just there you've got the bridge and the river coming down between the mountains you've got the uh, mountainside here another little pagoda and um, you've got the overhanging trees which I find amazing you've got a little man in his boat at the bottom there five-way split payments on the reverse though that artwork continues because again can you see mountain range and then you've got the little bridge here and a figure walking across the bridge just all captured in a natural gemstone a story a it? story it is a story um 199 pounds do we have many of these three only three um i know the graphics actually say that it's black it's more gray i would dove say gray, dove gray and, and and i like the gray beautiful and they've used the depth of the, the variations of color to create the the three-dimensional it's fabulous you know. I mean, to be able to do that i find incredible really defines and creates layers i mean look at the thickness of this it's a solid piece again all hand carved you've got your five-way split payment it is drilled through the center as well so completely through drilled if i flip it either side um so you could easily have wire or cord running through maybe a tassel at the bottom 39 pounds 80 on split payments amazing 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 um oh don't forget that yellow jadeite strand because we are going to do a mega deal on this um i reckon in our entire vault we've probably got one or two yellow jadeites this is one of two there you go um but we've got quantity of this one it's in item number 15 on the website shop ahead a few of you already have that's natural color um, and one of the rarest colors for sure you only have to look on if you're on social media look at mason k See how much yellow jadeite they actually have on there. Um, it's not a huge amount, believe me. Um, that's coming up, but shop ahead on those. Um, okay, I've got 20 minutes remaining in this hour, so see if I can squeeze as much in as possible. Now, red, yellow and red come under the same umbrella, and that's because they both form on the very exterior of the boulder. Now, um, a boulder of jadeite can oxidize. Not all jadeites oxidize. Um, but when they oxidize, it forms almost like a skin. Um, a skin. So we're talking wafer amounts. So if you have seen um, red jadeite in a piece of jewelry, what's more frequent is that you get maybe 10, 20% that's actually red, the rest is a remaining color. Um, we've always shown this very basic analogy eff effectively, but if you bite into an apple, imagine that's a, that's a boulder, the flesh will be the other colors, um, the skin will be the red. So it's incredibly, incredibly rare to get solid, solid red like this in fact there was a quote somewhere i can't remember who it was that actually said it um, but said to get solid red in any piece of jewelry is incredibly rare whereas normally you get a proportion well each and here we go show, if we show that boulder roscoe um you can see this is a boulder with top quality jadeite because you've got some lavenders in there and you've also got some apple greens but look how little of it is actually oxidized so to actually get, feel free to step around if you want, to actually get that intensity of red, um, it really puts it into perspective. Now, I've got four of this strand. It's not just any strand. Pillar and Stone said, these colours have turned the industry on its head. The demand and supply is a real issue, and as such, we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material, and still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. We are finding it easier to provide imperial green to our clients at a more affordable price tag for the first time ever. So I think... If you were to ask Roland Schlussel, never mind what, what they sell for, price for point in the market, what's the rarest colour of all? Red is his answer. Yeah. I have how many of these? Five. This is a strand of, I believe, 50 centimetres? That's really long, actually. <laughs> 65 <laughs> centimetres. Yeah. I mean, imagine that with one of your carvings at the bottom. Well, just simple beading. It fits into my dragonfly design, actually. It's in t exactly right for the tails. So you want to make a really opulent dragonfly. Oh. Um, you only need five or six beads for that. <laughs> well, these have got a few Guatemalan jadeites in, in their rondelles. Can you see that? So if you wanted to put that beautiful Guatemalan jadeite flower at the bottom, um, I think that would be absolutely amazing. There are five of these available. And out of the entire business, not just Jewelry Maker, the entire partnership here, Jewelry Maker, Gemporia, Gem Collector, we have quite literally a handful of red jadeites. 
this is one of the best strands, I think, that if you are a collector and if you're purchasing your jadeite with the future in mind, I have to say that quite cautiously, but then definitely red should be on your radar. That's a ludicrously low price tag, £299. Get it whilst you can. And even when I was with Roland Schlussel in Tucson, Arizona, in amongst his beautiful jadeite, there weren't... I don't, I don't recall ever seeing a red jadeite strand there. He didn't have a strand of red jadeite. Also, rice beads are quite difficult to come by as well. They're a rarer cut, so you've got more, to... More wasteful. Yes. They're more wasteful. And I, um, yeah. Well, look, look, look. Here's Ro Roland Schlussel. I can show you a photograph of him. A lovely gentleman um, alongside Dave. And you can see over his shoulder, you've got some amazing carvings. And um, we had jade in front of him as well. That booth would be probably about, um, I'm trying to remember now, probably, I don't know, eight metres by five metres possibly. But obviously, there's the area in the centre. Um, and yeah, I don't remember him having any red jadeite strands. I've got five of these available. Lovely London, Paul, stay where you are on those phone lines. Christine in Bristol, stay where you are uh, or check out your baskets because you've got, what, 14 minutes left on this hour. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And if you love your red jadeite, just as limited, same length, look at that natural colour. It's not dyed, natural colour. I'm going to show the two alongside one another, actually. This has got a twist, though. Can you see? Ever so slightly, that wrist, uh, the, the rice beads have got a gentle, gentle twist. Beautiful, beautiful quality. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, again, limited in their availability. We don't have many. Now is the time for you to get your requests in because we've got about 12 minutes left on this hour. You are bringing you absolute final uh, closeout deals. It's not an, un, an overstatement to say that we cannot replace this. Uh, regardless of the budget, we cannot replace Red Jadeite. You know, we've been told that very adamantly by our buyer, Wayne. He's like, look, and, and, and that's been backed up, obviously, by Jake Thompson and Dave Trothy. He's like, we cannot buy Red Jadeite anymore because we've been, we can get it in, its, in type B and type C, but it's more expensive than what we paid in type A. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that doesn't make any sense, but it's because the market has changed dramatically and um, we've kind of got used to type a grade which is a ridiculous thing in its own right it's that's the rarest variety i'll leave it with you well done Jeannie, sharon lynn in cumbria amazing now uh 299 there's a certain price point i get that okay i get that so let's try and cater for all let's get another bring another red jadeite strand no oh lovely okay who wants red jadeite at double figures I can't believe I've just said that one. I called you Wayne then, Ross. Ross, I called you Wayne then. Sorry. He's honoured, he says. No, but seriously, how are we doing Red Jadeite at double figures? Okay. If we're going to do it, though, we have to put a time restraint on it. So that's why we're playing this at the latter part of the hour. Um, because it won't be available for very long. Um, I always reference, you know, if mutton fats, how you describe uh, um, your nephrite, your white nephrite, if we're describing spinach greens, um, then for me, your, your red jade is like a cherry tomato, you know, the ripest, juiciest cherry tomato. Um, that's, that's how I imagine it. Um, all natural, not polymer impregnated, not dyed. And we're at £26.33 on your 0% interest split payment. Um, it's getting busy on the phone lines, folks. I'm not surprised. Do I have quantity of these? I know it's a daft statement because we won't have quantity. Seven, there we go. That's the reality. And you've got 11 minutes left on this hour. So I'm going to try and emphasize one. Once those, that time is up, each of these items will disappear from the website. Um, so if you've got your heart set on owning this legacy gemstone, well, in the words of Roland Schlussel, um, this heirloom gemstone, it is regarded as an investment stone in its type A grade. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Let's bring you quite possibly the most important strand of jade out that we've ever brought to wear here at Jewelry Maker. I knew which one it was straight away. I picked it up. You didn't have to tell me. You didn't have to tell me. And that's because this was a conversation. I remember hearing it, but like fly on the wall. I remember hearing, uh, um, yeah, the, the idea. And it started with, they were looking at the Mason and K color wheel of jadeite, which you can see on their website. So it shows the different colors that jadeite forms in. And then I think it was Dave that actually said, wouldn't it be amazing if we could get a strand like that? 
And then, of course, it's like, don't be, sad. don't be ridiculous. It's never going to happen because that's all the colors. Um, here's the color wheel. That, uh, and it's also on the GIA website as well. So uh, the color um, is JDAT's most important value factor because consumers traditionally associate JDAT with the color green. It surprises them to learn that it comes in co other colors as well. Lavenders, reds, orange, yellows, browns, whites, and black. Um, so, yes, this was where it kind of, the idea was born um and yeah we went to uh the, the powers that be the buyers kind of said let's see if, let's see let's see if it is possible um and i think it was fast forward two years this was launched during our birthday celebrations now you can also go to somewhere like gumps in san francisco in San Francisco, a Gump's an amazing, very iconic jewellery house, um, sell a multicolored jadeite necklace of similar sizes, in actual fact. Um, very, uh, as, as jewellery makers, I know that you could do this. You could knot them, you could put it onto a gold class, which is what they've done. They sold it for £10,638. £10,000. And I think you would agree, if you look at the different colour palettes that are available on the Gump's necklace and the one that we're offering to you, they're both type A grade so neither are actually polymer impregnated or dyed um, they are comparable aren't they this I agree with you Ross this is quite possibly one of the most significant strands we've ever and probably ever will bring to air so again a gumps jade necklace a 1960s uh, necklace there 4,700 pounds with a very simple gold clasp uh, jade is often kept quite uh, humble in its in its design um, how about this one it's actually slightly smaller in their size than yours seven millimeters multicolored jade -like necklace um, you can see 2019 pounds for that 17 inches long so it'll be about the same length as what um, I'm holding here too Mason and Kay you can go to them I've referenced them already very simple in their construction I think they're knotted and then you've got um, a 14 karat yellow gold box clasp $1,800 for that um, or this one which we're, we're all a little bit <laughs> I'm a bit tentative about this one because I, I don't feel like I would trust that it doesn't look, do you know what I mean? It doesn't, I, I don't feel confident with that web page. Anyway, $1,200 for that one. Bracelet, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 individual beads with wire wrapping. Can you see, if you look at the end, that's done with wire, um, that's a thousand pounds. I am happy pappy, Roscoe. He says, I'm gonna, you're going to be even happier, Al, because we're not stopping there. You have eight minutes at this price point. I totally agree. It was launched in May of our birthday celebrations this year. It took two years, probably more, actually, um, to actually put together this collection. You've got to remember sourcing all those different colours, £299. You know, when we've seen it for ten and a half grand, 4700 2000 1000 you know, even 1000 it's a lot of money. And that, by the way, was 15 beads, which if I... To, for six, eight, 10, 12, 14. That's that much. So I could make that bracelet multiple times over. Yes. Effectively. Good. I could make it probably three times over from this one individual strand. All totally natural. Do, we can't have many of these left though, Roscoe. Nine, okay. London, you've got yours. Hello, Lynette in beautiful Somerset. Kate in Sussex. Eileen in Hampshire. Christine in Devon. Um, the countdown is on now, lovely jewellery makers. You've got seven minutes remaining on this hour. And if anything is lingering around in your basket, it won't be there for long. Um, you need to check it out. We had a message, didn't we, the other day? And it was like, oh, I'll, I went to check out, but, um, but it had gone. What's happened? Um, on that occasion, we were able to repeat that auction. We can't do it today. Um, but it is time for your, your first star by of what is going to be an absolutely super Sunday. Um, it's your beautiful, beautiful type A honey yellow jadeite. Now, in the past, we've shown you WhatsApp messages, conversations that have gone on between Dave and jade traders um, over in uh, uh, in China, you know, individual cabochons that were like three and a half thousand pounds or something like that, bracelets of, of natural type A yellow jadeite that were staggering amounts of money. And again, the yellow, as I said earlier on, kind of comes under the red umbrella because um, it's but the oxidization, but in a much uh, um, sort of soft, 
less saturated, I, I suppose. Incredibly, incredibly rare to get that kind of sunshine yellow that I have draped across the back of my hand. Here's that ring I was talking about. So um, it's description, I'll read it to you. A translucent, uh, vibrant, honey yellow cabochon ring. Um, ice translucent, honey yellow, J that cabochon ring designed in J, uh, sorry, I think that's a, um, crossover of languages there. The jade ring is an 18 karat yellow gold and diamonds. Um, now it says uh, WhatsApp us now to find out the price point of this ring. So Dave did that. And this was the answer. Hi, this is a uh, yellow cabochon. Price is $3,800. Thanks. Um, okay, $3,800. And that's a cabochon. One, one stone. It might be a bit bigger. But it's also half, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, we also found a stretchy bracelet, which again, I don't quite trust this. You've got to be so careful in the world of gemstones. Susie says that on a regular basis, especially in the world of jade. Um, and although it says high-end jade, I customised. That's what I don't understand why it's customised. Um, natural grade A. See, it should say type A. That's why I'm a little bit concerned. Um, Myanmar jade, I, uh, icy yellow beads, size. I, I, when it says natural grade A, they could be saying it's a natural gemstone, but it's and treated. Customs might got through customs, so it's not been um, smuggled out. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's, I don't know, but it's saying £799. Just because, do you notice how they've all got the same line through the centre? Um, anyway, yours mm. is laboratory certified type A grade. And we cannot get it at the moment. It has skyrocketed in price. Same as reds, reds and yellows. We, we've, we've been very uh, sort of adamant saying we can't get hold of it. Um, moving forward, we might be able to bring you the type B and C, but just so you all know, it is going to be more expensive than the parcels that we have enjoyed um, in the type A quality. Um, yeah, it is. This, this, this was one of the only success stories really over um, during the pandemic is that we managed to secure type A jade. You've got three minutes to make the most of this opportunity and our first price crash is not where we are stopping but we are going to show you just how good a deal this is we've got quantity if there ever has been an opportunity for you to source honey yellow type a certified genuine natural burmese jadeite it's today and it's now just to highlight that we are not stopping at an incredible 99 pounds and 99 pence yeah i mean see we've got if you've got mason and k if you see yellow jade in their pieces of jewelry which you really really ever do they're not double figures and they're very simple pieces it's all about the jade absolutely beautiful look at those earrings i mean look here they're more red than they are the yellow there's a yellow one just at the ring at the bottom you can see comparable quality absolutely but these are going to be there you go prime example love that so you've got your calf pigs a couple of yellow rounds very similar to what's on the strand they were using that piece to advertise where they were during the booth um we do not know when if we will ever be able to bring you yellow jadeite moving forward the other what sorry the only other yellow jadeite strand we have within the business has three in quantity this i've got how many 15 one five or five oh five zero okay because of that quantity that's the only reason that we're going to this low price there is a catch. As soon as we drop this price point, because this deal is so low, live broadcast, we have to do a curfew. So as soon as we drop that price, and everybody pays that final low, you have a minute to check out. And everything else also on this hour will disappear. So this is your minute to close. Don't wait. Get it home. You don't have to take my word for it. Talk to any gemologist, anybody that knows their jade, and they will absolutely endorse everything that we have just said. £79.99. I can't believe we've got 50 of these. Um, in the entire jewellery maker business, of which it is, you know, it's, 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 it's a multi-million pound business jewellery maker. You know, we have two strands of yellow jadeite. That's it. And the other strand have got three. 
That speaks, that speaks volumes, doesn't it, in terms of the rarity of this gemstone. Wendy Maker, London multi-buying, well done to you. Marion, Anna, multi-buying, amazing. London, Samantha, new customers getting involved. Mason and Kay, you know, that's, they don't sell any other gemstone. They sell solely exclusively jade, don't have a huge amount of um, yellow type A jade dye. So what you can say right now on the back of this opportunity, as long as you're checking out between this time frame, you have to check out. You've got four. 14 seconds to check out your basket is that you have got that gemstone that many other collectors and businesses don't have. Check out your baskets, everybody. Massive congratulations and join Rachel and I after this. Hello, my name is Rachel Norris and I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on Sunday, the 20th of August, for a fantastic show uh, packed full of wonderful things. And in the 9am hour, I've been given this beautiful abalone um, to work with. I've been so spoiled. And then, to make things even more amazing, I've been given not just one, but two tools to work with in the 12pm hour. And the first one is this beautiful um, doming block and dapping block um, with all these wonderful, it's all laid out beautifully on this board, all these wonderful circular um, dome shapes that you can make um, your sheet metals into beautiful little dome shapes with. And it's beautiful, so useful and it's all uh, in its own little stand as well. And the second tool, oh my goodness, I'm very sport because this beautiful flower disc cutter is just so useful. You can see there's um, shapes cut out of shapes, you can dome the flower shapes that you cut out, you can drill them, you can texture them, um, you can solder them, although I haven't in this case. I've actually just used wire work and chainmail techniques to, to hook them all together. It's going to be a wonderful show. I'm so looking forward to seeing you all Sunday, the 20th of August, on Jewelry Maker, um, from, oh goodness, eight o'clock onwards. We'll have a fantastic show. See you then. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry 
jewellery makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. It's Rachel! Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello. Rachel, you know when you just... I've been admiring your pieces from afar, oh, and then you, you get up close and oh my goodness me, look at the turtle. Well, all of them, each and every one um, was a joy to make. And because I've got such beautiful abalone to work with, it's, they're all designed. I wonder, none of these would have been happening without the abalone to work around. And it's so beautiful. Each, each of the, the seahorses, there's oh. shoals of fishes, there's kissing angelfish, oh. um, there's little um, whale tails, and obviously the sitting turtles. I've got a high tiki over here, which is um, um, an amazing symbol from Polynesian culture, uh, made with respect um, for the culture. And um, oh wow! You know, it's, oh, it's entirely respectful towards their culture, and um, a fish, um, tropical fish with all the bars. I mean, that's fantastic. Um, oh my goodness, you know, what, Rachel! Every just single piece, you the know, took the abalone and it made itself in a way. Well, I mean, I think you're being very, very <laughs> modest there, bless you, and very, very humble because the level we talk about artistry when we're talking about carving of jadeites, for example, but. This is like artistry, and oh, and it's you know it's you. piecing together an amazing puzzle and the vision that you must have to actually to go from this effectively to to end results like they so. they're in my head and then they just come out and that's amazing in myself because I don't even know how I made them sometimes and I think I look back and I go God how did I make that and that's good that's why I take pictures and do diagrams yeah. Because I think otherwise, had they? Well, I, I wouldn't retain that <laughs> no. information. No, because actually, you do need it step by step. I mean, some of them, I will, um, I can't tell you. Like that angel, that, that dangling fish there. Mm. Um, I made so many mistakes on it because it was a, like a progress piece. So, um, but it ended up okay in the end. Um, for example, so you know that's a whole series of mistakes all in a row. But luckily, it turned out okay. Um, and then that's how you sort of evolve a design and... Oh, well, I, yeah. I tell you what, Rachel, so we've got all <laughs> the abalone to bring you and we've got the wire, which yeah. I can't remember the last time yeah. we had all wire, wire bundles. Yeah. Um, now, out. what Ross is just saying in my ear is he's put all of the items, including that big abalone shell, Rachel, that makes up the body okay. of, the, uh, of the turtle, yes. all the wire bundles. They're available on pre-order right now. Um, mm. Ignore those prices. Let's just put it that way. Ooh, they are yes, going yes. lower, so we will be dropping the yeah. prices as well. Um, lots of you are grabbing the abalone bundle, which includes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strands. Eight strands of amazing. Oh, I could say treat it there each on the one of those like a cabochon. So each one. I mean, it's just that's what. It yeah, has exactly. To work with, really, because um, they're double sided as well. Yes. So sometimes uh, you get abalone that's one sided, whereas this has been. Oh, it's got you've got the um, little layers of yeah. abalone on both sides, and you choose your best side to go in the front, and you've still got a beautiful backing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So do yeah. shop ahead on each and every single one of these items, lovely jewelry makers. But um, yeah, genuinely. I can't remember the last time we did a wire work show. No. This bundle no, is flying. This is like old school, it's lovely. It is yeah. old school, <laughs> really absolutely. Is. But even yeah. then, like um, Rachel, we couldn't get bundles of wire, could we? I remember no, us having conversations. No. It was like, Rachel, I haven't got that wire, sorry. No. Can't no. give you that wire. I think I was really lucky, actually, with this. With this, wasn't I? And uh, shall I move that out of the way so you can see the turtles? There we go. And yes. there we are. So the there's show the mummy, flying. mummy turtle, and all the babies. So, so that, just in the, the, most, the most adorable <laughs> thing ever. And they are in, in terms of species as well. I know you're going to be demoing this, aren't yes, you? Yes. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> loves turtles, don't they? I think uh, yes. Especially the hatchlings. Yes. Yes. I mean the, the struggle they have um, to come out of the ocean and get into the sea. Um, 
yeah. after hatching. I mean, everyone knows that, and there's whole groups of people who help into the sea, don't they? And these little sort of little things that um, run along the sand, and they get. That's the, the perfect sea. action. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And that's the whole. That's the action of. Well, that's them swimming into the sea. And I just have that away. vision of Moana, you know, where she's kind of sheltering the little hatchling from the bird. Yeah. Just yes, to protect yes. it, shoo, shoo, yes, shoo, yeah. um, to look after them. Absolutely amazing. That's now, um, let's bring you the wire bundles then. Um, I'm going to start with the champagne gold colour. So if you mm. want to make it like for like, then this is the colour that yes. you made the turtles out of. And it's got the most range of, of wires in it. It's fantastic. It's uh, everything. Has it? Mm. OK. So you're getting um, 10 metres of your one millimetre. This is your champagne gold coloured silver plated. So please know these are mm. silver plated as well. Um, so just there. So you're getting that one, which mm. is what one of your structural gauges. Yes. Then you're also getting, I'm going to put a bigger spool on this as well, 50 metres of your 0.25. So that's your very fine, intricate. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful, strong, pliable, lovely to weave with. You're getting 10 metres, and I know it's a smaller, <laughs> but it's still 10 metres. 10 <laughs> metres of your 0.8. And that goes a long way, that's structural. Absolutely. You've got... 10 metres of your 0.6, you've got all the gauges That's here. Fantastic, you see. And also 10 metres of your 0.4. Amazing. So you've got loads of strength for the 0.4 for weaving, the, the massive amount of 0.25, you've got two lots of structure wire, uh, and the 0. With, the, with 0. 0.8 and 1, and then in between 0. 0.6, which is versatile, it can go either way, it can be structural or it can be... Um, you know, or it can be weaving. So well, you don't need a huge amount. I mean, I'm no expert, obviously, but I assume you don't need a huge amount of your of your structural wire. No, and you've been here. You probably know. You've been here twelve, working here twelve years. You 12 know years? loads about it. Oh gosh, you really do. And you've you've observed and watched us all working. And you know, think how much you you know you do know. And <laughs> and it's um and actually you don't. You're right. Actually, you don't. This. So it's like a ratio of four to one you sort of need really. Right, okay. To sort of now these are flying, Rachel, so we're going to bring mm. the price on it. So in total, you've got what, 50 metres, then 10, 20, 30, was that another? Mm. Yeah, 40. So you've got 90 metres in total. That's fantastic. Nine, it's a lot, isn't yeah. it? 90 metres of your, my favourite colour actually, mm. I love the champagne gold colour. And the, um, the coating is so durable. I've got some, um, I mean, I've got stuff, I've actually brought some wire just to show you. I know it's a different, whatever, but this is some of the ancient JMR from, I don't know, 12 years ago, the original stuff, just to show you how it's still well perfect. it lasts. Yeah, okay. still perfect. So keep it in a nice box, it lasts forever. There you go. Well, there's only 80 of these. That's the only downside. They are already going. I can't remember the last time we've had bundles of wire. It's been a long, long, long time. £74.99 for a bundle of that size isn't bad. And I certainly remember those kind of price points um, yes, back in the day. £15 a a spool, whatever, I don't know, but it's just, it's basically, it's, um, it's the meterage. I mean, if you break it down to the meterage and the value um, you're getting out of, uh, each piece you get out of, out mm. of all that meterage. So if I what? said that's nowhere near our price point then, hmm. we're going even lower. 80 <sighs> of these are going to go in a nanosecond. Um, good luck. Make sure you check out nice and early for these. There's 80 is not enough to go around, not for um, a Rachel show. Wow. Okay. 90 99 And I'm sure, Rachel, you'll back me up with this. I remember like one spool in certain gauges being around about that price back in the day. Yes. Yeah. Do you and remember that? Copper prices increasing and all these <laughs> yep. other things. I think you've done really well <laughs> yep. to, to keep the prices. I mean, well. we've changed suppliers since then. And we're always striving to bring you the best possible deal. And I think they've nailed it on this occasion. But there's only 80. Um, so make sure you check out your baskets. And even if you aren't a wire worker, you know, you're going to use these gauges, aren't you? Yes, because if you want to rosary link, a beautiful pieces that Mark makes with his 0.6. And you can make these beautiful rosary links um, with a 0.6 millimetre wire. You need to make jump rings with them so you've got matching jump rings um to the tone of wire you're using you know and and clasps everything mm. um so yeah it's, but you can yeah. also do the most incredible ornate <laughs> fantastic work like this as well um amazing truly truly amazing so yeah whether you use them for jump rings whether you use them for 
beading. You can bead onto wire as well, can't you? Yes, everything. Yes, everything. Yeah, you can actually even get gizmo. I mean, you know, we're oh, your gizmos, your wax wine cans, everything. Um, the effects you can create with it because from one spool of wire. I mean, people go, you make those from this. I mean, yeah. Yes. Yes, you do. You do. Yeah. It's you you do. Having the you having the vision. It. Yes. Yeah, texturing. Hammer it, to, hammer it to make it lovely and flat and. Um, you know, the reflective shine, it's shiny, so you can change its shape and its width doing that and its strength as well because it starts off being beautiful and soft and pliable to work with and then, you know, you can work hard on it and just as you use it, just create those bonds that um, Amazing. make it um, more let's, rigid. Let's bring the next colour. So you could, and, and, and there's nothing saying for you can't mix these colours up if you wanted. Now, I'll bring you the three bundles of wires and then we'll obviously get involved in, the, uh, get into the demo. So let's step into the rose gold coloured silver plated copper wire. So um, silver plated copper. So there's two precious gems, uh, precious uh, uh, metals in there. Um, now, this one includes 10 metres of your one mil. Um, 10 metres of your 0.4 and 10 metres of your 0.8. Sorry, the OCD in me needs to change that round. There you are. Um, <laughs> amazing. Um, so you're getting 30 metres in total, more than enough to make some amazing wire Absolutely. Work. You've got um, a fantastic structure there. And I was able to create um, the, the, the swimming shoals of fishes, necklaces and things like that with, with that tone of, of wire. So now we've got that on myself. Yes. Uh, and then... Um, and so, and it's a beautiful colour. It's so lovely. And I love that. It's a pink, feminine tone. Or, you know, I don't know whether you're allowed to say feminine these days, but it is. Yeah. Um, it's well, a beautiful no, colour on the skin. And, um, you know, it, it's sometimes the white, the silver and the gold can be sort of quite sort of, um, polarising. Mm -hmm. This is such a lovely sort of, um, especially with abalone, actually, because it really brings out some of the colours in abalone. Yeah. Cause it, um, you can, you can, because um, Avalon has got so many colours in it. You can actually then sort of use your tone of wire to, to enhance, to compliment, yeah, enhance one colour within it as well. So. Well, you know we're not stopping there. We're going to go even lower. If you want the silver, you can shop ahead on that as well. And there's nothing saying that you can't mix these colours up together. I, I particularly like that actually. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence for your beautiful rose gold bundle. Genuinely can't remember the last time we did wire work bundles. It's probably been years, I would imagine. Probably the last, actually, maybe not that long, maybe the last show with yeah. you. Last Rachel show, because yeah. I can't, yeah. in between Thank that, you. I can't recall. Uh, I'm so spoiled, actually. Well, there's a big price crash coming your way, lovely jewelry maker. Stock up on your wire work while you get the opportunity. Um, very excited about Rachel's demonstration that's coming up, all about the beautiful turtle. Um, and you can choose the colourway if you prefer it to be in the rose gold, or if you prefer it to be in the silver, you can choose that colourway as well. Eleven mm. ninety nine. 30 metres. That's, that's very good, actually, isn't it? That really is. Yes. 30 yes. metres for 11 99 So I know that's like mm. £4 a spool. Yes. Yeah, it is. That's madness. Yeah. And then also think how much you're getting out of it um, with the designs you're going to get out of it. So, yeah, that will go a long way. Amazing. Well, you have loads left over. Well, check out your baskets. Have I got quantity of this bundle? Almost 200, but I do think there's going to be lots of... Well, chain mailers are going to get involved in this, aren't oh, they? Yes, I mean, all the jump rings, every little scrap bit of wire I make into the jump rings on the mandals that we oh, have. Yeah, and so as well. everything um, is made from the same, um, same tone wire. So it all matches in. So just get those step mandrels um, that you can get on, um, or, or gizmo mandrels, or the step mandrels are fantastic. You can just weave a few, wind it through a few cores, drop it in a box. And keep then it, keep it, snip it when it's um, amazing. It's memory for being <gasps> in a ring. And then well, the silver plated as well. Nothing is nothing is ever wasted, right? Let's bring the silver, which we know what happens, and it's always been the case. Twelve years, as long as both Rachel and I have been here, silver's the most popular, isn't it? It is, and it's just, it's just, um, well, it, of course it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, <laughs> Why makes sense. It, it yeah, does make it's a sense. Love the. Um, Lovely it's pretty and as well, it's isn't it? Shiny. Yeah, <laughs> silver plated. Sadly, though, I'd love to say I've got a massive quantity. I don't. I've got eighty available. So again, you've got your gauges in your one mil. You've got your point eight, and you've got your point six. Um, so yeah, mm. make sure you're checking out nice and early on these as well. So that's the ah, oh, the kissing angel fish. Yeah. And they're holding a little triangle pendant that came. I got. I got sent that. So I was really lucky actually. That came. Um, sent along. I don't know whether you got it in any of the components. Oh, it's a sterling silver one. I've seen yes, it before, though. Yeah, it's lovely. I got sent it. I don't know whether it's in the, the show today, but um, I thought I'll put that in. They can hold it. And then 
Amazing, um, absolutely amazing. These are flying out the door, 11.99. So wait a second, can we just do a tally up, Roscoe? So for all of the wire, so if I put them all on one, on one board, so if I wanted to get all of this wire, mm. of which there's a lot, and it keeps, there's no shelf life on it either, that's £44 for all of that. Yeah, that's very good. It's pretty, yeah, that's it's amazing, amazing, isn't it? Um, mm. Yeah, stock up whilst you can. Um, and any questions that you have for Rachel, do message us. We are live in the studio. So, Rachel, we've, we're all very, oh, very so excited. Smart. The abalone yeah. is on pre-order, so you can shop ahead on those as well. Um, but it's all about this beautiful turtle master right. masterpiece in this demo. First of all, I'm going to show you how to make the um, koru or the... Um, the um, curled component very very quickly so you can make a curl component uh -huh. um, on one of the bracelets or uh, because it's like a sort of they're curled ferns and they're, they're new life and growth and eternal eternity strength and peace oh, beautiful. things like that it's a, such a beautiful um, symbol and actually in wire work what's the most common wire ending that we use we use a spiral so actually we all know <laughs> <laughs> we use it all the time. It's fantastic. So it was wonderful to be able to incorporate it into the designs. So it works for both the squares and the round um, pieces. And you probably need about um, six centimetres um, for the squares and the rounds. And, oh no, five centimetres um, tail for the squares and the rounds and a six centimetre tail if you're using it on, the, on, a, re on a rectangle, re rectangle, which is a longer distance. And what you need to do is make two wrap loops either end. And I can show you quickly one wrap loop so you know what to do. Um, throw a circle. And then, you know, this is like the most basic thing. 0 0.8 will fit easily through. If you can get one millimetre through, well, that's all right. But um, 0 0.8 will, will go through. Um, are you okay to work over? I'm working over the paper. But just do one um, turn sideways. Grip. Um, with round nose pliers near the bend, make a circle. Actually, you don't have to put the stone on, just direct for the first wrap loop. And then turn round um, so it's facing one way. Push the stone on, abalone on, and make a wrap loop on the other side in the other direction. Um, but what you need to do is just make sure you can either face it, yeah, in the same direction or the opposite direction, it doesn't really matter. Oh, a fracture of the wire. Sorry, that's me. That's me being stressed. Stress. When you're stressed, you always fracture wire. So I'll leave that be. So be zen. Yeah, be zen. Be, be zen. Be mindful. Nothing to be stressed. So about. here I've done another rat loop. Luckily, I did that one, um, and cut the lengths to six centimeters um, tail just from the base of the loop on either side. So there we go. Okay. So what we're going to do then is looking at this little diagram here. You can see. Um, it's just showing where you put the curl and it's kind of like freehand, it doesn't really matter because the length of wire will make sure that you have a pretty much a, a curl on the, um, for the same size on, on, on either side of the, of the stone. First curl with round nose, trim off the end. I'm just going to make sure this is a little bit smaller. Do you know what? You can pinch things in and make them a little bit smaller, can't you? There we go. And in we go, and then down. And then I'm just going to quickly curl down. This is the most dreadful curl I've ever made. <laughs> but there we go. I'm just going to talk you through this. Heads up your silver bundle. There's less than 20 remaining. It's like now. I've never made a spiral before. Oh, well. There's nothing. That's all good. <laughs> so pretend you made a spiral on the other side, and the other spiral the other side. I'm just going to quickly do it with my fingers, actually, to be honest. And there we go. And then I'm going to cut that. Um, before it's made a spiral, sorry, lovely. And then as you can see, you've made a spiral on either side of the, st of the stone. Um, fold it outwards, get a hammer and a block, a small face hammer if you can, and just hammer it off to one side of the block. So you're holding the stone, make sure you don't hammer your fingers. Do that on the other side, of course, and then fold it back over the stone and reshape it with your pliers. And you can see you've made oh, a little spiral. And then what you do then is a little bit of um, 0.4 millimetre wire. It is lovely and shiny, you see, because you could just go with the round wire, but it doesn't have that shine. That also, it doesn't fit flat against the skin as easily. And then all you do then is attach a little bit of 0.4 millimetre wire around this spiral up at either end. Sorry, at this end, 
and I wrap it about three times actually and then wrap it round um, the, the loop. That side's already attached to that loop. Go to the other side, probably attach another bit of 0.4 there and then trim trim these, these wires in. I know it's dreadfully messy at the moment, but you'd take a little bit more time and, and make it all um, um, attach in, okay? All right, so very that's pretty. how you make that. So it's very quick, but nice, honestly- Nice little components to Components, so I'm sorry that was a dreadful demonstration, but actually that's, you can make that. If you take the time yourself, just make sure it's a bit neater. So onto the fishes. I've done a handout for this actually for previous fishes. The only thing, you, so I can, if you look on my um, Facebook pages, there's all the templates for the fishes um, and I'll put the templates up for the angel fish on there as well. It's made in exactly the same way as the fishes, just with, you know, slightly different shaped fins, okay? Um, and the only thing you need to do is make sure you fold over the sides of the abalone, but I'll show you that with the turtle. So um, the, the covering here will just need to fold over the, 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 the sharp rectangular sides of the, of the abalone. It's not a curve. So there's the template you'll get for the angelfish, and I'll put that on the um, Facebook page. It'll be a couple of days. I've got to kind of edit them and put them in there. So there'll be a few step photos as well. And then on to, oh, there's the... the um, high tiki, which I've got to think about releasing because it's a sort of cultural symbol. So I'm going to keep that for the minute and then think what to do. But I have made it and taken photographs. It was a beautiful thing to make. Mm. So, and there's the big turtle, which eventually wow. I will. That's made in exactly the same way as the little turtle. So all it is is a big version of it with an extra sort of ring of um, these. Um, um, Shapes. Oh god, what are they called? Oh, <laughs> Little I don't square know. shapes. Yeah, they're kind of. I <laughs> like can't a, remember. Right at the end. Yeah, around the edge of the. the it the probably shell. is a yeah, biological name. name. I don't and know I did it zoology, now. so I should know better. But there we go. That's um, the side of. The, so that's basically made in exactly the same way, just stepped up in size with an extra um, um, covering of this. Um, this, uh, instead of the little covering we're gonna make for the little turtle, it's a sort of larger covering. Mm -hmm. So again, I have taken step by step, so eventually I'll get it out to you. So just, um, again, just be patient and, I'll, and each, maybe every couple of days, I'll put something on the Facebook pages. Oh, and you're very kind. So there we go. So there's the little turtle template. Okay. And we have one, two, three, four frames. I won't show you how to make them all because um, there isn't time and I really want to talk through how we make it and again if you don't get it all I will put it out on the um, Facebook pages I've taken step by step so you'll get it eventually just um, again be patient and buy that beautiful abalone and then you'll be able to make so it. So must frame that you follow that follow the drawing like a template? Yes so we have a black frame which is the little body and little eyes might need to zoom in as much mm -hmm. as you can there we are Zoom in, zoom in there, zoom in, that's lovely. And then, um, and again, I'll have pictures of those so you see the frames next to it. You have a little tail fin frame, mm -hmm. and you have a front fin frame. That's a great thing about this, these detachable sort of sides of the frames, is that um, if you have a slightly longer or shorter cabochon, you can actually sort of adjust these okay. to fit. So, and you just expand the size or, or detract to, according to the size of your little cabochon. And these, these are made to fit the little um, ovals, or you can put the pairs in. Yeah, as part of that bundle. Yeah. Um, and there's a shell covering frame, which is that one here. So I think what we'll do is make the top fin frame because the bottom fin frame is really made very similar way uh, you just don't have the loop a bit at the top okay and then we we'll make, might make this frame here because I think that one again if you can make all the bends as long as you can sort of follow the, the template to make that I think you'd be right so I'm going to make two of the frames because I want to talk you through the assembly as well um, let's get some point eight millimeter wire so uh, quite a short sort of 30 centimeter 30 centimeter wire I got 25 actually probably, and it, uh, probably a bit too much really, but I'd rather have a little bit excess so I don't run out in the middle of making a shape. So um, starting in the middle of the wire, I've got chain nose pliers and I'm gonna bend it upwards to make um, a little loop. Bringing in round nose pliers, I'm just gonna pull the wire round, slightly adjusting where I am with the round nose pliers, and made a little loop. Grip near the base of the loop, and you've got the, the little nose loop, and that's your hanging loop for necklaces. Although you've got attachment points for fins and all sorts of places along that little turtle you can attach to. 
I'm going to turn the diagram now because it's easier to work with on the side. And what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to go around the blue. The blue slightly blends into the black a little bit, but as long as you look at the frame you're going to make, just try and follow into that. Um, there we go. There's around the side of the little cheek, bend at the neck, and again I'm following the diagram. Bend at the little shoulder blade, and I'm going to take it off the paper, grip near where I want to make the bend. I know it's in the right place because I've got the diagram. Squeeze either side of the bend to sharpen it up, and I've got a, I've got the first little shoulder blade made. Uh, reshape. There we go. Little squeezes, and then it, these are just like undulations. You might not be able to sort of. There's the tip of the of the upper fin. Just grip where you want to make a bend near it and just pull it. Can you see where I'm just gripping? So yeah. I got my in the right in the right way. Gripping here and then pulling. So I'm actually handling the wire very in a very just really to hold it in place while I shape it with my with my fingers really. And there we go, that's a terrible there we go, that's better. Just wait until you just take your time. And there's one side of that shape and you just turn it over and make the other shape, other side. Um, in mirror image. Um, you need to curl that shape into the fins. And I've just shown you how to make a curl when I made the koru. So that's what you do there. So you turn those little tails into curls that fit inside the fins. And with the hind fins, you're making a shape over the red, very, in a very similar way to these the four fins, just with a bend at the top and with these long tails, and curl the tails down into the fins just like that, you can see that there. Um, I'm going to quickly hammer to show you how to hammer them. With the top fins, you just need to hammer the spiral. Take, keep holding off the edge of the of the block, <coughs> and, and pull it out away from this top frame so you don't hammer cross bit of wire. And really hammer the edge of the fin a bit more. So you get a bit more flattening at the edge of the fin. So it looks you have got a different width to that wire there and fold it back over. So because you've hammered, you've created a different, different width of that wire. Do you hammer the same on the back fins. So done those. Um, what's the other shape? Oh yeah, the eye frame. This is quite similar. You're just making a little um, pear shape, following the contours and making a little um, eye shape with a bend and a little loop here. So again, remember just to grip round and make these little bends for the eyes. You don't need to do much that frame except change its positioning. So here what I'm going to do is just holding this pear bit with my fingers. I'm just going to bend it upwards and to the side, bend it upwards to the side. So we're going to make these eyes face a different direction to the main plane of the body. So it's going to sit like that. So we're going to start to create a little three dimensional little figure. Um, ah. to its little face. So that's, it will have a three-dimensional little face then. So the little loop needs to be the base near the bottom of the eye and the kind of, yeah, you can see how it's sitting there. So we've got some shapes made. Last one to shape is this... Shell. Shell carapace covering. Yeah, whatever, whatever I can't, yeah, like the, the pattern. Oh, you must um, see Natalie's beautiful turtle that she made Saturday the 16th. Her patterning on the shell was absolutely outstanding. She made a beautiful um, sea turtle and um, because she had a sea turtle clasp and she made, if you look back her design, it's absolutely spot on. So please refer to her design as well, oh, honestly. It's amazing. Nice She's, she is such a lovely um, and talented lady. Yeah, she indeed. really is. So, um, so there. So anyway, so next on, to, we're going to start just making one bend, to be honest, because that's all we need to do to show you this, 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 because we're going to just make four of the same. Follow the red line on the template and just bend upwards. Bend that one upwards for that one. And you can sharpen up bends if you want by clamping either side of the bend to make them sharper. Make this one come down. And then I'm going to just form a, just a suggestion of a bend there. Ooh. I only want to, um, yeah, that's in the wrong place. I only want it like a like three millimetres along from this first bend. Okay. So I'm going to nibble Almost in. creating a prong, aren't you, I suppose? Exactly what you're doing. Exactly. You're doing a prong setting in, in, yeah. in to cover it. Yeah. 
So I'm just nibbling in. Can you see how I'm just nibbling a tiny bit in just to sh change the shape of that prong? And then you squeeze from the base all the way up to make it squeeze together. You can see it's squ squeezing together now a bit more from the first shape you made. Then bend outwards and then start to make the next one along. Okay, so when you've got four with these um, wire um, tails here, that's the covering made, and then curl the ends. And then what you need to do with these curled ends is just hammer the whole thing like that. Just gently, not too much, just a little bit. And then reshape. And then reshape. Whoop. <laughs> and then um, that's your sort of hammered surface. Now we're going to shape it so it fits over. I know I'm doing it speedily, but you know, uh, re stop, rewind, replay. You'll have my hand out eventually, so you'll be able to. This is just to show you the motions of making things. You'll be all right. So we're now going to shape this this flat object just to fit over the little cabochon, which has. Um, I can treat it each one like a cabochon. You see. Even though it's got a drill hole, we're not even going to use that um, in this piece. And we need to just make a sharp, sharp bend, whereas if you're using a round cabochon, you can just bend it in a curve over. So that's the difference, really, with this one. So hold your fingers, thumb, for fingers over the main central part of this setting, and then make a little bend downwards on each side, about, God, well, about the height of the stain, which is about, I'm calling it a stain, five millimetres or something like that. And then just check it over the side just to make sure you've got it the right height. So you've got four bends. And then the, the most difficult part of it is actually this bend at the end because you have to stop it from distorting. So hold it really close to where you want to curl these bends downwards and bend the curls downwards and sort of to the side. And then we're going to try it out over this little turtle. There we are. And squeeze it in. And you put, we're pretty much on there. Now, just use the, um, the soft ends of your plier handles just to push this in. Can you see how I'm pushing it in round the, the stone? And you can use the pliers to just to compress. And look, we've got pretty good, much good a fit. I'm quite happy with that, actually, that we can go ahead to the next stages. So we've got the, the setting made. So uh -huh. we're ready to go. Next thing to do, and again, I can talk you through this because, you know, it's not that difficult. So take some of the 0.25 millimeter wire and join these pieces together, like so. So luckily the diagram's balanced so that you can pick out where to go. And also I'll give you a picture of these stages so you know where to wrap. So take some 0.25 millimeter wire and wrap all the way around this little V. Then you hold this piece and then wrap around the, the join between two, squashing with your fingers every so often to keep it flat. Wrap all the way along this, this fin. Wrap the other end all the way along this fin and hold it in place. Put another section of 0.25 millimeter wire all along this side and then wrap another section all along this side. So you've got the backing plate for your little oh, cabochon. Look. So I mean, that's a lovely pendant, <laughs> just as it is. <laughs> so I'll show you how it all fits together. So, so you can plan it. Um, there it is. There's the little turtle frame all attached. There's the little side. Um, right body frame there is the oh knocked out of place and this is where it does it doesn't matter does it and there's the little oval oh come on Rachel there's the oval frame oval cabochon can you see how it's starting to fit together yeah. and then with the curls to the bottom pop that over and that's how it's going to fit together like that so that's sort of like the jigsaw puzzle of the little turtle can you see that so we're, we sort of you almost know what to do now don't you so we're going to fit it all together so what I have done is I'm going to push this. Oh, are we okay to work over the white paper? Yeah. I might, might just turn it around so we've got a bit more just white. So I'm going to quickly do that. So what I'm going to do is I have attached in an ato sort of like a seed bead or you can have a little two millimeter sort of um, um, teal color. Um, seed beads or um, gemstone beads sitting in this. So you've wrapped from the V with about sort of, I suppose, a metre of 0.25 millimetre wire. And then I've done one of my all time favourite wraps is a crisscross attachment where you pass one um, end of the bead through, one, one end of the wire through the bead, uh, the other end of the wire through the other bead, and pull the bead into place and wrap a couple of times above the bead. 
and that at that point you're ready to start attaching the pieces together so you've got your um, little backing frame just make sure you've got it the right way up so I want the little curls to be nice and flat and reflective no hammer marks and it'll sit there so I'm going to attach um, I'm going to sit it together what you need is this little bend where the eye bend comes up needs to be at the neck so bend so you've got to try and hold it in that place and the little base it should fit together from the template if you made it to the template and start to hi, don't look at my mouth and start to attach this together where you've got actually that's my third hand is my mouth just don't tell anybody um, start to attach everything together like that you see sewing almost it, it is it's weaving sewing metal work it's everything actually it's amazing um, um, amazing field of design actually Can you see so wrap a couple of times there and on the other side you started to stabilize it it will start to hold itself together even with these two wraps um, just pull it tightly into place so we're fairly near the inside bend of the fit, fit you can see exactly where it is you see that little bend the neck bends fit nicely together keep that in place now the next bit is sorting out the cabochon fit so we've got that ready to fit so that those two attached now we're going to sort out the fitting of the cabochon and the bead in place where did i put that there we go so um i've got is do you know what it's easier to have the cabochon in place and work with it because it kind of holds the frame in place if you start attaching this covering frame without it it's so fiddly so the best thing to do is put the little oval in place well you've got a drill hole as well haven't you so you could you but could you yeah, didn't use you it. don't have to use it. No, you can. If you really want to, you can just att attach it in place and secure it. Yeah, you, ca you can actually. And that's a really good idea. Just make sure we've got the curls to the bottom. And then what we need to do now is just hold this round and we're going to start to attach everything together. And again, it'll be fiddly to start with, but once you've got that very first attachment, what we're going to do is go down through the fin. Oh, sorry through the fin it's got a slightly too long bit of wire to work with on it as a demo but this you've got to get used to it really because that's what you're going to be working with round the frame at the back this is the bit where so i had to look at the back and it might go back up through the inside of the frame through that little loop that's at the base of that setting and we're going to start to pull it all together can you see and then wrap it round and it should hold itself together there can you see so that's started to hold it you started to attach it together and you're going to work way all the way around on both sides and i'm going to show you that with a i know this is quick but actually you've got all the detail you need straight away <laughs> as if i'm magic um, <laughs> i've worked my way around now we might i don't know whether we need to zoom in on this just to, so you can really see where i've wrapped so i'm going to hold it up because all i was doing was holding this in place and wrapping carefully, carefully around. I got up to maybe the bottom of the fin and then worked on the other side to make sure things are balanced. And then you can see I've wrapped um, just above that top fin, I wrapped through the second, through the first, that base prong and wrapped it to the frame. And here I started to wrap into the upper, upper fin and then to the top of the fin and then to the other prong. And you, and you do it on the other side, you've got it pretty much all secured in place together. And now we're going to work on the head. So I know this is rapid, but we're, we're okay, aren't we? So, yeah, yeah, so what we're going to do is going to work on the head. So you've, you've secured your cabochon in place. What you could do is do a little squeeze, either with pliers or your fingers, just to make sure you narrow the gap and, and make sure everything's in place. Do a little push with your pliers. Can you see how I'm pushing um, the setting into place over the top of the cabochon like that? I'm calling it cabochon because it is. And then... Shall we bring the yeah. graphics live for the abalone just yeah. before you go into that? Just because <laughs> yeah, don't almost half out. the stock's gone. Yes. So let's bring that. Look, you get Lovely. eight strands. I know. So obviously so these are shapes. what you've used. Your fish, your turtles, the, whale, in amongst your whale whales, tails. seahorses. There's one in the tummy of the, the high tiki. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, it's everywhere. And the fact is it's beautiful. It goes so far, doesn't and it? And the shapes are conducive to all these different designs. Um, and um, that's that's a wonderful variety of it all. Well, it's a brand new bundle, Rachel. Yeah. Um, mm, and yes. you are getting, 
Well, when we, we had abalone recently, mm. um, <clears throat> after a very, very long time, we didn't have a bundle like this. Hearts, rectangles, diamonds, pairs, um, uh, top to bottom rectangles, and you've got squares, rounds and ovals. One, yes, and they're double-sided abalone. Yes, beautiful. Oh, eight, beautiful. It is beautiful. Eight strands in total. <coughs> and you're right, Rachel, they are individual cabochons, aren't they? That's Effectively, you can that, treat them like that's so. That's how I've treated them. Um, and then you then you don't waste, waste it, and also you, uh, you can actually get so much out of just one of those individual beads or I stones. I think because abalone is so visual, isn't it? It goes so far. Yes. Um, it's beautiful. It's a variety mm. of uh, um, mollusk, effectively, that is farmed. Um, it's um, actually a, a food source as well. Um, many people mm. actually yes. eat it, yes. farm it to it eat it yes. as well. Yeah. Um, you have very strict rules on the fishing of abalone, um, mm. which is absolutely wonderful. But uh, the actual colours as well, the mm. different colours are where that abalone shell is fed or relocated into different waters. Gosh. So it kind of tells the story of where they've been. Amazing. No, I didn't know that. Gosh. So, yeah, yes, it's lovely. The different colours, when you often see like a yeah. separation, like with a darker line, that's where they've changed their, their food source from the minerals oh, that were within the water. Have washed over them. And the, just to say, the rectangular ones down there are double. Um, oh, double, double drilled. drilled. That's you. why I've showed you on this necklace that they are double drilled because it could you could make it into a bracelet, but I've just put showed you that so you can see how you can use those double drill holes, which Perfect. is really useful. Perfect, which is amazing. At £239.99, pence, amazing. Eight strands, eight different shapes. The flat rectangles, flat diamonds, hearts, drops, end-to-end -end rectangles. So if I describe them, so you've got the double drilled ones that Rachel was just describing, hearts, diamond squares, Drops, end to end rectangles, that's what I was referring to yeah, then. Yes. Squares, rounds, and ovals. Um, Ross is just checking. He said when we launched or relaunched the abalone, they were two, they were two separate bundles. So you had yeah, the yes. rounds and then you had the rectangles and squares together. Um, and those bundles individually, Rachel, were with Dave. One went to 79. Both £79, yeah. there you go, amazing. Now, because we have Rachel today and it's an amazing treat, yeah, that makes sense. Straight away, we're going to give you a saving, 149 for getting two bundles. So you're getting a saving straight away. But the fact that Ross has just said straight away tells me something. Yeah, that's it, yeah. This, tells, is, this is Joy Maker. Exactly, <laughs> it, it tells me. We're going to get back to the little turtle. £79 each. On launch, you're already getting a saving, an amazing saving. Today, you can get all eight strands, two bundles effectively, should be 158 pounds, but instead, oh, this is a big saving. Oh, oh it's a goodness. massive saving. Wow, eight strands. I know, and you know, because we've had um, lots of things happen in the world, um, and I know the ability to, to source abalone is mm -hmm. a totally different situation much than it was more expensive years now. ago and yeah. um, the quality of this is is beautiful every yeah. single one was lovely you didn't get sort of you know sometimes you get a strand and like half of them are a little bit sort of ropey and that you know they're not quite as good but I, every single one is beautiful and plus they're graded a... now as well you're so right rachel because mm. i was actually asked that question why is abalone so much more expensive now than it was and it's things have changed dramatically have changed in the world. and mm. thankfully ethics you know mm. these are yes, ethically sourced yes, which yes. is so so important mm. but also when you see colors like this when you have multiple colors three plus colors it's like you know the same way that we do with our amylite yes um it's yeah. graded double it's, a graded you're absolutely right it's the, bit of, the amount of blues and purples um, yeah. in this they call it pink Yes. They call oh. it pink abalone. Well, I suppose, yeah, but it's, it's really beautiful. It's like violet and it's Amazing. coming out of, of them. It's lovely. Oh, now we no forgot to put it on split payment. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is, yeah. Sea. Now we forgot to put this on split payment. We can't physically adjust that now the graphics are live. But Ross is saying, because it, and it's Sunday, we're mm. not going to be able to get hold of anybody. Ross is saying, I tell you what, because we can't get on, on split payment, I'm going to give you a little extra reduction. 
and that's how he's going to justify it. So instead, today, eight strands for the price... What? For the... For, for the price of four? Buy one bundle and you get the other bundle for free? We can't go any lower than that, though. How many have we got of this bundle? 40, so it's limited. Phone lines have lit up. Amazing. Make sure you Thank check you. out the big abalone you can shop ahead on as well. Back That's to you, beautiful. Rachel. And the bars for the for the fins yes. of things. I mean, um, also they do make a lovely bar necklace. I actually took it apart though and made the fish. <laughs> so it's been made remade about three times that one. Um, so back to the turtle. So you can see here, I've used the wire. I've wrapped around the top of the neck and the kind of the start of the eye. Um, a few times and worked along the bottom of the face. And I'm going to do that quickly on this side. And do you know what? I'm going to take some of this um, wire off. I don't need as much because I just need to be a bit quicker. So, and I'm also, so wrap through these little side curls. How much time have I got? Just let, I know my head. How Plenty much time? of time. So that's all right then. Oh, yeah. well, good. Well, not like three hours. <laughs> so we're fine. Yeah, that's perfect. So what we're going to do is... I work along, I've attached that little loop and then I'm going to work along the bottom of the face frame, the little side cheek, until I reach this eye frame and I'm going to head up to the, the middle of the eye because I'm going to use this as one of the wires to actually um, uh, bead in, and the eye bead. And you can see how some of this technique I was using to, to wrap up the side of the turtle. Um, and as so you can see how I, I wrap a little bit further away from where I need to, to go sometimes and I can push it into place um, with my fingers so it's all neatly and pat neatly side by side. I've got beads going everywhere. So now I need to just wrap around the base of the eye once or twice and leave that wire there. So I've got both side wires ready to attach in eye beads. I'm going to cut this one on this side as well because it's slightly getting in the way. I was a bit over enthusiastic about how much I needed. And I'm going to add in a new piece of 025 millimeter wire to the base of the of the head, and you can sort of wrap around the I suppose one side of the base of the eye with the midsection of about another sort of 50 centimeters of wire. So I'm wrapping around once here. Come on, you can see where I'm just wrapping at the base of the little eye, just above where I'd wrap around the neck. There we go, push it into place. And then I'm going to add in a bead, start to start um, cinching these together. I need to put the other wire over to the other side and just the other sort of wire end. So you're going to have four wire tails to work with. We won't, get, I'll probably have time to get down to the nose, but we'll see how we get on. It's the same thing all the way down to the end of the nose. So I've got now that new section of wire added in at the base of the neck, ready to add a line of beads all along the, um, the I suppose, the top or midline of the head. I'm going to add this three-dimensionality into the head now. So I work with gold beads, and I wanted to... got some eight O's. And you could, if it's a really big turtle, um, put in some six O's or some four-millimeter beads or something like that. Um, but um, I'm just going to do a crisscross at attachments. It's not too, not, none of this is too difficult actually. Once you've got these frames made, the actual assembly is not too hard at all. Uh, as long as you've made them to the right size, they'll fit together nicely. So I've passed the 0.25 millimeter wire through either side of the 8O bead and then pulling it gently into place, it'll sit at the base of the neck like that. You can see it's starting to pull the, the head frame together. Now, you probably got a little bit of leeway about what you do next, as long as you sort of keep it consistent. I'm just going to reshape very gently that little curl there. And I'm going to just um, maybe attach or wrap to the top of that curl. Oops. And then you do that a couple of times, but you've only got time, I'm afraid, just to do one through. So really, you need to do a couple through that loop and then work your way along the top of the eye until you get to a point at which you could add another bead with, with a crisscross wrap um, into the central midline. You might have a chance to put one more bead in before you put the eye bead in, you see. So I'm going to be fairly... 
quick with this. What I might do is I'm going to pretend I put another bead into the midline here. So you, basically the wire that you used to wrap along on the other side will actually, once you put another crisscross in, end up being on this side of the bead, uh, forehead, sorry, and this side, this one will go to the other side, ready to, for this eye. Um, but I'm going to pretend I haven't put another bead in or whatever. We're going to just do the, put the eye bead in and we'll talk through the rest. It's, it's actually just structure now and I'll talk, maybe get you through a finished one just to show you. Because I think actually, once you understand the pattern of, of, of how you do things, it'll be quite easy. The techniques are very simple. So imagine I put another bead with a crisscross wrapping on the top and another, and I've got, we'll have two wires on this side and two wires on this side. Um, at about the midsection of the eye. So we're just going to put the eye bead in. And I'm using a different tone bead, and I thought I'll go for the, the aqua green um, for the eye. Oh, I don't know what I did, what did I do actually? Yeah, I did gold along the forehead and two little aqua green eyes um, because I thought that really sort of showed um, the difference between the, the eyes pop out, pop as little, as little sort of colours. Make sure the, the eye bead sits inside the frame. So you use a tiny little, maybe attach in first, wrapping around the cheek frame and the top of the eye frame on the other side. And then you could actually just widen this little eye frame a little bit with pliers and then make sure you just gently, gently press this eye bead into place. Can you see? Yeah. Now it will sit in, in, in this eye frame and then work along adding more beads in. I'm going to get one of the Finished little sea turtles, so you can see what I, I mean. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to bring this off the bust and just show you um, what I mean, what I did. So you can see, they're all the same, oh. um, this little little turtle. So what I did actually with this one, I added two beads into the neck because there's a bit more space. And this one, I only added in. Different. Yeah, and then this one, one bead, just because the head was a little bit wider on this one. So you've got sort of leeway to do that. Um, and then worked along crisscross wrap add in the eye beads um, and then this wire at the base of the eye is sort of finished off here and this what these wires at the top of the eye I added in another bead with a crisscross strap and then another little tiny bead at the, at the top end loop um, and finished that off too so that's how the little head is it's really quite a simple little shape but it's it's got a you know, little creature you know out of the out of abalone um, sitting in the, as, the, as the shell. So there we are. And the Great big one is... They're absolutely <laughs> incredible. Thank they really, <laughs> really, really are amazing. Lots of you are asking for this. Let's yes. bring the big abalone. Because yeah, yeah. it is lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this is extremely limited. I've only got 20 available. It's a single piece. Um, and yes, more recently, we relaunched abalone because it was a, there was a, a, you know, a good period of time where we didn't have any abalone. And that's because, obviously, as we just touched mm. on, you know... Um, the, the fishing, the mind, the, uh, and, and the well-being, effectively. Yes, actually, that's, um, yeah, that's of, yeah. of of the abalone itself. Mm. Um, now, and we want we have always endorsed, of course, escort sourcing. Um, now, yeah, it's graded these days now, so you can have captive abalone. Let's just say they're not very colourful; they don't look like happy mollusks. Whereas these, um, happy mollusks, because you've got a, an abundance of colours. So similar to the amylite, it's graded, as we said on a few moments ago. Two colours is double A grade. 90% of your abalone will be that is, uh, is, has two colours. Three colours, you're talking triple, talking triple A, you're getting a lot rarer then at 15%. And then three colours plus, they refer to as wild or red. And you're talking 5% of the world's abalone. Yeah. Um, so that's precisely what we're offering you. So for a, a wild red uh, pow, uh, necklace, it's POA for that. And there's, you know, there's no wire work. No, it's just strong, isn't it's it? It's just so, knotted, mm. exactly. Did we have the price of this necklace? The fact it's POA should tell me that I can't afford it, then, <laughs> I guess. Um, now, there are only 20 of these single abalone shells. They're big as well, and this is what Rachel uses the body of her yes. um, mummy turtle, effectively. Yeah. £79.99, pence. plus you can get hold of it on your split payment. Um, it is very difficult mm. to get hold of abalone at the moment. It's, uh, it's expensive, um, and that is an incredible price point mm. in comparison to alternatives in the market. 
It's lovely, and it is, as I say, double-sided. Double-sided, yeah. Oh, look at look at that! The colours and just being a magpie sort of jewel. You know, we 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 love. We're drawn to those colours, and it's it's a beautiful gloss finish. Um, yeah, and it's got this iridescent, beautiful colours on both sides. Um, you know, it's just absolutely a stunning. delight to work with. Absolutely, there's ten of them left. Nine, sorry, Jenny, well done. Sorry, Sharon, Marion, Melanie, Hertfordshire, Marie, Ruby, Wendy, Anna. Um, new customers getting involved. Twenty six pounds and sixty six pence as well. And yeah, mm. for me, you know, it, it makes the whole necklace having the abalone within there. You know, yeah. oh yes, yeah. you've used. So it I made. Fish. I mean, this was a, um, a half cabochon I used ages ago. I mean, you can see the grade isn't as good actually, to be honest, because it's got missing missing colour in it, and it's it's a duller colour. But you can see, you can also make the design from um, my DVD years ago. I made sort of a DVD with, with fishes in. Um, well, if you've got that DVD, but yeah, I mean, the, it's smaller and it hasn't got both sides and it's got loss of colour. So I can see the difference in grading. It's got yeah. missing areas. So, you know, having worked with that, it is different. It, the beautiful. quality, yeah, yeah yes. the quality is it's amazing. The, more blues, say, uh, yeah, more um, blues, more purples. Yeah, you know, absolutely, and huge mm. as well, absolutely huge. Right, let's bring the bars then, Rachel, because you use this in, yes, the... in the in the beautiful fins for side oh, of the, amazing. which you you can just use it as a well just use it as a lovely bar necklace so interspace it with some sterling silver spacers um and or or, or long sort of silver work um maybe designs coming down um but i thought do you know what i just i knew if i had time i made it into an emergency necklace first of all <laughs> with 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 prongs and bars and things like that and i thought i have got time and i made the 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 um fish which is similar to my one of my copper work fishes i just use this as the the design that's oh, yes. on my one and i think the um, tapering <laughs> makes them quite aquatic like don't they and it's just lovely to have, work with almost entirely yeah i put chrysocolla into the body oh, yes. um which is a beautiful stain and it's really good to use with the abalone that Although, looks like the japanese fish you know the yeah, ones? the koi's. And yes. The, yes, 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 exactly. Yes, exactly. Amazing. Um, but you can use, sorry, you can use the purple tones. Um, you can bring out purple tones with it. I could have put, um, gosh, um, really yellows, yeah, greens, everything, golds. Mm. 29 wow that's an amazing price point which also when you consider how abalone naturally forms, it's curved, isn't it? You're right, actually, yes. So yeah. to actually, and these aren't slithers, they're not doublets or triplets. That's a solid piece of abalone shell. We're Gosh. looking at the side profile there. Yeah. But just to show you, they're not layers. That is a solid Gosh, piece of abalone. From the, what, maybe the shell just changes in shape. I mean, does it? Do I, no. Well, I no. assume it That's must be whole. just sort of that part of yeah. the actual shell itself. So I assume just that one part. Because otherwise they're curved, aren't they? I don't know. So to, I don't know. I don't know. The process of making them then, or whatever. I guess that is amazing itself. I have Incredible. to get some footage of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. £29 and 99 pence only. Um, there was only 20 of these. And in terms of quality, let me just show you. Because, look, uh, we touched on it earlier on. A captive bread, bread live mollusk ready uh, to be harvested at a farm in Thailand. You can see two colours, one colour really. Not as vibrant, you know. Um, you know, they're still pretty, don't get me wrong. They are still pretty, but no, no way near the colours that you're getting within your uh, wild um, abalone just here. Well done, everyone. Okay. Um, let's bring you... Oh, I don't see that. Oh, it's a try. It's that yeah, little, little triangle. You you have a, yes, it's a beautiful little silver um, it's with the triangles, fish. and just um, yeah, pop it in wherever you want to. It's that sterling <laughs> silver that piece that you're referencing right yeah, now. So, yes, yes. Um, yeah, very beautiful. Mm. So you can see the two angel fish, um, the two angel fish. Uh, oh, here we go. Sorry, 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 Lauren. And it's got. Um, Two drill hooks. Yeah, two little um, little uh, loop um, loops for attachment. There we go, um, and it's perfect. It's a bezel set, um, and it's got a flat silver backing. Oh no, nice. has it got an open backing? Yeah. And uh, there we go, and it's beautifully made. We're under twenty pounds. It's quite edgy, so I thought I'll go put the sort of edgy angle, uh, edge angles of the angelfish with it um, because. 
It's I like the sort of um, wow. this is any be worn by anyone. It can be worn by anybody. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, even if you don't incorporate it into into some fantastic wire work, you can mm. just feed this onto a chain. Maybe a deal of the day because remember, we've got lots of sterling silver chains coming up. Uh, Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Um, so you get a solid 925 sterling silver, genuine abalone, again with that wild quality, um, all the multitude of colours. Just if you think you've seen, you know, absorbed abalone, you turn it in an ever so slight different direction and you say, oh gosh, look at that cobalt blue, look at that yellow, look at that almost like paraba green and flashes of golds and pinks and reds. The clock is ticking, suggesting we're going even lower on this one. It's such, I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's lovely. I mean, I know my daughter would love it. It's just the sort of simplicity that she'd like. Um, you know, I go a bit over the top ornate. This is something that my daughter would like because she's quite like the sort of smaller, simple pieces. Mm -hmm. So it'd just be right up her street to, to have this. You wow. Know. So, yeah. Good luck because we're not even stopping at 19.99. Have we got many? 50, okay. That's a bigger quantity than I was expecting. Great way of introducing abalone into your collection because... At fourteen ninety nine, that's incredibly mm. affordable for this beautiful gemstone. It's great if you're going to make chainmail or something like that. And it'd be you can put it on the bottom of your chainmail necklace. Yeah, um, lovely. You know, it just fit in, fit in nicely. It balances. Imagine you've got two for earrings. Yeah, <laughs> That'd amazing. be lovely. Um, so I think those attachment loops really are make it very versatile indeed, and it won't rotate if you've got those two. And also, you know, you can ha hang it below something. So you've made another mm -hmm. item like I have. Um, and then you've got this detail, wonderful detail to hang from the, from the base. Or you have it as its own independent, wonderful piece of jewellery that you've got. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, it, it will creates a focal point, doesn't it, in the centre. That perfect, you know, like the angel, uh, the angel fish is swimming down to kiss it. Yeah. Oh, it's really yeah. lovely. Um, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. We had quantity, but they are absolutely flying out the door. Um, again, solid nine two five sterling silver uh, with that premium quality, that array of amazing colours. Congratulations! Heads up now. All the wire work bundles extremely limited. Um, the abalone, large abalone shell, extremely limited. The bundle, extremely limited. I have got a very special auction to oh, introduce just before we dive into your um, to your deal of the day, and it's just handed in. And I, I was wondering whether this would be included in uh, um, on the back of. I know. <laughs> I it's what I've made it like with it without a. <laughs> isn't it amazing? That is lovely. I mean, oh. this is that present for somebody yeah. that's got everything. Um, I'm, and I used to work it's in a jewellery. My brother's 50th birthday next weekend. You need to get one of <laughs> these now. One. Because I'm going to show you, Rachel, there's a price of an abalone pen. And oh let's just say there's, it, they're polars apart. I used to work in a jewellers, for those of you that don't know, and they sold Mont Blanc, they sold Cartier pens, they sold, and they were like 200, I'm talking 26, uh, 25 years ago. Um, and yeah, they were about 200, 300 pounds then. So goodness knows what they are now. This is genuine abalone inlaid in this beautiful rollerball pen. So there we go, $270. I mean, it's a fountain pen, slightly different, but lovely. $270. You've got abalone in the center in this wonderful kind of mosaic. Here's another abalone pen um, that you can see, £252.95 plus tax. Woo! It's a rollerball. <laughs> yeah, which actually is quite get. a lot <laughs> when you... Um, import something yeah yeah you get stung yeah you absolutely do <laughs> um again genuine abalone it's a lovely weight this pen by the way and that's one of the things that i remember the training with it mont blanc they were like you talk about classy. the weight of the pen how it helps you with your writing yeah um honestly seriously i used to talk about that all the time the weight of the top of the pen and everything sort of helping you with your writing really comfortable the thickness of it as well <laughs> um, but it means it's meant to cause you a lot less stress on your hand effectively if there's that weight um, and it's a twist so can you see you've got that twist mechanism that brings the roller ball up um, it's really lovely what a great isn't 50th it? present oh, no. this would be <laughs> um, beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful 39 pounds and 99 pence only do you That's hold it amazing it's a nice oh pen. no gosh the, it's a lovely weight actually it's not light you know it's it's a beautiful weight and it's lovely go on have a go oh, oh. lovely oh yes it's lovely and i'm writing on a soft surface so 
Oh, that's beautiful. I, I think, oh, sorry, I've used it now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but look at that. And you've got inlay. And it's also, it's white. Um, it's mother white of pearl. Shirt, mother of pearl. And you've got the abalone sort of footing in there. with a, uh, It's lovely. Day. And look, that's really lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> well done, everybody. How many do we have of these in Roscoe? It is the perfect gift, isn't it? 20 remain. Stay where you are. And it comes, obviously, beautifully boxed. Well done. Congratulations, everybody. R uh, Rachel, amazing demo. Thank you oh, so much. You. And there's more from Rachel coming up in the masterclass. Coming up after the break, though, we have got Back in Stock by Very Popular Demand. And you get all of them. These aren't three separate auctions. Oh, yes. Um, your beautiful sterling silver chains. Now, these are by the length, so you can customise, obviously. Okay. You can solder onto these, obviously. But even if, the, you know, if they were complete necklaces, all you need to do is add a, uh, add a clasp, a clasp of choice. Um, you know, we've spoken about the paperclip chain, how much that would be elsewhere. And that's one single piece. You get all of them. They are going on pre-order during the break. We've got a big quantity of these, but probably not big enough. Also, you might have noticed we didn't play an early bird. Um, yeah, is it this sterling silver? Oh, I don't have it here anymore, yeah. Um, so we've got an early bird to squeeze in as well. Um, and we'll do that on the back of your deal of the day and it would go hand in hand. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 I do have them. Do you know, I was looking at these, they look kind of octopus-like. Oh, like those. They would have been really in keeping <laughs> with your, um, with yeah, your wire would. work. Gosh. They remind me a little bit of octopuses. Oh, lovely. And there's different shaped ones. That's that's like, it's got detail and a pattern in it. How pretty. Ah, so oh. they're coming up on the back of your deal of the day as well. And you get three of them. Um, sterling silver with that oxidisation. So, um, oh, okay, okay, so do not go anywhere. During the break, shop ahead on the three lengths of your sterling silver chain. Um, J Clubs class are coming up after that. More from Rachel and I after this. <laughs> Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. makers did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee no matter the size weight or quantity of your order how many times you check out that day we will still only charge you that single pmp keep things simple on jewelry maker Welcome back, everybody. Lovely to be with you on this very exciting Sunday. We've got the fantastic Rachel in the studio with that amazing demo. And we've got more demos from Rachel coming up in the show. Your deal of the day. Historically, here at Jewelry Maker is always one of our most popular. And that, if you think about it, look, we can romance you with all the amazing gemstones, but it's so important. I think it was one of our amazing viewers who messaged in um, a few weeks ago, actually, and said, oh, well, actually, Elle, we need 50-50. We need the gemstones, but we also need, um, we need the findings, the fundamentals, if you like, that tie it all together. You know, that's why those wire work bundles went absolutely crazy, because you need the wire to make Rachel's amazing designs. Um, and that absolutely applies to, yes, your head pins, your eye pins, your jump rings, your clasps, um, your earring findings, your studs, whichever it might be, and absolutely your chains. Now, the days when we used to bring you entire hours of chains, I, I, I can't remember the last time I actually brought one, a whole hour of it, um, but we have brought you very exciting big auctions individually. Um, so this is how, as, as your supplier, effectively, of your precious metals, that's what we are, aren't we? We supply you with your beautiful precious metals and your gemstones. Um, how we, you know, and we're in a constant battle, if you like. I say we like it's me, it's not me. Um, our buying team to try and sustain the amazing affordable price tags that you get and have done for the past 13 years. But also try and avoid the unavoidable increase in precious metal prices and sadly we're not exempt from that of course not there are methods that we can do so we will basically purchase bigger quantities the bigger the quantity generally we can no negotiate the higher price tag we do also benefit from the fact that we have sister channels that we can actually sort of split stock with um, so again brings those affordabilities down and if you think about how say uh, your H Samuels for example how your Argos or how your Monica Venade how your Pandora, they are a business, a, big, a single business. They're a big business, don't get me wrong. International, some of them in actual fact. Um, 
but a lot of the time, you know, they're kind of designer, aren't they? They've got that designer logo. So immediately straight away, you expect to pay a higher price point and they work off huge margins. Let me explain why that is. So I worked in some of those jewelers. I've sold the likes of your Cartier, your Bulgari, your Rolex, your Gucci, all of those brands. Um, and genuinely, and this is not an exaggeration at all, we would not, <laughs> sorry, Ross is teasing me now. We would not sell a piece of Gucci jewelry every single day. In fact, we wouldn't sell a piece of Gucci jewelry every single week on some occasions. And then lead up to Christmas, yeah, you would. But um, that's why they have to have higher margins effectively. I mean, we weren't like a Gucci store. We were, um, you know, one of the what do they call it, like a franchise, I suppose. So we had a, a display um, of their pieces, but they don't sell the quantities that we do, is my point. Um, 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 in any, in, certainly not in a time frame that we're about to. So that's how we do this for you. We'll buy big quantities. We might split that quantity between ourselves and our sister channel. Um, and we work off tiny margins because we don't have the overheads, the same overheads that those, those uh, uh, stores and brands actually do. Is it any different? No, you're still getting 925 sterling silver. Our 925 sterling silver is no different to Gucci's, for example, um, or any other Pandora or Monica Veneda. It's exactly, exactly the same. And in actual fact, I'll say this very cautiously. I can tell you this for certain because I have physically stood in an aisle of a manufacturer's where we source items like this and your connectors and things like that. I physically stood in an aisle and I've turned one side and I've seen jewelry maker. And I've turned the other side and I've seen very iconic designer. Literally alongside that we, ref we reference a lot. Um, how do I hint at it without giving it away? Uh, so if you wanted to change one name, it might be Darth. Yeah? <laughs> is that not a good... Is that, is that confusing? Okay. <laughs> um, what was Darth's second name? No? Is that really bad as well? Anyway, um, one of the designers that I talk about all the time, and I'm probably going to show you in a few moments' time as well. Anyway, um, so yes, made in exactly the same establishment that you source your components from. Um, now, we've brought you a version of this collection, and you do get all three. They're 50 centimetre lengths. We've brought you a version of this previously. I think I was lucky enough to launch them to you as well. They sold out because, of course, we bring you the best possible deal. Now, these are 50 centimetre lengths that you can customise. So you're not paying the additional expense of the actual class. Say, say for example, if you wanted to take 50 centimetres and make a, a few bracelets if you wanted, or multiple pairs of earrings. Um, so you're not losing components. Yeah, you've got to add your clasp or whatever it is you want to suspend them from. Um, but that's, uh, you know, it's, it's how a, a jewellery professional workshop would purchase their chains. They don't tend to buy them by the 16, 18, 20 inch length. They tend to buy them kind of on a big giant spool effectively um, but that opportunity that we bought you um, some months ago that sold out was ever so slightly different it's not exactly the same you have got two of the most popular links at the moment and stars that's the paper clip and you also have um, which I really love more of like a curvy paper clip is how I'm actually describing there's a significant gram weight of precious 925 sterling silver when e within each of these centimeter 50 centimeter lengths but let's talk about them because they are all paper clip chains effectively but with different designs let's talk about that amazing trend um, and I'm going to reference an article that was published only last year in May 2022 um, and they talk about um, you know, shows that lovely lady wearing a paper clip chain just there around the rear stand or around the neck Line. And she says, remember, or not her personally, the article says, uh, remember when you were bored in homeroom, or we call it class, um, here in the UK, and you strung together your paper clips from your pencil case to pass the time? I did that. Did you do that? I did that. Um, or maybe you gave them to your friend to cement your friendship. Either way, paperclip jewellery has come a long way. Uh, they are now the trend, so get on board. Whether it's a single strand or layering, paperclips have reached a new level of chic. 
um, style revamped, whether this trend takes you back to the classroom or makes you nostalgic for the styles of the 80s. The paperclip uh, necklace may be trendy, but it is anything but new. Created by Coco Chanel and made famous by none other than Jackie O herself, paperclip jewellery is actually a classic, masquerading as a trend. Paperclip necklaces have come a long way since you strung them together as a kid, available in yellow and white gold, uh, paying, uh, plain clay, uh, paperclip chains, and even access with pearls. Paperclip pieces need to be part of your fine jewellery collection. After all, if it's uh, if Jackie O and Coco Chanel approve, how can you go wrong? I mean, I agree. I totally agree. There's two incredibly stylish, iconic ladies just there that totally rock the paperclip chain. But also from a jewellery maker's perspective, because of course we've got to have that in our mind as well, it's not just about the trends, are these workable for you as a designer? And I think the simple answer that we'd all agree is yes, because the paperclip chain has that exposed elongated link. You've got areas to tie onto, maybe with your wires that you saw a few moments ago. Um, you can directly put a jump ring on there. You can solder onto them. You can absolutely actually reshape them if you wanted. There's a lot of potential and opportunities for you to you know, uh, um, attach that pearl that they referenced in that, in, in that article. Because if they were a curb chain, they're much more condensed, aren't they? Much more condensed. A snake chain, there's no offerings to get inside um, unless you attach it directly onto the chain itself. So yes, there is an exposure, a negative area, if you like, in the, in the center of each of those links. And lovely jewellery maker in closing, this is your deal of the day. I'm going to tell you this is probably one of the biggest sterling silver deals that you will see for a very, very, very long time. There is an enormous investment of 925 sterling silver. And like I said, we are not exempt from the increasing price points of your precious metals. In fact, it's probably one of our greatest challenges. And we, you know, we overcome that. Sometimes we don't, but um, with uh, by buying more effectively um, and spreading those costs across the entire partnership as well. I've got 200 available that each 50 centimeters, which is about 20 inches, by the way, even if I was, to, look, I'm a very basic jewelry maker. I can't do the, the amazing things that Rachel does. I can't see bead like our amazing Mark can. I can't do the metal smithing like um, Claire and Debbie do. I'm ju I just don't have those talents. But what I can do is open and close a clasp and attach it to a length of chain. So let's let 12 and a half grams of solid sterling silver in this amazing bundle. That's huge. And if you divide it out, you, it's absolutely enormous. Let's look at a few of those establishments that bring you the paperclip chain. They might be slight variations of um, length, twist, shape, design, whatever it is. Pandora, classic. Most high streets have got a Pandora, haven't they? Um, a very, very, very successful brand with beautiful jewellery. If you go into Pandora, you can get a paperclip chain of, um, for 125. Miss Soma, again, another amazing brand there. Slightly different. They've got the uh, a twisted link there, £310. You might get uh, one of their straighter paperclip chains, £155, which is great. Um, Thomas Sabo, you've got one which is kind of uh, cubic zirconia encrusted, um, £298 there. It's a significant amount of money. Um, Monica Veneda, <coughs> um, you've got, yeah, <coughs> sorry. I did say Monica Veneda, didn't I? Not, 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 not Darth. Anyway, um, nice uh, ch chunky necklace there, 19 inches. So technically that's shorter. Um, might be bigger. It's a bigger link, but you're talking, you know, big amount of money. Um, 350 pounds. That's 17 inches. You might be thinking, yeah, but it's gold. Yeah, it's gold plated. It's not solid gold. £350 for that necklace. And in terms of scale, I'm going to say it's quite comparable. Um, so big difference in the price point there. Um, again, MV, you're talking £295 for one of their lovely bracelets. That's gorgeous though, isn't it? Um, this is a great comparison because look, one bracelet, I know it's gold, gold plated rather silver, but I, that doesn't have a huge reflection on the price point. Um, but if you look at this one here, we never struggle to find comparisons for paperclip chains because pretty much every designer does them, pretty much. They're the biggest trend, the biggest hit in the jewellery world. But if you look at this one here, which actually has that kind of 
sparkle that we just saw in the um, in the gold plated bracelet there. I could make that bracelet mul multiple times over because yours is a 50 centimetre length. So you could do that just by adding a very simple what's that lobster claw class on a jump ring. That simple and save yourself hundreds of pounds. Um, okay, yeah, we can move on to ultra high end uh, of course gucci i've referenced them yes this is 18 karat gold but it's a paperclip chain you're talking eight and a half grand for that piece that's currently being sold i don't know if it is but it was when i did this powerpoint um on first dibs you can layer your paperclip chains in fact that's a huge trend very similar to the one i've just showed um shorter though don't be fooled by the fact that she's got what looks like uh four neck uh, um one massive necklace wrapped round. it's not it's four separate necklaces so that look would have cost 400 pounds basically um, to make that um, and you can see it here mixing the colors I love that look absolutely love that look Muru of London in a bracelet that's a fantastic price point for them 79 pounds in solid 925 sterling silver Sif Jacobs jewelry in Copenhagen 175 pound that's a bracelet rather than a necklace love that's a great price point to be fair um, one more going back to Pandora 70 pounds which again I think is quite a good price point don't you for a single uh, uh, for a bracelet but it's still 70 pounds now we're going to introduce the graphics to your screens because i do think this is going to create an absolute frenzy we always say make sure you're well stocked on your chains and i think if you've been a, a, a jewelry maker for um, a length of time you already know that um, but if you're brand new to your journey then make sure you're well stocked on your chains because how often for example the turtle that uh, rachel just demoed you could put one of them on couldn't you one of them on that chain would look beautiful now already for all three so a meter and a half of solid sterling silver and 12 grams um we're already beating masoma on their price point like for like gram weight um yeah, at the moment, we're talking £80 per 50 centimetre chain, which is absolutely amazing. We have a big quantity. And you might be thinking, oh, have I, got, I, I think I've got chain now. I think I'm all right with that. Or oh, you're not going to want to miss out on this deal. We, had a fun, we negotiated an absolutely incredible price point. Um, so well done. We do buy big when we get that opportunity, and this is one of those opportunities. Now, first price crash but not where we are closing. This might be your call to action though, I think. First price crash. That gets you all three. So that one necklace from Monica Veneda that we saw, almost identical. Yeah, do you know what? It could even be the same chain. I won't say it is for sure, but it could be. If I hold this up on the neckline, this is one of them. We have matched the price of that Monica Veneda necklace. In fact, we've gone a penny lower. And you don't just get one, you get three. Three different designs, three different lengths. You know, I said earlier on that we've got quantity. I don't think we'll have enough. I don't think we'll have enough of these to go around. Because even if you've never made a single piece of jewelry before in your lifetime, you can attach a jump, you can attach a clasp just by opening and closing a jump ring. The next price crash is also not where we are closing. Stay. Um, not where we are closing. It's over 12 grams of solid sterling silver. It's like uh, all of a sudden we've managed to negotiate sterling silver at a price point from decades ago. Do you see where I'm coming from with that? That's not the case. We've had to negotiate the sterling silver price point over the last couple of months. Um, but yeah, we don't work, our, work on sort of 300, 400% margins like most jewelry establishments. We work off minuscule margins, but that quantity, like we've got hundreds of them available today, will go in a matter of minutes um, already there's collectors getting involved thinking yeah that's a great deal Al. hang on a second from a 50 centimeter length even if I just attach three class to that that's three higher necklaces that would probably have cost me and one of the most affordable prices a hundred pounds so a hundred pounds each 300 quid that's a pretty good price isn't it that's a great deal that one's very misoma like actually don't you think this one here good luck everybody I love this one in the center Next price crash, but also not where we are stopping. £20 each. Now, I, I know in my PowerPoint we haven't included the likes of Argos or Samuels 
Heinz, you know, your, your, your more affordable jewelry, uh, jewelry houses where they'll bring you 925 sterling silver and a more affordable price tag. Fabulous. Great business model. I'm sure they do a version of this. I bet it's more than what's on your screen now, just for one of those necklaces. I'm fairly sure. We're at 20 pounds each, and that is not our closing price tag. We've got 200. I would prefer to actually have 400 or 600, um, because I know where the deal is going to. You, are, are we going to regret stocking up on sterling silver when they're at prices that are, like I said, genuinely prices that I recall doing years ago here at Jewelry Maker? Um, you know, we could pop these on, uh, pop these next door. Literally attach a class, pop them next door. And $59.99, where they bring amazing deals, I don't think is unreasonable at all. £20 per chain when it's solid 925 sterling silver. Um, Debbie Kershaw, guest design Debbie Kershaw, spoke to me the other day and she was talking about that um, Claire's accessory shop. She goes, Elle, you know, you go in there and you get costume jewelry and you'll pay more than that. Abs isn't, isn't that the truth? Don't I know it with a seven year old who loves that shop? Absolutely, isn't that the truth? On Argos, as I've referenced them, you can buy one paper clip chain, which is 18 inches, ours is 20, by the way, for £34.99. Amazing. Okay, so times that by three. So you're talking 70, you're talking just so say, say 100, £105 for three of those. £105 from Argos. And you're actually getting less because they're shorter. We are going even lower. When I say we've got a great closeout deal, I believe I mean it. It is one of the best deals in sterling silver for the gram weight as well. It's so important that, that we know these are not insignificant light sterling silver chains. They're not hollow in the centre. They are solid, precious 925 sterling silver, well in excess of 12 grams. We got a great deal. You get a great deal. The only issue, though, we had to split that quantity, as I suggested. We had to split that quantity between ourselves and our sister channels. They'll go on to be made into next necklaces, chains, and sold as complete jewellery. Um, I don't know what price points they're going to be doing. Um, what I can tell you, jewellery makers, you are getting the best deal that I think, well, one of the best sterling silver deals that I've actually presented to you um, in my 12 years of uh, being part of this wonderful family. 200 will not be enough because in eight seconds, that's already £20 each. You, you could go to Zara and purchase a costume jewellery necklace from them for more than that. This is not costume jewellery, it's solid precious metal. £49.99, pence. that's for all three of them. So hang on, I'm trying to work that out. £16.66 pence per 50 centimetre length. My goodness me, the phone lines have gone crazy. Do you know, I've said this before, one of the best sterling silver deals I've ever brought to air with the biggest quantity, it was 2,000 quantity, that's the biggest auction I've ever done, um, was a length of chain. It was lighter than this, and they went to £14.99. pence. I remember it vividly. Like I said, there was over 2,000 of them actually available, so it's very memorable. They went to £14.99. It flew. These are heavy, heavy sterling silver individual chains by the 50 centimetres or 20 inch length with the three different designs. Look at it this way as well. You know, if you're shopping for precious metal or and you're shopping for your essential chains, you know, these could have been brought to you separately, couldn't they? They could have been brought separately, and then we could have said, okay, that one there, $19.99, that one there, $19.99, that one there, $19.99. By bundling them all together as your deal of the day, you get an even better deal. Derbyshire, kathy has got two, Cheshire, Candy, Angela, Heather, Zoe, um, well done to you, amazing. I'm going to put a few of these up to the neckline so you can see just how beautiful they're going to sit against the skin. This is my personal favourite. It's the new link. We've not had this link before, I don't recall. I might be wrong, but I don't remember it. I love that link. See, I'd pay $49.99 for this on its own. Out of 200, 89 have been confirmed. $49.99. For this on its own, I think would be amazing, but it's not just this. You get all of them. It's still not your deal of the day price tag. Everybody will pay the final low. 
Good luck to each and every single one of you. I don't want you to be one of those people that potentially misses out. When we talk about a closeout deal, everyone, um, oh my goodness me, we mean it. This is unbelievable. You are going to be paying less than £15 per chain when I personally remember bringing you a chain, different link, it was a different link, much lower gram weight, still lovely, don't get me wrong, and I was absolutely over the moon at, at uh, I think it was like 14 99 or something like that. Um, yeah, different link, different lengths potentially, um, but that was an unbelievable deal. You've got 12 and a half grams across these three chains and we are going even lower. Stock up with those open opportunities for us as jewellery makers to attach to. You haven't got to choose, you haven't got to say, oh, do I have this one or do I have this one or do I have this one? You get them all in this one deal of the day price tag. Even if you are stocked on your chains, we're never going to regret making purchases for an opportunity to price points. This is what I was referencing, that genuinely, I think about 10 years ago, we couldn't match. That's working out at now. My math is terrible. What's that? 13 pounds um, and 33 pence per 50 centimeter length. The phone lines and the website have completely lit up. Um, yeah, you can go to Argos and you can get one 18 inch, so it's shorter for 35 pounds or for an extra five pounds, um, an extra 100 centimeters and uh, yeah, an extra 40 inches effectively um, if you're shopping with us today. And yeah, you've got to add your clasp, but that means you can add something like your toggle if you want, which is all the rage to wear it at the front. You could add your magnetic clasp if you prefer. You could um, solder this onto something if you wanted. You could use them in your tassels. You could use them with your um, with your shepherd hooks. It doesn't have to be a necklace. You're not buying a finished piece of jewelry and then cutting it up effectively, getting waste by doing so, because you'll lose that link if you do that, won't you? Um, you can absolutely you know, craft it, um, it well, as you choose, as a one-of-a-kind piece. Straight away, Meath is stocked up getting three Conway Jew. Wendy, London, Suzanne, Teresa, Nicola, Marion, hello to you, Norma, Beverly, Helen has got two, Alison's got two, County Antrim's got two, Nicolette, Linda, Elizabeth, Tracy, Sandra, hello to you, Victoria, hello to you, Beverly, hello to you. The quantity that we have remaining in your deal of the day, out of the 200 that we launched, we are down to the final 25%. If you love those S class, that were meant to be an early bird, but we thought it'd be best suited alongside your deal of the day, um, they're coming coming up straight after this so make sure you're prepared they are on pre-order right now good morning dolly hello to you june cynthia pauline and cornwall says i'll have two thank you very much just to put that into perspective pauline you've just purchased three meters of this chain you think of the potential of what you can make out of three meters of your solid 925 um, paperclip chain and in three different designs as well ruby's got two three meters on their way to you alice in bristol three meters on their way to you amazing and in Pembrokeshire, good luck, especially if you want that quantity, my darling. Fiona Glynis, I've got 30 of these left. I'm going to put a 60 second clock on your screen. That's to close this auction. So um, make sure you are checking out your baskets. How giftable are these? You know, if it's something that has transitioned through multiple decades since it's for the original design, which is credited to uh, um, uh, Coco Chanel, which was absolutely admired by Jackie O, who what they said was she missed out on the first opportunity to buy uh, um, a Chanel paperclip necklace. So she set out and she kept an eye on all the auctions houses until one came up for sale and she paid whatever she uh, she had to to purchase it. I am down to the final 14. Cynthia, amazing. Good luck, Jean. Good luck, uh, Middlesex, Pauline, Sandra, Jean, Carolyn, um, another Jean. Good luck to you. Pembrokeshire, London, Fiona. Make sure you're checking out your baskets because I'm in single figures. If I'd have had 200, if I'd have had 400, 600, 800, I still think these would have been an on-screen sellout because it is something that we absolutely will always need. You know, you don't have to be the most advanced of jewellery makers to open and close a jump ring effectively and that's what we're doing well done in fact you know what if someone gave me a jump ring I could make that necklace right now you just open and close a jump ring attach these J clasps to whichever chain you wish and away you go now we're a little bit late let's call it the mid-morning early bird up next
So, I love these. Do you know what they remember? There's, a, there's a, an online brand called Limited Abode. And I follow them on Instagram. I love them. They're quite quirky. I like that about it. They, they'll bring you like fruit bowls and there's an octopus holding the bowl. It's really cool. And they do candelabras, etc. cetera. And when you think about the octopus itself, you, I'm going down a tangent now, but like just the textures, the suck, suckers, they're very beautiful, aren't they? I don't know why. Sorry, Lauren, I've left my tweezers over there. You couldn't grab them for me, darling, could you? Thank you, lovely. Um, they remind me a little bit of the octopus, and that's why I was saying... Thank you, lovely. Um, that's why I was saying earlier on, I think they'd be absolutely amazing alongside Rachel's designs because they've got that definite marine-like uh, um, inspiration to them. Now, these are 925, solid precious metal. You've got a little bit of your oxidisation as well. So... Um, really uh, allows us to appreciate the texturing you get all three so even if you got this and you got your deal of the day you put them together you got three high-end necklaces how perfect is that i love these class they are brand new they've never been on your screens previously before so they're called a j class effectively where you have that sort of uh, 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 shape that just you can open it ever so slightly and it loops over the top um, solid 925 sterling silver beautiful beautiful detailing on these can you see that if I show you all the way around right the way up to the actual loop at the top really lovely detailing there's a big amount of sterling silver and your first price crash we're at 29 pounds and 99 pence which is amazing that's 10 pound each £10 per J clasp. Um, so, yeah, perfect to go alongside your deal of the day. That's why we're bringing it to you mid-morning rather than uh, at 8 o'clock this morning. But also, if we'd have brought them to you at 8 o'clock this morning, you wouldn't be looking at them right now. They'd have disappeared off the website, wouldn't they? Uh, so there's another reason why we decided to push them back. Now, um, we're going to go even lower. Have we got quantity of these then? 200 again. So, oh, perfect. So if you are thinking about teaming them alongside the chains perfect to do that sorry lauren but I, i'm just gonna show you if i can imagine that into that that into that all i need is a couple of jump rings there you go that simple it's that simple job done you know, that simple. Whether you choose this chain, whether you choose any of the other, uh, any of the three. Already, pardon? To make this, it's costing me less than 20 pounds, yeah. Because the chain was what, 13 pound 33 individually, and the class right now is five pounds. How amazing is that? Beautiful, beautiful quality. I think amazing alongside the abalone as well because it has got that definite sort of um, octopus-like vibe, even down to the scrolls and the movement of the tentacles. Um, I know it doesn't say that on the graphics, but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting right now. If you got the deal of the day, then this is, a, um, I think, the perfect uh, addition alongside that. Well done, because in 45 seconds, it's going even lower. Another perk to the fact that we have actually pushed your early bird back from the 8 o'clock hour is basically that they will be available on your screens um, whereas if they were in the 8 a.m they'd have disappeared we've got 200 and there's a lot of you choosing to multiply i don't think this quantity is going to hang around for very long well done everybody that's taken the initiative to shop ahead trusting that already l look 14.99 for, for three sterling silver class that's an amazing amazing price point but we're going even lower ruby's got three marion's got two london's got two cindy and angela and fife's got two allison's got two to Nicolette and Lynn and London's got four fabulous hello Regine hello to you Derbyshire Irene Merthyr Tidfil Celia Mary Meath Lorraine William hello to you Celia Liz hello to you Manchester congratulations everybody pays that final low price tag wow wow 12.99 and they're not smart what what are you doing oh I've lost you say that again if we had 100, 12.99 would be amazing. 12.99 is amazing. But we've got 200. I'm just repeating producer Ross now. 
Who wants this bundle? All three. I love them. With your abalone, I think it'd be absolutely amazing. Or, or with your Amazonite that's coming up as well, that wonderful kind of marine. Or you could team it with something like a pink. What colour are octopuses? I think they come in lots of different colours, don't they? Like an orangey, corally pink. Yeah, beautiful. Who wants this bundle under £10 this morning? You get all three of them. There's a big amount of your sterling silver. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I was happy here. I was happy at £14.99, as so many of you were. I can see quantities being pushed up. London says, I'll have six, then thanks. Cindy says, I'll have two, thanks. And Regine and Zoe and Manchester says, I'll have two. That means you're stocking up on this beautiful design. We've never had it before. Love it. So that's £3.33, £3.33 per sterling silver J class. So hang on a second, if the chain individually costs £13.33 and then we add your, a J class, that means you can make that necklace for £16.66. Oh my goodness me. Or you can go into Argos, get a fairly, uh, you know, get, get a nice paperclip chain, don't get me wrong, 18 inches so it's shorter. Um, it'll probably just have a lobster claw, I don't know, because the fact it's not in the photograph, probably just a lobster claw as opposed to a J-class, which is much more stylized. Um, wow. Wow, wow, what a deal. The phone lines and the website have gone nuts. Marion says, I'll have four. Sandra's having two. Rupal's having two. Kathy's having two. Jenny and Saria and Cynthia. Lawrence had five. Carolyn, I think that's Devon. I, I can only just see the tops of your name. Carol's multi-bought. Celia, Meath has got three. Amazing. Five was up the quantity. Well done to you, Ruby, getting three as well. You need to check out your baskets because 20, uh, sorry, 20, 200 might seem like loads. Not on a Sunday morning. It's one of our busiest shows shows um shows uh, of the week good luck make sure you are checking out as we speak live quantity remaining we've got the final 25 percent of them effectively frida and pauline and genoifa i know there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines as long as you press your option one you'll be absolutely fine so please do stay where you are um, a minute to close this auction check out your baskets because it is super 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 busy today um wow We've got some very special auctions coming up after this also. Don't forget Amazonite. First time we've seen Amazonite in the showcase for years, genuinely, for years. Um, we've got some brand new uh, brand new strands to bring you. Uh, Sun and Scan, anyone? How about some beautiful Peacock Angelite? Brand new premiere opportunities. And we also have, yeah, that Amazonite showcase is unbelievable. Wait till you see that. Um, make sure you check out Erica's got two, Linda's got two, Elizabeth's got two, Tracy's got two, Karen's got two, Hillary he's got to if you just look just think the people i've just read out in consecutive order all have multi-bought so that 24 22 um you can see they're not just jumping down in ones are they they're jumping down quite significantly and that's because people say at that price i might as well stock up on them um well done you can still do it but need a little bit of urgency amazing 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 okay where do we go from there i think i'm gonna sh i'm gonna give you a little sneaky peek Sun and Scarm, brand new strand in your cubes, natural. And you've also got your Peacock Angel Eye in the first ever drop strand coming up in today's show. Not yet. And we've also got a showcase of incredible, incredible Amaz Night as well. Um, sorry, Ross, what was that you were saying? You've just loaded some sterling silver toggle class on the website. So if you want to have a little look on there, if you need to stock up on your class, then you can absolutely do that. Um, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. So, um, okay. Between now, yeah, let's do it, shall we? Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Lots of you, now you've seen this. Um, and a few of you messaged throughout the course of the morning show as well. Um, I've been asking about the drop strand. There are only 75. Now, yesterday we had, what, this strand? Oh yeah, we had Peacock Angel Light in rounds. That's right, sorry, yeah. It's sold out on launch. This is one of the most successful launches. It's a brand new color of Angel Eye that was only discovered in 1987. Um, a brand new color, it's not dyed, not reconstituted of Angel Eye and it's absolutely exquisite because you have areas of translucency. The perfect way for me to describe this is if you love Larimar and you love Paraba, 
Imagine those two colours together, like that tropical bluey green with like the patterns of Larimar. So yes, in 1987 in Peru, this gemstone was discovered. Um, angelite was named as normally, normally it's the, uh, sort of the azure blues of the skies, often referenced in uh, to the heavens above. It has this wonderful uh, metaphysical properties as well. Lots of people believe in the metaphysical side of angelite. Um, but it's not just the blue. You can find, and the blue is much more opaque, much, much, much more opaque. Um, very pretty, don't get me wrong. We then saw um, op an opportunity to bring green angelite, um, but the most popular of all has hands down, without shadow of a doubt, being this beautiful new variety that was launched only a couple of weeks ago. You know, when we, you know, we can be, never mind how much a gemstone is priced per carat, and never mind, you know, um, is it coming out of the ground, is it, is it not? You know, all that information is, 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 is nice to know, obviously. But, um, but if we had just driven solely by the beauty of a gemstone, I think we all agree that your peacock angelite is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Now, I had the honor of launching the peacock angelite showcase. Everything sold out, um, same as the kit yesterday. And I, I think this is going to sell out even faster. It's the first ever drop strand we had. I particularly like the positioning of the drill hole. Um, I'm sure lots of you will be nodding in agreement with me. I know Rachel is. Um, because with it going, through the center which is harder to do it, it's more discreet isn't it um so I, it's all right i'll just repeat so rachel has just said so much easier to use because it's just a case of a head pin through the center yeah and you haven't got to go change directions in it have you essentially there are only 75 of these on, available yeah. Is it on now? Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely it. wonderful um, as a through drilled. It's what I look for every time. It's so convenient just putting the head, head pin through. You don't have to wrap it. But I get why it's hard to get hold of them, Rachel, because yeah. effectively it's much harder, yes. much yeah. harder for a, for, for a gemstone cutter to actually drill through just the want centre. I'll show you actually if you oh, want yeah. to get that strand. I've used Amazonite, but the Angel Light will work really well with the copper sheet design yeah. in the 12th noon hour. So oh, it will perfect. work well. Oh, wow. it, can you see how you'll need those as the focal drops? Um, so um, I'm not sure we've got teardrop Amazonite, but you can use well, that. Well, it would complement the Amazonite beautifully. Perfectly. Yes, exactly. Now, this yeah. is only the eighth ever strand of peacock angelite that jewellery maker has ever bought you. Just put that into perspective for a second. We've had rounds, we've had coins, rondelles, um, eight in total. So eight total of your peacock angelite. You think how much, we've brought more Pareva tourmaline than we have, than we have peacock angelite. Brought more Alexandrite than we have peacock angelite. It's rare and it's very, very beautiful. <laughs> it's totally natural. I don't think this is going to sell. I just think this is going to sell out. I think it's going to sell out in a nanosecond. It would complement the gorgeous showcase of Amazonite coming up as well because it's those same beautiful, very aquatic, uh, tropical light blues. Go, 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 go because the auction is open um, through drill. I mean, there's nothing wrong with your gemstones being drilled in that direction. Do you see where I'm coming from? They're usually just at the top okay. and that has its risks as well. But actually, drawing uh, actually drilling right through the center um, much easier for us as jewelry makers but much harder if you like for the gemstone cutter um, my only wish is that I had more than 75 sadly I don't they are very very limited very different I think to angelite in its usual azure blue firstly that's much more opaque it's lovely don't get me wrong and it does remind you of the perfect summer's day sky blue a little bit but like the graphics behind uh, um, you know the jewelry maker where you can see the pliers and everything it's that kind of blue um, that you see in in what was first ever discovered in Peru now yeah that one that's more like see the blue background that's what the uh, I expect of blue angelite much more opaque whereas with your peacock angelite you get this Larimar kind of cloud-like formations areas of translucency um, within the gemstone and it's all totally natural color the only drop strand we've had half the stock is gone well done done not not just in baskets has gone Lovely. sold out we're at 49.99 
20 millimetres in their lengths. There are 20, bearing in mind I'm holding two as well, Ross. Holding on to two as well, Ross. Have you counted those? Aha. You counted from this, amazing. Um, okay, sorry, what did you just say? 20 on the strand. 49.99. We're not stopping there. Good luck, everybody. I don't just think this is going to sell out. It's going to sell out super fast. £29.99. Perfect addition to your masterclass uh, that's coming up at 12 o'clock as well. It's gone crazy on the phone lines and only the eighth ever peacock angelite strand that we have brought here at jewelry maker and bear in mind we've been broadcasting for 13 years angelite was discovered in, in 1987 it's as old as director adam Ed, <laughs> isn't it so you know we they just ha maybe hadn't discovered this color um it is it, it is very young absolutely adam is very very young but i'll always remember the, you know the age of angelite and then i'll think of adam straight away angelite oh adam it's your stone really adam because you're angelic as well. <laughs> uh, 29.99, Trisha and Lorna, hello to you. Yorkshire and Debbie, uh, hello to you. Maker and Heather and Margaret and Candy and Jacqueline and Wiltshire and Tessa. Um, it's beautiful. I know, I love it as well. But is it the smallest thing, which might seem quite insignificant, and initially when we start our jewellery making journey, we might overlook. But the positioning of that drill hole makes a big difference, doesn't it? And I'm sure you're all totally agreeing with me. Of course, there's opportunities when you need it to be side drilled um, but I personally find it easier to use the one that are drilled through the centre. Um, London snapped up four amazing Hillary, Jeanette and Lorraine and Ruby and Erica and Tracy and Nicolette and Susie in Wiltshire. Your guest designer Susie, I knew you'd love this. Uh, Janice and Christine and Swansea. We've got 15 left. I know it's going to sell out. If I was a betting person, which I'm not, I'm not. I'm not a risk taker at all, but imagine it's, you know, I would bet that this is going to sell out um, for sure. It's going to go beautifully just because I'm wearing my uh, bracelet I collected this morning. Go amazing alongside something like your jade. We've had nothing like, uh, like this shape. We've had rounds, coins, ovals, um, basically in the peacock angel eye. And only eight, this is the eighth strand. That's it. And I think every single one of those strands is pretty much sold out. Um, uh, this is not going to be any different. Love it. Well done. Um, you need to be quick now, making sure you check out your baskets. It is nine genuine live chances. So Cody, if you want those two, check out lovely Jill, Gary, Joanna, Janice, Stella, London, Barbara, hello to you, Margaret. If you've got it in your basket and you haven't yet checked out, I've only got five left. Um, and I can't see everybody on the phone lines either. Uh, Joanna in Middlesex, amazing, well done. You've got yours. Five genuine chances. Good luck to you all. It's stunningly beautiful. It's angelic, as the name suggests, and it's totally and utterly natural. Well done. I'll leave those final three with you. Um, incredible. Now, oh, coming up a brand new launch, and this is something that Wayne, our um, sales manager, but also Gemstone Buyer, was very excited to talk about. Um, we launched what, a week or so ago, I think it was, that launched the first uh, San and Scan. Um, this is the first time we've had, a what, sorry? A non-round strand, yeah, that's quite right, because we launched it in these kind of shapes, sort of your plain rounds, and then we launched for the first time the faceted. Um, today's the first time we're seeing San and Scan um, in your cubes. It's the most beautiful, rich grass green. It comes under the jade umbrella, um, so um, and it's a relatively new discovery that was found in Pakistan. Um, this is the tenth of our San and Scan pieces that we've ever actually had. Um, and of that 10, only seven have been strands. Um, yeah, so amazing. It's available on pre-order. It's totally natural. And you're rubbing shoulders with the likes of Cartier, who also include Sand and Scarn within, uh, um, within their um, amazing pieces and works of art. So it's coming up, but not yet. Um, also, you have that beautiful Amazonite showcase. Now, I'm going to bring you some, a couple of cheeky bundles, shall we? We're talking some pretty rare gemstones today. You know, we've been talking about San and Scarm, wonderful Angel Eye, Abalone as well. Um, how about we include to that mix one of the top 10 world's rarest gemstones? And bear in mind, there's over 4,000 minerals that exist on this planet. 
Over 4,000, and those are the ones we know of. There might be more. Um, but of those 4,000, there are 10 um, that sometimes move and change and shift positioning, etc., depending on the mining operations. Um, the top 10 rarest, some of which are, uh, many of us haven't even heard of, um, but one of them is called Grand Digirite. Now, there, nowhere on this planet, nowhere, are they mining Grand Digirite right now. Because in 2014, the mine that they found has run out. Here is a gemstone that even the, the wealthiest collectors, and this is not an overstatement, even the wealthiest collectors, some of which only aspire to purchase. And go to Forbes. You think wealth, you think Forbes, don't you? Go to Forbes where they refer to the most expensive, this is not the rarest, even though Grand Dijerai is in the top 10. This is refer referencing the most expensive gems. So have a look at this. Number three most expensive gemstones on the planet is Grand Digirite, and they say $20,000 per carat. But also look at that specimen. That specimen is not flawlessly eye clean. It actually has quite a big black inclusion, which is what we should expect um, of this gemstone, but still 20 grand per carat. Um, Ross has just said, who has worked in gemstones, high-end gemstones, for many years. He said, this parcel is absolutely unbelievable. The price that we're doing is actually ridiculous. When we first, think back to when we first launched Grand Digirite here at Jewelry Maker, which we can't do now. Grand Digirite is, is uh, it's too expensive for us to buy right now. Yeah, we were selling individual Grand Digirites. W where was that, here or? Oh, at Rocks and Co. Sorry. Um, you, Ross sold individual Grand Digirites elsewhere for thousands of pounds per carat. Did we ever imagine that we'd be doing Grand Digirite on a strand? There's 22 available. Oh, really? Uh, Ross has just said, if, you, um, if I was a big collector, I'd come in and buy all 22 of them. If you're a jeweler, yeah, 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 yeah. Because the price that you're going to get on this is absolutely unbelievably says. So much so, it's a challenge for me to hold each of these strands. I shouldn't be saying about that. I should be able to hold one stone towards you. They are good quality as well. Let's talk about Grand Digi, because I'm very aware. Here's, here's a gemstone that's not mainstream. There's, there'll be lots of people watching right now that have never heard of Grand Digi, right? And that's because of its rarity. Sometimes gemstones are victims of their own rarity. That doesn't make them any less desirable, quite the opposite. Like I said, $20,000 per carat, very expensive. But what is Grand Digi, right? Well, it was actually discovered in 1902. Um, uh, the gemstone was named after French explorer Alfred Grandidier, who studied uh, the natural history of Madagascar. Uh, Grandidierite, like I said, 1902 in sa southern uh, Madagascar, a new Grandidierite deposit in Madagascar was discovered just recently in 2014, which is the one I was referencing. Grandidierite gemstones are often translucent, notice not eye clean, uh, with blue-green gemstones hardly seen, which is exactly what I have draped across the back of my hand right now. Um, Grand Digirite is pleochroic and can transmit a blue, green and white light. It is very resistant to scratching, hence ideal for jewellery use. Due to its scarcity, this is important, faceted stones are very rare. They really facet this gemstone and that's because they simply do not want to cut the carrot weight away. But reading on. Is there... It, yeah. Um, Grand Digirite only comes in shades of blue and green with a soft neon blue color the most sought after. If you look at the, across the top of your screens right there, particularly on the right hand side, these are the best qualities. If you think it goes in scale, yeah? Um, goes in scale. You've got the intense, vibrant blues, most sought after the neon blues. Uh, Grand Digirite is very valuable. The colour itself is caused by minute, minute traces of iron impurities uh, and m the more iron that appears, the bluer the gemstone actually is. This is a gem that if you've never heard of before is in the top 10 most expensive and the top 10 most 
uh, rarest gemstones in the world. And also, when I took that 20,000, it might have changed, $20,000 uh, per carat slide, that's when it was still being mined. This is no longer being mined anywhere else. There are 22 chances available. The fact that you are getting five, not individual stones, which would be unbelievable, five parcels, five strands. And the first price crash is already unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. We can't get Grandage right now. It's far too expensive, and that's because it's not being mined anywhere. You know, even not to be, uh, not, not to discredit, but Jade is being mined around the world. You know, your Amazonite is being mined around, uh, sorry, your um, um, Alexandrite is being mined around the world. Your, the finest rubies are coming from multiple different places around the world. Grandidrite is coming from nowhere. We're at 100 pounds per strand. See this one here? If you chose one, single out one, your favorite, whichever it might be. How about if I told you that one that you're looking at right now should be more than what you're getting everything for? That one. Remember, faceted grandidrite is rarely ever seen because this is one of the most valuable gemstones price per carat. What? 20 pounds per strand. You're so right, Ross. Just one of those should be more than what's on your screens. Whichever gemstone you're looking at, whichever shape or cut that you're drawn to, no way. Oh, yeah, big statement, but I can see it. Uh, Ross has just said in my ear, it's like, Elle, this might genuinely be one of the best, best deals that Wayne's ever bought. We're almost, well, we are, devaluing Grand Digirite. As long as you know, though, that that's no reflection of the true value or worth. There are 22 of these available. Our live quantity, two have been confirmed. That should, I mean, they should have all sold out by now, to be honest. I, the thing is, I am going to assume that not everybody knows what Grand Digirite is. There's going to be people watching saying, I've never heard of it before. It can't be that rare. Oh, quite the opposite. My father felt, uh, you know, um, actually said something similar to me once upon a time. I remember him talking about Brazilian prey tourmaline, and he was like, yeah, but it's not the most expensive, though, is it? I said, well, it's not the most expensive, but it's certainly up there, Dad. And he was like, um, well, no, it's not as expensive as the big five. I was like, that's purely marketing. See, that's the thing. When gemstones are rare, what's the point in De Beers spending millions of pounds in marketing if they don't have the gemstone um, availability and accessibility? This isn't coming from the ground. You don't see diamonds on that list on Forbes, by the way. You are not paying 20 pounds per strand. There are 17 of these left. I agree with you, Ross. I totally agree with you. Ross has said this might well be the best deal that Wayne has ever bought, and I totally agree. And we can thank Wayne, by the way, for our grand digirite. The only reason that this is not a deal of the day or a birthday deal or whatever is because is because Christmas Day, absolutely, we only had 22 up. Well, we could have separated them, couldn't we? We could have done that. Um, but my goodness me, 22 were available. If they don't sell out, I'm all over this. Because we talk about legacy and heirloom jewellery to pass on to our children, our children's children. This isn't coming from the ground anywhere. Anywhere. The one mine that was operational was, fact, re there was, a, uh, you know, it was rediscovered in 2014. Um, and it's mined out. It's gone. That's it. You can get, you can get, you can get jadeite. You can get Kotan. You can get Alexandrite. You can get pink diamonds. You can get red diamonds. You can get... I'm trying to think, your, your taffetites. But this gemstone, not coming from the ground anywhere. That's the rarity of what we're sourcing right now. And you are immediate collectors, even if you don't recognize it as of yet. Well done. Very few people on this planet can say they own this gemstone, especially of this quality. Sharon, Karina, Anne, London, Susan, Catherine, Jenny, Marion, Barbara, Laura, Lauren, Joanna. I've got five of these left. Um, but the names I can see, Maker, Nina, Middlesex, Barbara, New Customer, Gloucestershire. Um, and there's names on the phone lines that I can't see as of yet. It, it, this needs to be an on-screen sellout, quite frankly, because that is 
one of the most incredible, most amazing deals I think we ever will bring you here at Jewelry Maker in terms of its rarity and the deal in terms of price point. Amazing, amazing. Now, from one incredible parcel to another. Now, we reference jade. Jade forms in a few different locations around the world. Make no doubt about it. It's not, it is rare. This is not an abundant gemstone. So we know that Burmese jadeite, after uh, centuries of mining, is now mined out. We know, or, or mining has stopped rather. We know that you can get it in uh, Pakistan. You can get it in China or varieties of your jade, of course, that is. Um, you can get it in Canada, for example. But there is nowhere else in the world that brings you this purple. So if you think about lavender jade, which is a very, very, very soft whisper of lavender. It's not a strong, you wouldn't describe it as purple as such. Um, that's the reason why that's rare and it comes from Burma um, is because there's trace amounts of vanadium. Vanadium rarely forms in that location. However, in this one location, and by the way, also mined out, this is not in operation anymore, a very exciting discovery that happens quite recently, purple jade was form often referenced as the lucky stone and you can see one of the miners then actually holding a boulder um, holding a boulder of purple jade this location is actually very abundant in different gemstones it brings you lots of different gemstones um, it brings you zarite for example you can get uh, um, i'm fairly sure there's amazonite in around that location uh, topaz lots of topaz as well um, but yeah the lucky stone also offers amazing natural purple jade and it is classed as a jade as well but reading on um, not available so far they say as a result of the researches although green and white jades deposited in many regions around the world have been known since ancient times the rich mineral deposit containing gemstone quality purple jade has not been reported in literature until now Therefore, the world's only known source of purple jade is located within this geologically studied region. The most typical raw block of purple jade materials are obtained from the near uh, Akpinar, I hope I pronounced that right, village. This bulky material, which is fine-grained rather than coarse crystal, is known for it's very suitable for cutting into various gemstone objects. Uh, the gem explorer, uh, gem adventurer, sorry, also wrote about this and really take, try and absorb the quality of that cabochon as well. Notice how it's actually got a little bit of a matrix on there. Um, that's really important. Um, and what the gem adventurer, great website, by the way, for reference, they say um, a uniquely beautiful twist on ancient gemstones. Turkish people, uh, sorry, Turkish purple jade um, is only found in one place in the world, the Bursa province in Turkey. Uh, the true emperor um, of Chinese jewelry, jade, was was always prized in Aztec, Maori, Mayan, Native American, Olmec and Toltec cultures. Incredibly beautiful, immensely collectible and undeniably rare. Turkish purple jade is a treasured addition to any jewellery collection. And I remember uh, sort of showing Mark, guest designer Mark, uh, Purple Jade for the first time. And his, his reaction immediately was like, oh my goodness me, I've never seen anything like it. But just to update you, it is gone. It is all mined out. You don't just get one strands. And it's the only place in the world that's ever documented to actually bring you natural purple jade. It is natural. It talks about the patterns as well. It should have an interesting canvas that highlights the gem's characteristic patterns. Preferred hue is a middle to dark purple with a mottled surface. That's why I said have a little look at that um, cabochon. Now, the first price crash for this parcel, and you are getting all the shapes, I think, pretty much, or not far off all the shapes that we've actually brought you in your Bursa Jade. Certified as well, genuine Bursa Jade. Those of you that have been with us for a length of time across uh, across the partnership we'll know that this is an area that we travel to quite a lot um, we've got fantastic relations with the Zarite mine um, so we are there frequently that's how this opportunity has arisen we're at 10 pounds per strand for your natural burst of jade and we are not stopping there remember that deep dark color 39 pounds and 99 pence. I remember launching Bursa Jade and not one of the strands I recall being 39.99. We might have done deals thereafter, I'm not entirely sure. But that gets you five strands. 
Yeah, I thought so. £79, I think, was the lowest price that we actually brought you on the uh, on the original launch. Um, Purple Jade, also known as Turkey a Night. There you go. It's been a modern gemstone since the 80s. Um, these colour variations, along with the deep green dots and red streaks, provide an interesting canvas that highlights the gem's characteristic patterns. Prefer to you, I've spoken about that. Occasionally, you can find bold specks of green and orange, along with other attractive variations. You're getting all five of those. I'm going to choose your favourite shape, um, all for that incredible price point. Uh, use your split payment if you wish. Well done. London, Laura, Nina, Carol, Karina. Hello to you, Christine, South Yorkshire. Amazing, amazing to be with you um incredible gosh we've still got so much to bring you as well um one more auction before i bring you your amazonite showcase um and it is the only strand that i have actually brought you in the cube and actually of what do we say nine strand nine strands was it this is sorry seventh this is the seventh strand san and scan now, it's a variety of nephrite, but they refer to it as San and Scarn, incredibly rare, and you'll see in this article here, it resembles mouse sits it. Um, you'll find in position in the market among the jadeite jades. There you go. So that is highlighting the, right, the, the uh, rarity. Um, I mean, that's quite a wordy article there. It talks about the fine grain uh, um, green that you actually get. Discovered very recently, 2015, um, in Pakistan. Um, but as I said earlier on, just uh, the fact we've only just got it now. And you've got to remember we have... We, we're very fortunate not sort of um, blowing the partnership's trumpet here, but seriously, they can. If they can get access to gemstones, then Gemporia are going to be able to do it. But you're rubbing shoulders with the likes of Cartier. So if you look, notice they don't... Uh, um, you know, Cartier here, it's San and Scarn. This is their gemstones name itself. Um, you can see Cactus to Cartier bracelet, 18 karat yellow gold, San and Scarn set with 146 um, brilliant cut diamonds. You've got these little faceted rounds. Can you see that there? Um, almost creating that lovely flower, but it's the deep, beautiful grass green like color. So this is a variety of jade that comes from the Pakistan location. Incredibly rare and one of the most beautiful colors. You if you saw Suji's show last, she was completely obsessed with it. Um, I, I agree. I, I totally agree. The, the, the colour is... Of jades, you know, if they, this was... You could call this imperial, couldn't you? On Friday, we had how many? 150 of your fasted rounds, and they sold out. I've got 100. These are your four millimetre cubes. Double the carrot weight... And I know this is going to be an on-screen sellout as well. Yeah, I think the newest obsession for us all, because really, this is what all your jades want to look like, isn't it? You know, when we talk about green jade, right, your imperial greens and your spinach greens, for example, whatever the variety, it's all about this wonderful, fresh, lush, grass green-like colour. And that's what San and Scarn has in abundance. Definitely 100% worthwhile you getting your certificate of authenticity, because you can find it elsewhere. You can find it as individual stones, drops, for example. Two drops, they're beautiful, aren't they? $600, um, those lovely kind of connector-like shapes in the starfish. You're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars for each of those pieces. But get it now, because one of the things, the message that was conveyed on the launch of San and Scarn, and bear in mind we have had a handful, that's all, <laughs> was we are, imagine being there when tanzanite was was unearthed from the ground for the very first time or paraba tourmaline was unearthed for the very first time imagine being there where burmese jade um or or burmese ruby was unearthed for the very first time and you could get it then and you could get it you could get an imperial green burmese jadeite at an affordable price tag that is not an exaggeration that is precisely where we are but Please do not get used to San and Scarn being on your screens at double figure prices because it is simply not sustainable. We're at £50. It's certified totally and utterly natural. When we think of all the different varieties of jades, it's the San and Scarn colour um, that we think of. I tell you what, says Ross. This also is not your price. That's a pound per carat. 
a certified genuine, and those aren't my words, they come from the gemological uh, publication, satin and scarlet is a variety of jade, a very rare variety of jade. And we are at San and Scarn's infancy. The only, the seventh strand that we have ever brought to you, and only a hundred are available. Let's take another 10 pounds off that price tag. Imagine that for a second, 10 pounds off and we're not even done. Imagine for a second, oh, yes, pigeon blood ruby there. Yeah, I've just seen that discovered to the world for the very first time. I might buy some of that. Oh, both of them, let's be honest, that's really beautiful. That's incredibly beautiful. And you never know, might be worth a bit moving forward. Imagine, because that's effectively where we are right now with San and Scarn. We're at its infancy. We are less than a pound per carat, and we are still not done. Again, all of that aside, which is so exciting, look how beautiful these are. The first non-round San and Scarn strand that we have ever brought to air. The most delicious green. This is the greens that all your green gemstones want to be, aren't they? Your emeralds want to look like San and Scarn. Um, you know, they have that wonderful... Your chrysoprase want to look like San and Scarn. We're going even lower. There's multi-buyers getting involved. It's stunningly beautiful. It has one of the most, hip most hypnotic green. Don't you think? That's how I would describe it. It's hypnotizing. In 25 seconds, we're taking it even lower. But um, for those of you that are loving it, maybe have it lingering in your baskets or you're on, hovering on the phone lines right now and haven't yet, pre yet pressed your option one, I only had 100. Um, I shouldn't be that complacent. 100 is amazing, to be truthful. It's one, uh, certainly one of the rarest of gemstones that we have within our entire vault. Um, there's only been seven strands, this being the seventh, and the, uh, the first uh, ever strand outside of a round. Cheryl, Michelle, Catherine, she, Yorkshire, Ruth, Laura, Maria, Alison, Sean, Amazing, Pauline, uh, Beverly, well done to you, Northampton's multi -bought. Carol, congratulations, Sussex, new customers, it's busy, folks. £24.99 pence only. What? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. You'll see why I'm saying that to Ross. Ross has just said something in my ear. If there's 40 carats on this strand... The one on Friday morning that we sold out of was a pound per carat. We've just taken this strand to 62 pence per carat. We've never done anything remotely close to that before. As long as we know we don't get used to these prices, we shouldn't be bringing San and Scarn for 62p per carat. That is not normal. And it, it never was and it never will be. It never, ever, ever will be. The fact, what I find so exciting is that we're, you know, we're, we're on that first step. The infancy of San and Scarn. Cartier have taken hold of it. We're seeing other websites selling individual stones for hundreds upon hundreds of pounds. Who knows? Um, who knows um, what prices we can be seeing strands like this in the future? And, uh, of course, we'll still endeavour to bring it to you, but we're not exempt from price increases, of course. Patricia, well done. West Yorkshire, you, uh, Susan, Cambridgeshire, Kim and Anne. Comes from Pakistan, totally and utterly natural. San and Scarn, gemologically... Um, um, has been categorized as part of your one of your amazing jades beautiful greens you've still got your Amazonite night showcase to come as well and it's been years since we've actually brought you that gemstone as well um, it's over allocated on the web and on the phone lines and that's obviously excluding the multiples that people might purchase well done to every every single one of you utterly Utterly incredible opportunities, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. The first ever strand outside of your round. And they went nuts. I was very privileged and honoured to actually launch San and Scarn alongside Dave. When was it, Ross? About a week ago? I think it was, wasn't it? A week? week and a half? No, we had one strand on Friday. There's only ever been seven strands in total, this being number seven. Fourth. Gosh slept since then see so uh, just okay just over two weeks ago that's how long we've known San and Scarn here at Jewelry Maker and we're here bringing it to you at 24.99 um the final remaining 20 within our vault good luck first ever strand outside of your rounds the most beautiful greens 
Um, yeah, sand and scar with that wonderful, rich, intoxicating uh, natural color. I'll leave those final 10 with you. Incredible. Um, now, we have got a showcase, a gemstone that many of us refer to as our absolute favorites, and also a showcase that I know Rachel has worked with as well as part of her masterclass. Um, it's been about, we estimate about two years since we've brought you an actual showcase of Amazonite, and the quality of these are on another level. So the weight has been definitely worth it. Make sure you check out your baskets and tune in after the break for Amazonite. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry 
coffee makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Back with Rachel. And now to bring you a showcase that I think we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Um, but, of course, we've got the history. We've got the archives. And Ross has done a, a, a sort of cross-reference. And we haven't done a showcase of Amazon yet. Yeah, I might have had the odd strand here or there um, for about two years, in actual fact. Um, and, Rachel, you've worked with some of these shapes as well within yeah, the Masterclass. So from my stash but I've got to say actually the quality um, I know of I know. these drops for example and is, is extremely high it's they are. probably better than that well it's with, the best so. color mm. definitely now what is Amazonite so here's a gemstone you've probably seen before because a lot of jewelry houses are actually incorporating it um, very very popular I know Monica Veneda um, absolutely adores this gemstone and she, she has a lovely write-up on her website actually uh, talking about it and I think I'm going to show you a little bit of that as well um, but here is um, in fact we can show you the locations or one of many one of a few locations actually um, where this gemstone is actually discovered and I always think gemstones will almost replicate the beauty of their surroundings um, yeah but when we look at Amazonite you would expect it to be kind of tropical wouldn't you but it's not solely actually uh, formed in tropical destinations but yeah let's flick forward to um to monica veneda herself so uh, and like i said these aren't my words this is from her website you can reference it as well but she calls it the stone of hope um, and talks about it very poetically so i'm going to read that mm -hmm. amazonite is what is one of the many reasons we love gemstones so much they come in with rich history uh startling but beautiful colors and a vast range of uses for everyday jewelry and amazonite is undoubtedly a lead of the pack um, it's a type of feldspar so they say that uh, it's uh, a part of the feldspar group of minerals or to be more specific case feldspar in relation to its potassium amazonite is a blue green sem we don't use semi precious as a terminology anymore um, so is a precious gemstone that has seemingly been used for medicinal purposes as much as it has for jewelry pieces throughout history um, its potassium content is believed to bring physical benefits of stamina to the wearer so it has been a favorite uh, jewelry item for many civilizations um, as well as the physical benefits of owning and wearing Amazonite it is something of a has something of a divine appearance to it the blue green variations of it uh, often resemble the skies and the heavens so it is often regarded as a beacon of hope and faith uh, this isn't only applicable to its spiritual qualities either it's its very appearance and its variant of turquoise is seen as the bridge between the blue of the cold winters and the green of springtime laden with life no matter how cold the winter might be there is always a springtime to look forward to and the color of amazonite acts as that quite literal reminder of that the hope that this gemstone represents is manifested in the idea that it allows the owner to see the full truth of all matters so it inspires confidence in balanced uh in balanced arguments and helps us to achieve equilibrium in all walks of life yeah i'd agree with that i've always feel very peaceful when i yep. Working with, I feel, feel calm, relaxed. Actually, I've got my carpets in the, my house are this colour. Oh, you know? really? Yeah, I love the teal um, light. But my carpets are Amazonite colour. Beautiful. So my, a lot of my house is this colour and because I love it so much. It is, like you say, very, very peaceful. Um, sourced in a few different locations around the world. Beautiful blue-green Amazonite has been mined all around the world. Um, its name is somewhat misleading as it may lead people to believe that it originates in the Amazon River in Brazil, but it actually hails from... Uh, 
uh, most parts of the of Western Russia. Deposits have been there um, have been so historically plentiful in the gemstone uh, it was di distributed across Europe and perhaps even to Egypt in ancient times. It is known to have been a favourite during Egyptian dynasties, uh, but not much is known about Amazonite's presence. Um, and the trading routes, and similar to that of your turquoise, how it actually got there. And what is widely known, though, uh, is the powerful impression that one of the finest gemstones of the world has left on countless civilizations. Amazonite might be a rare stone, but its influence has spread to every corner of the globe to bring hope and healing to the masses through beautiful jewelry and adornments. I just love those words. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And, it, and it, we can all see why those kind of words have been written about this gemstone. It's peaceful, it's calming. It is a hope colour, I think, and I definitely think it does see that bridge between the cold of the summer and the and the warmth of springtime. Yes. Um, but here at Jewelry Maker, sort of bringing it back to um, our screens and our live shows, it's been about two years since we've seen a whole showcase. I want to show you one of the strands that we're bringing to air today because as it's sad, look here, amazing, beautiful quality of colour as, as Rachel just referenced. But this one here is a meter long length and you have end-to-end -end quality as well you know it's not a case of oh look at that section just there look at that amazing tropical color um, it is end-to-end -end quality um, so this is coming up it's brand new it's never been on your screens coming up today in this showcase now the showcase consists of what one two three four five strands in total um, but the meat might be more. We might see if we can squeeze any more in time permitting, of course. But they're six millimeter rounds, aren't they? Yes. They are literally the sort of the you know, the, Goldilocks zone. Yeah, that's thing. true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Now, we spoke about, Rachel, the through drill drop and how popular they were. Um, we're going to bring it to you in your lovely Amazonite. Now, these are a different shape drop to what you just saw in your Angelite. Um, slightly fuller, if you see where I'm coming from. Um, nice, generous mm -hmm. drill hole in these as well. But yeah, through drill, so all you need to do is pop your head through and through and away you go. Or not, or cord, oh, whichever okay. you wish, wish. Now, I t oh, okay. Ross has just said, Al, you know what? I'm going to hold off on this one for a second. Okay, no probs. <laughs> yeah. So I've four mil and six mil. Yeah. Should we do these first? The deepest of all colors. And it's all down to personal point of view. You know, um, if we're relaunching Amazonite, Getting it back onto your screen. So we've got to start with rounds, haven't we? That makes sense because it is the most popular shape. Um, so I'm just going to show you the two together. These are six mils and also your four mil. Um, the color is insane. Absolutely insane. I would even stick, so, stick my neck out and say probably some of the best color I've seen um, ever here at Jewelry Maker. Now, obviously, we're going to start with the six millimeters and then we'll dive into the four mil, but I wanted to show you together they would absolutely work so beautifully. Um, good luck. Now, there's a hundred of each of these opportunities available. There is no enhancement. Sometimes Am Amazonite is treated. Not the case here. Totally and utterly natural um, with that wonderful, rich, intense saturation. I mean, that's so deep in its color that you could, you'd be forgiven for thinking it wasn't was chrysoprase or something like that, wouldn't you? Um, or an emerald or, or, or an imperial jadeite, ultimately. This is what a, a jadeite wants to look like, isn't it, ultimately? Um, and look at where we're starting from, at £100. You know, I've got an Amazonite Monica Veneda ring that I was gifted some years ago. It's no way... It's lovely, don't get me wrong, but it's no way near this colour. No. no way near. And it's much more sort of a cool green, actually, isn't it? It's, it's still, a bluey it's green. Still, yeah, yes, exactly. So it's... Oh. It's got all those uh, teal elements, but it's a stronger, denser colour in this strand. But you can still see lightness in the, all the way through. I just love it. It's, it's just a wonderful colour. Do you know, I don't think there's a single person part of the Jewelry Maker family, and probably extended beyond the screens as well, that doesn't love Amazonite. No. no. I think we all it's absolutely Amazonite love it. Amazonite and Labradorite, you know, yeah. you literally are the top and amethyst. Well, but they, they're the top gemstones yeah. that yeah. I would work with. 100%. You know. Mm. Or Mark's, it's Mark's guest designer, Mark's favourite, number mm. one. And it's absolutely yeah. in my top five. Yeah, but we've um, not had the luxury of owning it, having it on our screens for a very, very long time. First price crash, bearing in mind, and we've been busy today, we're relaunching your Amazonite. And like I said, you might have seen it in dribs and drabs, but never a showcase. These are brand new Premier strands. They've never been on your screens pre previously before. The deepest of colours. Relaunching it with 
49 pounds and 99 pence. It's been under lock and key for two years. We bought this per parcel of Amazonite more than two years ago, more than two years ago, had it under lock and key. 2020, 2021 was the purchase date on these. And we have had it locked away in the vault since then. All the phone lines have gone yeah, crazy. Gone the through. web has gone crazy. <laughs> the colour is amazing. Oh, lucky people. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're at 49.99. A lot of you getting involved. Hello, Angela. Nice to see you. Beautiful colour. Love it. Got mine. Well oh, done to you, Angela. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, the quality. In your six mils, if you want the deepest of colours of saturation, like I said, Amazonite comes in more pastel tones. You can get it in uh, kind of honey colours, browns, greys as well. But ultimately, it is that bluey green that's the most po uh, most popular. If you're looking for that really deep saturation, then this is the deepest that I've ever seen, to be truthful. £29.99. There's so many of you there. Angela, you were actually the second person to make your confirmation, so well done. Swansea, well done. Chandy, Ruby, multi-buying. Wendy, Barbara, Marion, Jane, Meath, well done, multi-buying. Catherine, Yorkshire, uh, South Yorkshire, Susan, new customers getting involved absolutely incredible can we shop ahead on the four mils as well if you want to yeah if you want to get that same probably from the same parcel I should imagine um, then do that because they're complimentary now this was purchased more than two years ago we have not had it on our show for that length of time and for that reason we are going to bring it to you at a very special price point The phone lines tell us that we could absolutely show uh, close here. That was never our intention, though. If we get a great deal, you get a great deal. And by the way, parcels of gemstones are quite often. Look, Edar Oberstein, for example, most of their gemstones are decades old, hundreds of years old. We've kept hold of this for two years, and we think that's a long time. In 46 seconds, we are going lower for one of the best saturations I've ever seen, if you, particularly if you like the really deep greeny blues. And we're going lower than that. Never been to what you are about to see. Never been on air. Well done. Brand new premiere opportunity. If you want to multi-buy, do it. What a premium strand. This could have the little tassels at either end, couldn't it? This mm. is Gems Distinction Amazonite. It's not a translucent gemstone Amazonite. It has a sort of kind of semi-opacity, one of the most beautiful patterns and mottling surfaces. Um, like Monica Veneda said earlier on, it is one of the many reasons why so many of us love genuine gemstones. No enhancement, 90 carats, completely and utterly natural. Um, and not even stopping at 29.99. Do shop ahead on the four mils because they will work perfectly alongside one another. And they'll work with Rachel's amazing masterclass designs. <laughs> £19.99 only. Like you said, it's the Goldilocks yeah, of your is. gemstone it sizes. Because <laughs> six mils work, Suitable don't they? Suitable for everything. You know, everything um, you can fit into, uh, you know, the stretches and you can fit them into earrings, necklaces, everything. Yeah. Everything. I said the stretchy word. You did? <laughs> but yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong you with know. stretchy. I bet even from time to time you make a stretchy, Rachel. From time to time, yeah, we know you can make amazing pieces. Seabed designs, all sorts of things. And then um, my big, the big necklace over there will fit all the gemstone sizes in and that will fit straight in there. Um, there's instructions for that necklace on um, the Jewelry Maker um, Show Your Makes page. Um, so you can get going with all the gemstones if you buy the variety of sizes yeah. today. You can make that necklace. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. incredible. Oh, and the, the, it's kind of like that one with all the tassels. This one, one here? Yeah. Yeah, there that you one. go. That's, that's um, one that you can use those gemstone sizes. Oh, I tell you what, Rachel, <laughs> I can imagine that being sort of worn by an Egyptian... Like your likes of your Cleopatra. Yes. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. A lot of multi buyers on this, and 100 might seem like loads. It's not. We haven't got loads of these available. Meath has got three. Chandy's got two. Well done. Yorkshire's just multi bought. Sharon, Cheshire, Tracy, Bernadette, Cambridgeshire, Jenny. Um, I've got Marion, Jeff, Anne, Moy, Valerie, Mal, Kello, to Margaret, Lancashire, Tracy. Let's dive into the four mills so we can kind of run these simultaneously alongside one another. They must be, simply must be. Look, I wasn't there when it would be mined or cut, but they must be from the same parcel. They're so colour matched, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 Lovely. They can't be, because you would see a slight difference if they weren't. Now, mm -hmm. these have been on pre-order, the four mils. A third of the stock has already gone. 
We did a crazy deal on the six mils. Are we going to go even more crazy then? Oh, open it up at 19.99. Okay. <laughs> Everybody pays the final low. So Swansea, like, look, I'm not leaving this chance. I want no. those. I need those. I'm checking out my basket, and I know that jewelry makers got my back. Look, we opening this. We're opening this auction at 19.99 for the best deeper saturation that I've ever seen. Especially if you want those really strong greenish blue colours. There's no enhancement to this whatsoever. We are going even lower. Well done. Have I got the same quantity? 100 of these available. Um, I love a four mil. Mm. For me, the four mm. mil. Four mil is my favourite always. Yeah, they've got. They they will fit um, into into designs beautifully. So I use them for eyes, or creatures, and into the bodies and uh, of creatures and um, the, the little head pin um, dangles on earrings, their sort of um, enhancement on necklaces and uh, they're fantastic sizes. Well, you could use an Amazonite night with your turtles earlier on, couldn't you? They would complement your abalone. <laughs> They'd be beautiful with yeah, those. <laughs> ah, and they perfectly match with your copper as well, because here is a gemstone that actually is, um, I, th I believe anyway, co quite copper rich, I believe. I'm trying to say that off the top of my head now. I'm, I might be wrong. Anyway, but it looks like it would have that copper content, doesn't it? £14.99. Hello and well done to every single one of you. It's back. We're so, so, so excited to see this beautifully mesmeric gemstone. That bridge between the colds of winter to the wonderful life, abundant uh, beauty of springtime. The fact that this regarded as a beacon of hope and positivity. You can see all of those qualities. Whether you go or not, get on board with it or not, you can kind of see that in the colour can't you certain colours have got vibes it's a lovely energy it is as I said I always feel peaceful and serene and really calm happy yeah. working with it and if you if it already gives you that happiness and joy while you're making it then you're going to have that happiness and joy wearing it absolutely so 100% yeah like angelite's got that serenity to it don't you think there's certain gemstones you have vibes about them you know we were talking about color there's, there's such a thing as color therapy isn't it yes. yellows are very happiness inducing gemstones same uh, they all have their kind of appearances and feelings about them well done everyone stay where you are again if everybody purchases the four mil that purchased the six mil it's very close to actually selling out amazing and there's a lot of multi buyers getting involved as well brand new strands never been on your screens they were purchased two years ago but they're brand new to our screens amazing amazing um now ross is just saying l i put the meter long length strand on pre-order yeah it's flying we need to do it now okay so we're bringing this to air oh my goodness what's better than a strand of amazonite look at it basically two yeah. and a half strands of amazonite that's basically what we're getting yeah. because your triple length ne triple oh. strand necklace i mean straight away or you could the three necklaces or two necklaces and two bracelets yeah there's just <laughs> a multitude there? and it's yeah, it's Wonderful. It's con it's continuity of quality is re well, Rachel. The fact that you know it's not like oh look at that section as I said earlier on. Look at those colours just there. It's yeah, end it to end, a hundred centimeters of top quality, um, natural, amazing Amazonite. Um, it's there's not areas of darkness, grey, mottling. There's no host rock on the surface of these. You can see that it's it uh, you know it's transporting me to you know the crisp white sands of the Seychelles or somewhere absolutely. Mauritius, someone absolutely mm. beautiful mm. like that. Um, and when we think of Amazonite, I think most of us think about this tropical color, don't we? You know, we know it can come in the darker greens. You know you can get it in the honey yellows, for example, in the greys. But when we think of Amazonite and certainly the quality that Monica and Ada use are these kind of wonderful kind of tropical light blues. How many have I got though, Roscoe? Because if this is flying on pre-orders, 100. A full metre long length strand. Yeah. I don't think I know this is going to be an on screen sellout. This now, is amazing. it's beautiful. Now, this was purchased mid 2021 as a deal of the day. We never played it. Hasn't been played, but it has been under lock and key. Okay. Today's the day. It's basically like another deal of the day for you guys today. The quality is absolute textbook. In fact, you know what? I've got gem lots of gem books at home, obviously, but that don't show this quality. 
That's the reality. I've, you know, normally they'll show a specimen at the beginning of a chapter or when they're talking about a gemstone. They're not that quality. This is textbook. Notice how you've got that continuous color. You've still got the lovely patterning that's, uh, that's on the surface of this gemstone. Um, and it's end to end. It's a beautiful and um, solid yeah. uh, block of, of serenity and the pure color. Um, it's honestly, I could literally look at it all day. Yeah, I me really too. want this shirt. I know I'm not going to get it. So you are so lucky. Wish list it. Oh, well, I will. Yeah, <laughs> wish list it. It works. It does work. Our call centre do ring you back. You're flying in for it. I, I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. You must, you must get it because it's wonderful. Well, when I, I enjoy work, working with it so much. You know? Yes, yeah. And you'll use a couple. That's the thing because you've got such a strong colour. You can own. You can get away with just using a couple of the stones. When I was prepping for today's show, I, I thought this was a 38 centimetre strand. And I was more than happy with the price tag that it was going to. Look at the carrot weight. I, I should have... Connected the dots here is 241 carats. It's a metre long length strand. But I just looked at the price tag. I've seen the photograph, thought, yeah, that's amazing. The quality of the Amazonite, that's un unbelievable. It's a metre long length strand of natural Amazonite. At £129, Angela and Janice and Ruby and Marion and Meath and Swansea and Laura and Angela and Tracy and London and Susan and Margaret and Tracy and another London, um, just to name a few. We've got 100. Already, 25% of the stock has gone. We think Amazonite, we think this, don't we? Hats. Yeah, it's textbook, iconic, beautiful. Bought to yeah, be a deal uh, of the day. Let's take it to a double figure price tag, shall we? A beautiful gemstone, a rare gemstone. Oh my goodness, so it's not even 99 pounds. You've basically got two and a half strands, haven't you? You have. Two and a half, you could do your kiss crosses with this, you can do your sea beads with this, you can do your chain mail, your knotting, your malas, all of the above, your wire work, of course. Unbelievable. We're at £69.99 pence with loads of... There's no reason for us to drop this price, by the way. It's premium textbook grade. And it's still not your deal of the day final price tag. Deal of the day, I hear you say. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a deal of the day purchase two years ago. But we're still going to honour that deal of the day price tag. Even though it's been... We've been starved of this beautiful gemstone, haven't we? Yeah, it's two and a half strands, because if a 38 centimetre strand is our usual length, isn't it? It's about that. It's about that. Not far off. So you do the maths. Maybe 69. More. Yeah, maybe even more. more. Yeah. So. We're not yeah. stopping at 69.99. Tracy, Deborah, Yorkshire, another Tracy, Jane, Rod. Hello to you, Laura, Angela, and Sussex, Angela, and sorry, Janice, Ruby. Um, hello to you, uh, Marion. Nice to see you. Good luck. The clock is ticking. You're going to get one of the best deals here. It's a meter long length. I mean, a Marla in this would be absolutely incredible. Six millimeters are. I like that. The Goldilocks um, for us as jewelry makers. Um, we know. Oh, it would look lovely with your sand and scar. I've got that here, actually. Mm. Should we put the two together? Yes. And maybe some pearls. Oh, some little seed oh, pearls yes, in oh, there as well. Yeah, just um, some silver um, seed beads in between, just eight toes, just um, scattered through. Or some silver, just um, sterling silver space of beads. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I, I, genuinely, though, I don't know a single person that doesn't love a hammer's night. Mm. I think it is one of those gemstones that... It might not be your favourite colour of, of... You know, when some people say, what's your favourite colour? Um, I know it is yours, but even uh, everybody loves it, don't they? Yeah. If I'll, I'll go through a whole load of stuff um, to buy, and then I'll end up plumping for that one. Yeah. I love it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yes, it's the one I just feel gravitate towards. Yeah, naturally. Well, one of the best deals. Goodness me, <laughs> that if like, do you see why I thought it was a thirty-eight centimetre strand? Because a thirty-eight centimetre strand of Amazonite of this quality at thirty-nine ninety-nine, that would be absolutely incredible. Just to put this into perspective, because sometimes it's hard to imagine a metre of gemstones. You have a solid meter. Look, and also end to end, incredible, incredible yep. quality. No spaces. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're not knotted. Kind of, no. <laughs> not knotted. They are literally shoulder to shoulder. 
And it also shows that, you know, alongside by side, that continuity of quality. A metre long length strand. Um, if you want to multi-buy, you absolutely can. So this has been under lock and key for two years, effectively, two and a half years. Um, purchased as a deal of the day. We have honoured that amazing deal of the day price tag. The phone lines have gone crazy, so much so you've melted my call screen. Um, <laughs> notice how you're kind of stationary at the moment. When it gets super, super busy in between auctions like oh, this, can't, can it, can't yeah. keep up. Yeah, so all of a sudden it'll leapfrog back into uh, um, back into real time. Well done, everybody. Cheshire, South Yorkshire, Margot, hello, darling, Sharon, Tina, Louise, Lincolnshire, Cumbria, Tracy. And those are the names that I can see on our frozen screen. The quality is absolutely on point. That's the thing. You could go through so many different gemology, websites, books, whichever it uh, might be, uh, and sort of look for the finest quality of Amazonite. And I can bet you bottom dollar it's not going to look too dissimilar from what's on your screens right now. There were 100 available. And we, how are we doing on stock? 40 remain. 35, there we go, 35 uh, real-time quantities. So make sure you are checking out. I can see all your names flying past on the bottom of the screens right now. Um, they are absolutely, sorry, absolutely flying out the door. So completely frozen our screens. Um, yeah, hello to you, collector in London. Um, oh, wow, beautiful and from the original source. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. I know we're, we've been, we've missed it, haven't we, Amazonite? Mm -hmm. It's one of those amazing gemstones that, um, like I say, you can source from all around the world all around the world um this quality yeah it's on another level the beauty is just absolutely completely intoxicating marion well done deirdre well done susan well done cumbria well done maureen well done keith well done to you as well karina good luck you've got to check out those of you that have it sort of hovering in your mm. baskets right now and haven't made your check out um the quantity that we have left rapidly approaching the final 25 percent we purchased did you say 100 yeah, 100 of these. So we've got 29 as we speak. Um, don't wait. No, Please well don't wait. Two and a half years. And that's not just me saying that. There's viewers who will be thinking, oh, yeah, I haven't seen it in a real long time. You might have had dribs and drabs. You know, you've had different strands probably here and there. Um, but not a showcase. Not a showcase. Right, we're in the teens. Teen quantities now. Good luck, everybody. End to end, a full metre long length. Great for Marlers. Normally you'd have yeah, to multiply, wouldn't you? <laughs> Marler length, I would use it all in one go just like that for, for something amazing. Three strand necklace with a beautiful pendant in the middle. Yeah, gorgeous. Look at that colour from there though, Rachel. Know, it's absolutely know, amazing. It's perfect. I, it, can't, it couldn't be more perfect because I, I can see it from here as well and it's really good. <laughs> amazing. Well done, well done, well done. I'll leave those final few with you. Good luck, everyone. Um, because we've still got... Yes, 10 millimeter faceted rounds. I've got two more strands to bring you in your Amazonite. Um, what we might do, because we've got a very special selection of malachite coming up on Wednesday, so we might add the remainder of the Amazonite into the uh, Wednesday show. I should be watching. So. Yeah, there you go. You'll be, you guys have got a week off yeah. now, haven't you? So that'd be lovely. Straight up to the neckline. Ooh. <gasps> You see, yeah, that will go in that necklace that I've made that fits straight in there, oh. and it's perfect. Really beautiful faceted stones. Rachel, it's the only strand that we have in faceted. 10 millimeter, mm. I mean, so beautiful. Mm. Couldn't you just, I'd knot this with maybe like a pink silk or something like that. What I always think, Amazonite compliments oh, every skin tone. Oh, it's yes. the only faceted strand we have. Mm. You got the extra, extra um, light and luster and, and glitter from it actually yeah you still got the color you still got the, the those gorgeous patterns and tones and then the background tone is amazing sort of um, serene um, bluey green oh, it's wonderful it's i love the patterning it's very it's almost like silks naturally forming are you ready the only faceted strand forget 99.99 says producer ross it's the largest millimeter that we have and the only faceted the penultimate strand today Worth the weight though, aren't they? <gasps> Gosh, that's way lower than I was expected to be twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. I'd I'd just I'd probably knot that with a silk, put a silver clasp. Perfect. Mm, beautiful. Absolute um, perfection. 
but it would also look absolutely amazing alongside Rachel's designs that are coming up in the 12 o'clock hour <laughs> and the tool. There yeah, are the only 40. Oh, yeah, with bee caps. caps. And the flower shirt cutter and everything. It will go really well. 40, though, so you need to be quite quick. I don't know. The bigger the stone, I, it's a fair assumption to say, um, OK, well, I'm, they're going to have less then, aren't they? The bigger the stone, they are. That's the reality, because most gemstones are rarer in their larger sizes. I've got one more auction to bring you, and it's the one that we saved oh, till last. Yes, this is oh. porcelain, quite. It looks like, um, like ceramic. It looks like somebody's yeah. made it and put it in a kiln. And like and little vases. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They beautiful. Are beautiful. Um, well, you can see when you go into the close-ups. How lovely this uh, is. Look at our start price. <laughs> Through drilled. I've got 80. I mean, okay, let's do it in one price crash then, because that's ridiculous. We straight away made a mistake. 215 carats. So one of the biggest carat weights of the entire showcase. And we've started mm. at £30.99. So through drilled. Same conversation as what we had yeah, when we were talking about on. the Angelite. Yes. Perfect, and this is what yes. yeah you mm -hmm. could use with Rachel's techniques. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, but there are only eighty of these. This has been just a little. Oh, go on then, let's do it. I don't think we can even buy. How much? Should have been a twenty-nine ninety-nine strand. Um, should have been. Haven't set the price pri price point properly. And we do always like to create a drop. It's live TV. It's very different to your sort of standard retailers. Um, yes, shop ahead. There's eighty available. It's one of those. I'll go on. Let's just do a closeout deal. We can't physically purchase it for what's on your screens right now. Amazing. Keep on dialing through. Make sure you're checking out your baskets um, and do not go anywhere. Your wall of fame is coming up the other side of the break and Rachel's amazing masterclass as well. Keep checking out your baskets, folks. Folks, good luck to you all and we'll be back after this. Oh, lucky things. Okay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back, everybody. Don't worry, we haven't lost. Oh, oh, <laughs> we haven't lost our lovely Rachel. Here she is. Just had to. My mic uh, down my front. I thought you didn't want me seeing. <laughs> See me rummaging around in the. <laughs> well, we let's go. start <laughs> off with your beautiful creations, lovely jewellery makers in the Wall of Fame. Um, you do truly inspire us. And um, on Wednesday, every week since we've been broadcasting, we uh, give jewellery maker money away, credit it to your jewellery maker account. So, starting us off this morning, number 379 um, is Julie. Julie Codling, hello to you, lovely. And Julie says, Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame um, a simple jadeite pendant, an earring set made with beautiful filigree carved jadeites I got recently from Jewelry Maker. The drop jadeite beads in the earrings complement it. Sterling silver findings were all from Jewelry Maker. Please keep the sterling silver findings in stock at Jewelry Maker. I had to wait a long time to top up my stash. Good luck to all. Julie noted, Julie. Um, I th in fact, I think we've had that conversation quite recently about, uh, about essential findings. Uh, number 380 is from Carol. Oh, very beautiful, yes. Carol. Uh, and Carol says, hi, Jewelry Maker gang. Um, I've got a new waffling for you this week. I call this my pearl swirl ring, where I've attempted some herringbone wrapping around the gorgeous freshwater pearl. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Uh, Jewelry Maker, good luck to everybody. Well, I, lo I love the pearl swirl. It's very beautiful, oh, it isn't is. it? It's lovely. Number 381 is from Norma. Hello to you, Norma. Uh, and Norma says, hi all, here is this week's entry to the Hall of Fame. Ruby and sterling silver suite, including a necklace and clip bracelet and, wow, um, and earrings made for my sister's 50th birthday back in July. All from Jewelry Maker. As always, good luck, luck to all in the draw and a big thank you to all at Jewelry Maker. Um, number 382 is from Sharon. Very beautiful, Sharon. Um, and Sharon says, hi all, here is my entry to the Hall of Fame. It's a Kumihimo bracelet made with copper cord from my stash. Toggle clasp made from copper wire and a charm disc uh, is hammered. Mm. Uh, bed copper, all from jewelry maker tools and metals. All the best uh, to all and good luck. Number 383 is Lovely from Sean. Wow, wow. <laughs> amazing, Sean. Um, Sean says, I made this octopus pendant from bare copper, which I tarnished using liver sulfur before polishing back. The real star is the fabulous onyx cabochon in the body. I bought a couple of bundles of onyx from you not that long ago, um, and I love them. The eyes are accent stones, in, which are blue jasper. Everything is from Jewelry Maker, but can we please have some more cabochons and bare copper wires? I'm running out. We will relay that message. Um, um, my love to you and your inspirational design designers who keep me going every day thank you for bringing a little lovely bit of Sean. joy into my life oh bless he's you lovely no he's such a he's wonderful he's so talented he's um, got his own shop and um sells all the designs he's fantastic yeah you can, uh, an artist an absolute artist number 384 is from deborah hello to you deborah Oh, very beautiful. Uh, Deborah says, here, uh, here with this week's offering of the Wall of Fame, lapis lazuli and sterling silver fining bracelet, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all my fellow waffers. Um, amazing. Well done, Deborah. Number 385 is from Julia. Um, hello, everybody at Jewelry Maker. I have just finished this. It's a 40-inch pearl and crystal knotted necklace. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, the pearls are from Jewelry Maker from a few weeks ago. There are three strands. This is the... Um, and this is only one and a half strands um, the crystal beads and silk are from leftover kits in my stash good luck everybody um, last but by no means least um, is 386 from Julia wow amazing Julia uh, Julia says hi all at Jewelry Maker here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame draw I purchased this Olmec Blue Peony Pendant a while ago using my Wall of Fame win um, courtesy of the wonderful Debbie Kershaw who's my lucky charm um, having drawn my name out again oh amazing um, I love the beauty of this pendant and the teal blue is incredible and looks so wonderful with gold. Please relay my heartfelt thanks to Wayne, Scott, Dave, Jake and Toby for sourcing and allow us to opportu um, the opportunity to be able to make such heirloom pieces that once eluded us. Without you guys, jewellery like this wouldn't be possible. Good luck to everybody this week. What a lovely oh, message, Julia. And we nice. certainly will. It's good to have we back, yeah, we certainly will um, relay that message to them as well. Now, it is time for your new tool well firstly do you want to show us um the jewelry yeah the, the amazing jewelry that you have created rachel he's turning around a little bit but um basically 
Um, oh my goodness, I was so lucky I, uh, to get number one a tool like this to use. I was like, I've never used, I've used circular disc cutters for before, but I've never used a shape disc cutter, and the potential um, of this is uh, this tool is amazing, um, and I've produce big statement necklaces with lots of shapes and sizes on just to show you the different shapes and sizes and, and textures and things and and doming and everything you can you can create yeah. uh, with them you or you can just use one single flower on its own and you've got on a silver chain um, and you've got a beautiful pendant so. well this is the thing they work with copper sheet and also silver, silver sheet, sheet as well yes. so um now we're going to bring you the tools and then, of course, um, we'll step into the masterclass with all Rachel's amazing, um, amazing demos. Now, the disc cutter is flying. We've just looked at price comparisons elsewhere. So, OK, one similar out of stock currently. £134.95. Yeah, OK, amazing. Similar, it's not exactly the same, but similar. Um, or you can go on eBay. It might even be the same one, I'm not entirely sure. £140, OK. Fair enough. Amazing. And we found another one, similar. £137.92. So, so they're all around. Yeah. You're talking about £130, yeah. £135 for those. Mm. Um, now, uh, as I said yesterday, when we were talking about a disc cutter, we will always endeavour to beat our competitors. It's not always possible. It's not always possible. We will try. We always do try. Um, yeah, I think you might be surprised today. Okay, first price crash. For the three that we've just shown, about about £135 on average, I think. And once you've got this tool, you're not really going to need to replace it as long as you don't lose it. I don't think it's something that's going to break. No, now we've, lifetime usage, really. Yeah, we've beaten all of those price comparisons that we showed you a few moments time, um, sh showed a few moments ago. Um, again, it's a heavy tool. You haven't got to pay extra. I'm going to pay extra on posting and packaging. It's already flying, very, very popular. You're going to have to be quick. Do I have quantity then, Ross? 100. Oh, right, okay. Lovely flowers, aren't they, as well? Yeah, they're a really they're, heavily yes. petaled flower. <laughs> and they're symmetrical, so you've got sort of the, um, all the sort of connection points and possibilities um, of, of them. So, Well, um, you, to, to cut something like that, this with your shears or your saw oh, is going to be very never, difficult. No, it would be ages and ages and ages, literally hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Um, and also to make sure they're exactly the same shape and size. And then uh, cut a hole oh, in the middle. Yeah, and you've got seconds and you've produced it, really. I mean, obviously, yeah. you'll see it when I do, do the work. So, well, and, three, and four different shapes and sizes, you can create negative spaces as well. I think um, Claire demonstrated it very beautifully yesterday, um, where you, you can cut an inner shape and, and an outer flower, and then use the inner flower as a component, and then the outer sort of mm. cut out um, shape will. Yeah, nothing's you know, wasted. Nothing is wasted. No. Well, are you happy at 129, Rachel? What do oh, you think? That's a great price that point. That is a good price. It's not. I it, have been waiting it, for these for a long time. Well, it's it's better. Because, yeah, and I want, I want, and I was so lucky I've got one. You got one now, <laughs> haven't you? Amazing. Your prayers have been answered. Well, mm. probably better to where we found elsewhere for similar tools or exactly the same. Oh, that's lovely. It will be on split pay. I know it's not showing at the moment. It will be. We'll get that sorted. So don't worry. Mm. Um, just check out and you can always speak to our contact centre to, to, to sort that out. Um, are you happy at 129? Yeah, I think that's great. But I think you might, you might, there's a certain tone to my voice. <laughs> a certain hint to my voice. It is not your price point today. £95. It's on three-way split pay as well, which I don't know if that's available on any of those other websites. So what's that working out at? £32 on split payment. £31.66 on your split payment. So speak to our contact centre and they can sort that out for you. And, and you said it, once you've got this tool, you're never going to need to replace it. As long as you look after it, obviously. Now, when you when it arrives at your house and it arrives all yep. boxed, there will be a slight oily yeah, a little residue. Sort of like a sewing machine type oil. And just either use a little baby wipe or... Um, you know, or you know, just a kitchen towel actually to wipe it off, and it's gone really very quickly. And in fact, actually, you do need to add in um, a little bit of oil or, or lubricant to the actual uh, process when you're actually just cutting anyway. So, yeah. and it keeps it from rusting. Store it in an airtight box um, as well, just to keep it all nice and clean and clear. And if it does get a little bit rust on, which uh, uh, it'd be really rare, but you do occasionally just sand it down. But most of the time, just keep it in an airtight box and with a tiny bit of oil. 
perhaps um, and you've got it for a lifetime. Lifetime. Yes. Yeah. Um, keep on dialing through, everybody. What we're just basically is taking the graphics out and then we'll introduce them back in and you should have your split payment on there. Um, so, yeah, just dropping those out for that reason. And then fingers crossed it's worked. I mean, those earrings are amazing. I love those earrings. You. And you've also, I mean, I've just, I've used wire work to put them together, but you can solder and the potential with soldering is yep. amazing as well. And you can use them as, as connect, you can drill holes into them as connectors, uh, but also you can use them as jump rings in themselves. Um, if you've got the circular disc cutter, which you'll need um, if you want to create those jump rings, I'll explain why in a minute. Mm -hmm. But if you want to solder flower shapes on flower shapes, um, you know, all you need is the flower disc cutter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is on split payment. We're just trying to sort it out. Bear with us. Um, so you've also got the doming block. Yes. Um, it's a different doming block to what we had yesterday. It's coming up. That's available on pre-order as well. But while we, it's available, speak to our call centre, check out your basket. It's on three-way split pay. We're going to try and rectify the graphics for you. Yes. Um, yeah, and you're the, I mean, the disc, oh, sorry, more doming punch will help you make those bead caps. And the flower bead, bead caps are so pretty. Um, I mean, um, the circular bead caps are lovely made with a circle dish punch, but if you've got the flower shaped cut out disc, it mm. makes such a pretty bead cap. It doesn't hide too much of the stone. Um, and you, you know, you can really add um, this amazing sort of crafted detail to your, I mean, if you look at this next, I wanted to show in this, maybe this copper necklace, the potential of, of this one here, of using the curves as bead caps, as you can texture and hammer, you can layer things over each other, you can create all sorts of different shapes and sizes, um, you can drill them and hang them from jump rings and create this wonderful sort of um, um, sort of cascade effect uh, of necklace. So, yeah. um, and then also you can cu cut them and curve them as flowers. And also with a silver necklace, I wanted to show you how lovely it is as a flat, as a flat flower shape. Um, all joined together as uh, almost like jump rings. You see Very Mary there. Quant, that one. Yeah, yeah, and it's just, you can see, and I've used a circular disc cutter as well, which I'm hoping you've, you've got, because to be honest, you probably have got a self-disc um, cutter, and if not, um, when it comes up on JM next, snap them up, um, because that will just help you make some of the jump ring. We were saying they can be like, uh, at the end of necklaces, you could put like a little flower detail at the end of a necklace yes. or charms. Yes. Yeah, um, on sides of bracelets. And I've done it as the earrings, the little silver earrings, show you how you can use them. Like little, ah, beautiful. Little tiny, little tiny. I mean, they're probably not facing on I'm sorry. But when they're... That's fine, we can see <laughs> um, them But you can see the side view there, unfortunately. So I don't know what to do about that. Shall I turn them a little bit? There we go. You might see them a bit better. Look, and you can see how they, they prettily sort of tap, cascade and you can text. Yeah with them and um, and uh, then you stamp on with the texture so you text them first and then you stamp well take that's, it that's away take it away we're going to try and fix the graphics you are still shopping though i can see loads of you with it in your baskets etc and of course here's the details for now it is on three-way split pay as well and the doming block um is um also coming your way as well so it's available on pre-order as we speak so um, I can show you some of the, if you can go in the overhead, I'll just show you some of the shapes that I have created. And I'll be putting photographs of the drill holes for the different shapes and components you need for the necklace. So you know what to, to, to use when you, if you see a still photograph of the necklace, you'll be able to recreate it. So, um, for example, there's, you know, the drill holes for um, one of the main necklace and bracelet and components. And there's the drill holes for the earring component. Yep. And that's the flower shape that you fit on top of, um, sorry, the flower shape you fit on top of this one, for example. So there's, there's lots of different things that you can, you can create. So let's um, start away. Let's start by making a, should you start by making a um, flower within a flower? How about that? Yeah. Yeah. So um, you've got this wonderful. Um, very heavy. Very heavy and substantial. Um, and also, yes, there'll, there'll be one for the ring, if you want to create the ring as well as a tension set. Um, so you have a beautifully made um, piece of equipment with four different shaped flowers, um, all sliding in and out beautifully. Um, and the one thing you've got to remember, obviously, you have, and you see I've done a bit of bashing, you have a really sharp, crisp-edged area. Um, that's your cutting edge. You must always have that downwards. And then you have a slightly beveled edge and you must always have that upwards. Don't hit your crisp edge, otherwise you won't have a clear cut and everything. So uh, make sure you just make sure that that is the first thing you do. So I'm going to make, let's actually make a big flower first of all. Ah, do you know what? We're going to make a little flower first of all and have that as the internal space. 
So I'm going to choose, say, that one and get a bit of copper. And I will make, I might, we have, I mean, you can work with 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. This is 0 0.3. And I'm going to put it underneath um, this um, sort of middle sized one near the top as much as I can. Um, not quite near the not quite near the edge because I want a bit of a rim around it. So um, now um, to make these things slide through nicely, you can put some cut lube on it, like on the edge. And Claire showed that beautifully yesterday, actually. If you've got some of that, if not, sewing machine oil. And just I have to put it. payments on the screen there. Sorry yeah. to interrupt. And you. then yeah, brilliant. And a bit of sewing machine oil on a bit of tissue, which I've got. Oh, a lot okay. Of. So that's an alternative. Yeah, I've just gone lost. I had a bit. You've of lost that. your tissue. I had a bit of tissue. Hang on, see if I can oh. find some. <laughs> I know. Uh, sabotage myself. If not, I put on my fingers. There you go. And, oh, brilliant. There you and go. then just wipe it over, and the, the the little stamp will punch through, and it will slide through really much more easily. And you will have a few issues, so just wipe it over like mm -hmm. that. Or, I might use it in a minute, oh. again. Uh, but a bit on the cut, the cut lube as well, if you've got it, so, you know, and place it in there. So when you're stamping, you've got, it's nice to place it on some sort of non-shock surface, like a rubber block and, and all of that. If not, I have a court mat, so I used a court mat um, as well, so you've got one of those, I use it for drilling as well. So court mat is fantastic. Then you use a really bog standard hammer, one that you won't use for anything else. And the other thing is wear eye protection if you can, because there's a lot of sort of things lying about, but um, you know, just make sure that you've got a little bit of eye. Glasses are fine, but um, you know, if you've got um, other things. I have some. Yeah, so um, there shouldn't be anything too much flying no. about, to be honest, it's the, I'm overdoing it. But when you're doing the drilling and these other things, yes. So. Hold this in place against your... Uh, oh, and also, if you want to make it absolutely centred, say I want to make a flower like that. Sorry, I should have said. Just make a dot in the middle. Something to aim yeah, for. Yeah, aim for. And then you've got uh, that area like that, so I know that that's where. And you line it up. I'm going to look over. I'm afraid I'm going to look over. And what I have at, at home is I use... I don't use this, actually. I use a ring... Um, you know one of those ring photo lights yeah I set it up and I have it over but you can see oh the there you go yeah yeah so you might try and make it mine, mine won't be centered here because I haven't got the chance really to look at it so well but I have a, a ring light set up over and I look through the ring light and I make sure it's all centered so you can do that okay yeah so if not if you've got one of these that's fine too so back to that so make sure your bevel side is up and your cutting side is down and hold it down it is yep it's not quite in the centre, but okay. Um, hold it down against the shape, against the copper sheet, so everything's fixed in place. And then start bashing. Don't bash your fingers, okay? So I'm going to bash really hard now. Okay, it's gone through. Um, and it's gone through the copper. The com copper's come out the other side, so I've got a beautiful cut flower shape. Lovely. There, which I'm going to chuck over onto the side. And I need to get this out now. This is something you just have to be a bit sort of... Um, it won't come out completely, so I think everybody's had that problem. It's not just me. I was quite relieved. <laughs> it wasn't just me. So I've got a bit of, uh, like, an old pencil, actually. Oh, a pokey stick. Um, well, not even that. It's an old bashy old pencil that I don't care about. And I've used that. One of these old things will fit through the bigger one. Yeah. Like an old dapping punch, but, but like a wooden bit. But an old pencil will fit through this. And I'm just going to bash it through. And you might need to bash it through. Sorry, I haven't got enough height on this. I'm going to give it a bit more height. Bash it through with a, an old pencil. And it'll come out the other side. Okay, so that's what will happen. So it will get stuck um, because it, there's a little sort of lip between the copper and the, the two layers because you're inserting this copper in, in a gap between the two layers of the, the punch. Mm. And there we go. So that's, that's that first one. So now we've got a shape here. What I'm going to do is put it into the bigger shape and I'm going to lean over and just check that it's central. It might not be, but I'm going to show you again. We've got to try and line it up overhead. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there we go. Spray that again. I'm not sure whether that works, but um, I can see it 
and then I'm just going to go over it and just make sure, yeah, it's centred, more or less. I'll obviously spend a bit more time, make sure it's absolutely centred. Um, put the cut loop on there and where that tissue was, a little tiny bit there of tissue it is. And oil. Um, and the sewing machine oil is lovely. It does, it does actually really help. You know, even if it was kind of slightly off centre, I think it's still at yeah, nice. Yes, I've done some off centre and it looks really good. Let's show you. Have I got, have you, can you see any of the off centre here? There. Oh, they look one. absolutely perfect that to one. me. That one was off centre. Oh, okay. So you, so you can see that would be a really good earring. So you do two the yeah. same like that. You've got a, get a more of a sort of earring shape, haven't you? Yeah. Top. So actually all the mistakes end up being used as well. Amazing. So this might not be perfect, but we'll see how it goes. I am over, over it. Lucky I've dyed the hair so you can see the hairline. <laughs> oh, bless you. Uh, right, it, try and, with the points, you've got to make sure the points are lined up. And then, it, again, it's just not going to be perfect because I've not, not got the ability to really... Yeah, see. it's not a normal demo no, position, no, is no. it? Or, no. or, or yeah. making position, Holding rather. Holding it over. And this is probably going to come out, hopefully, very soon. No, nearly. A bit more force. There, that's come out and it's virtually, it's okay. Okay, Amazing. so there we go. And then I'm just going to get this flower cutter out. So again, brush it down and then get the wooden peg. And then I'm just going to brush it out. Pokey stick. Well, no, you need more force, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> big pokey stick. This is one you might need a bit more force with um, because, well, I found it. Yeah, it's out now. So that's it, that's come out. Oh, phew, that worked. So there we go. So there is the flower cutter. And then what you can do with them. Oh, my goodness. So it'll come out. Um, it might come out, usually it come out very smooth and beautiful. But there's all sorts of things. You just might need to sort of sand it down. There's mm. things on the website as well that will help you. Um, an ordinary big file or needle files. You can... Um, Nail files. Down. Yeah, emery boards, it actually. Emery boards are brilliant. These emery boards... Um, were from JM initially. Um, you have emery sticks on the website as well, uh, large emery sticks, which can work really well. So you've got those on the website, on the JM website. If you look for emery, it'll come up, okay? Um, so yeah, so files and all of that. Let's just spend a bit of time filing down, but you've got that shape. Um, oh, that's gonna wow. fit over. So what we're gonna do is make some one of the components you see um, on the... Um, Display burst? Yes. <laughs> <My necklace. laughs> that's it. That's it. So, um, if you're okay, I mean, that's and the little ones. Um, the great thing about the little shapes that fit inside the shapes are that nothing is wasted. So you've got that, uh, um, and then you have that fitted well, I was outside. Just looking at this, Rachel. That's amazing. You can create little bee caps yeah, that's with what them. We're going to do. do that next. You see. So what we can do is we'll do a bee cap first, and then we'll go and make one of the components of the necklace. Okay. okay, so those are kind of the main techniques that we'll need. Yeah. Also, we'll show a bit of texturing. So this is the tool that enable you to create all that. Please, I, I, I can't urge you enough. This is such a good tool. Um, I love the bead caps and the components they're made out of. I love the shapes and um, it's just fantastic. So I cannot say enough how good it is. So please get it if you can. Right. <laughs> so um, let's do some drilling for a bead cap. So bead cap, obviously, you need a little hole in it. So I've got a cork mat, which is really, really good. And I've got one of the little flower shapes, which mm -hmm. um, we want to make these into, these little tiny little discs, into a, into a um, curve. So yeah. we're going to use the daming um, component. But That's available on pre-order, so you can get So um, there are hand drills. There are hand drills in toolkits on the website. And I think I gave... Ross, um, a code, and there's a really good toolkit with um, drill bits and a little hand drill in it. So you need a, a, um, so you can do this hand drill if you want to, but if you've got a Dremel, you can do it with a Dremel, but you have to put a guide hole in first. So the little hand tool, hand little hand drill, is fantastic. So just either mark, mark it with a marker pen first, actually, and then make your little guide hole, okay? okay. So that's, it's fairly quick, actually. It's, I'm spending too long, so I'm actually talking about it at the same time. So it probably doesn't take that long. So a little guide hole like that, you made an indentation. If you haven't got a Dremel, you just have to spend a bit of time and go all the way through, okay? okay. But, it but it will possible. take ages. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, so Sorry. here is the, 
I've got handheld Dremel. Some people have, um, um, you know, proper ones with cords and things. But I've got to wait for this to die before I can get one of those. And this hasn't died yet. It's still going. It's, hang gone. it's hanging on in there. If not, if you've got one of these um, jury maker hole punches that we've sold in the past with a one and a half millimetre hole, you can make a hole with one of these as well, which is brilliant. So you probably, some of you will have got this as well. So there are ways and means of getting the, making the hole in there. So I'm just going to pop the Dremel in to the guide hole. I use a bit broken bit of cork mat just to hold it. So can you see how I've got a little curve in this cork mat that fits around where I'm uh, drilling? Yes. And it holds it still, stops it getting hot, stops it rotating. And I'm just going to hold it on a slow speed. Done it. It's already ah. done. So it's quick as that. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. So Oh, there's hot. 12 left of this of the disc cutter. So if you've got oh. it in your basket, this is going to be a sellout. 12 left and super over allocated. So um, it might be hot to bring... Um, that is a little... It's a heel now, but it's a blister from one I actually picked up too early. So, uh, oh, do they it heat will, up that quick? They heat up with the drilling. So that yeah, quick? Yeah. You do six drill holes in a row, which is what I did. And then picked it up and went, ow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. Because the cool. you have sun, sun comes in after something to eat at the same time as you're thinking of doing this. You know. Anyway, so you use the file and file it back. There'll be a little indentation at the back of the drill hole. Oh, oh if it, honestly, I forgot to do texturing. We'll do texturing in a minute. So there we go. So that. And also, if you've got a circular little needle file, just go in and just... Ah, uh, okay. So, kind of like a reamer. Yeah, you've got a reamer. You, there's reamers on the website as well that you can use. Um, so I've got all these alternatives, you know, for for that. So there we are. So you can make it, make, sure make that nice and smooth. Now we're going to get this wonderful um, doming. I've got, I'll use mine because obviously you want to keep that pristine. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to be bringing you this very tool, the exact same tool that Rachel's actually working with right now. In fact, before you use you it, let's, yep. let, let's bring the graphics. How many? There's only 10 left. Oh, of the disc cutter. Of the disc cutter. So, yeah, it's going to sell out. Um, so, again, comes with a nice little wooden stand. You've got 12-hole um, uh, hole plates um, and 12-hole punches if I lift it forward. Again, it is still heavy, but you want it to have that weight, don't you? Because obviously, otherwise, it'll bounce around and if the not. The nice thing with this is you don't have to keep turning it and find out which one, because some of them in blocks, like little squares, and they're yep. lovely, and they look quite artistic, but actually, you have to keep turning. Which one was I using? You're yeah. turning them. You've got them all next to each other, and it's... And it's all you're slipping even right one down to the, to the smaller sizes as well um so we're at 79 pounds and 99 pence um solid sterling uh, solid solid wood sorry is what i was about to say um and top quality uh, um punch sets you know they're, they're really lovely and smooth that's something claire was talking about the other day she was saying they're lovely yes, and smooth lovely. Um, and they and they yeah they'll create a perfect um little dome very very quickly and that's the whole, that's how good they are they're lovely Actually, there you go well they're brand new <laughs> let's bring to your price point have we got quantity of these 100 available wow 29 pounds and 99 pence only and of course you can't make a bee cap without a dome no you? you can't and this is what you need so what you do you say you've got a bead and you want to know what size of um cap to put in just just it's like play a little ah. game and then oh it's too big like and then solitaire. Put it in that one. <laughs> yeah a bit like that a big a bead sonnet until you fit it and think oh that fits nicely into that one so that's the one i want to sort of really aim for but i'll slightly go bigger first um and you can go bigger and then aim work down if you like so let's go up to that one and then choose one of the punches that might fit into that so i'm going to go for that one two three down and i'm going to use again my hammer that i'm um, use for, um, I've written metalwork on it, so you just literally that's the one you use for metalwork. And have a ha some people have a, a special ricochet hammer. I haven't got one of those. We have, have sold them in the past for um, stamping, stamping hammers. They're quite useful too. And you can see I've already made one little curve, and that'll fit on quite a big bead. So I've got, as I say, I've got a big um, ten millimeter bead or something that'll fit on that one nicely. Yeah. Um, so out it comes, tip it out into the next one down. And then I might uh, go for next next stopping block down. It, it's just you know, well, and then just tap tap tip it. It's really quicker than I'm actually because I'm talking about it probably more than it longer it takes to make it. Well, Rachel, we're not even done at twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, we'll drop that price point for you. We've got a hundred of these. It is brand new. It's a premiere opportunity. Um, and they're weighty, aren't they? These are tools that I shouldn't ever imagine that you need to actually replace. 
No. As long as you no. look after them. Look after them, keep them in an airtight box as well. Yeah. Um, and keep them nice and dry. There we are. I'll run into the last one. You can see how beautiful and curved that is. And then tip it out. 19.99. Well oh, done. Yeah. There's a hundred of these. I should imagine these are going to absolutely fly because you think tools, most of us think expense. Yeah, that's really good. And it's portable. This one, there's more portable ones as well because some of them are big, hefty things. And this yeah. is one you can actually take somewhere and yeah. work with it as well. So it's lovely. So you've there. just gradually worked well, it down. It's quicker. Oh. Again, I talked about it longer than it really took to make it. You can get through loads. What I do is drill loads and then tap. To, um, you know, cut out those little flowers. Then I drilled the whole lot, and then waited for the battery to run out on the on the Dremel, and then um, made lots into shapes. So you just batch do them, and you've got them really very quickly done. So well, everyone knows how to do wrap loops, but that is what you do, basically. Well, not everybody, but if you know you can do a wrap loop, basically just use that's what you use to make the B cap. So make one wrap loop first, cut the end, put one B cap on, another bead. The other bead cap on. It's so pretty. Another wrap loop at the other end. It's such a pretty little component. Mm. The bracelets, the connectors, and you've added something to the bead. You're also protecting the bead from, from, from knocking and bumping and wear and tear, and you still see the colour of the bead. So it sort of adds this wonderful um, sort of, well, it, it looks like a quality made piece rather than, well, it just adds to the yeah. design if you're putting a lot of copper in there. Absolutely. So what should we do next? So we do a bit of daily shaping. Um, I'll just show you the texturing as well. Yes. Um, because the texturing hammer is also on the website. I don't know whether you've got that um, listed. I have got, I've got the code. Did you need the code, Ross, at all? I've got the code somewhere. He'll have, he'll have a little look yeah. now. It's a um, it. dimpled and striped texturing hammer, and that's okay. really quite useful. I, I use it to make a sort of like a, like a sort of flower shape. Let's, I'm going to use it on a blank one, and you'll see what I mean. Um, so, and actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to use it on. Sorry, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing. I'm going to use it on this one. I've already drilled this one. This is going to be a component for the necklace. They're so going to make that next. And I've drilled this with six drill holes all the way around near the edges of each petal. One, two, three, all around the next edges of each petal. And another drill hole really close to the circular. And I've done a circular um, disc punch in the middle. Um, and um, I recommend that really if you're doing the component. Um, although you can just use a little flower component like like one of these and do exactly the same and fit a bead into the center actually mm -hmm. um, it's just you can't well i think you could probably do the same actually flower and flower you'd be you'd be fine okay so i've done that and really you can texture before you um stamp it or you can texture afterwards it really doesn't matter so um although you might get a crisper edge if you texture before you stamp because when you stamp out it'll be yeah. stamping crystal but anyway let's show you the um the this wonderful dimpling hammer so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a wonderful or show you the, the flower effect as well in a minute so all i'm going to do i can use this cork or i can use my fingers and just hold this one petal then turn the piece oops this is going to work turn the piece Really slightly making a hash of this, but I've turned the piece so you can see this wonderful effect coming along in this in this uh, flower here. Can you see the, the effect? Yeah. Okay. Um, and also remember you, you can you can polish your metal as well. So you can use the jewelry maker polishing cloths from the birthday box are actually really good. Look at look at that at bringing up a shine. I know everybody thought they were. I don't know. I don't know if everyone did or not. I thought, actually, I thought, well, what a brilliant thing to have. Well, we Here. need it. No, we, look. Need to, we need to clean our jewellery. Look how good that polish is from, from that side that is unpolished. And I'll show you how quickly that comes up. So those Julie making poly polishing cloths from the birthday box are actually really, really, really good. And they're really useful. Look at that. So yeah. 
that's, that's brought that up immediately to fantastic polish. So if you got those, they were really, <laughs> really, really useful. So more of those actually as a separate um, buy actually, because they're actually really useful. So um, next we're gonna dome these. Now there was a doming block yesterday that has a slightly bigger dome. If not, you can use, um, if you haven't got it yet, sand, a sand bag with a kind of indent with it. And so I forgot my sand bag. But you can like make an indent in your sandbag and then bash it out into a hole, mm -hmm. uh, into a little dip, and then make your curve. Oh, we've got, we can put sandbags on your screen. So actually, yeah, we don't see them very often. Because we haven't got these at the moment. But the doming block from yesterday. Yesterday would have done. Yeah. Would have done it. If not, a sandbag with it. Um, just make out a little indentation and then do your okay. sort of dapping. Um, just to qu quickly do one. Um, I think this might be my the slightly wrong doming block. So I've got one that actually is a deeper one. Bear with me, I'm going to run and get that. Sorry, everybody. No problem at all. And I guess you can just work and make all these different flowers, yeah. components, and then um, piece so this them is together. It. Is it? <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, we're just getting uh, uh, Rachel mic'd up. Don't worry, on your screens right now is the sandbag. There we go. Back there we are, room. back in room. <laughs> and there we are. Um, we're just going to use, just imagine you've got the doming block or the sandbag with an indent. All you have to do is use the ball end of a, a nicer hammer than that one and or, and or a wooden dapping block like that one of these and then just make a little sort of um, hole. Right, that, sorry, a little curve like that. So you've got that. So for larger flowers, you will need a larger dapping block. But the smaller flowers, you've got the smaller dapping yep. block that's here, which is really, really good for Or a sandbag. Use a sandbag. sandbag. So I'm going to quickly do the... Um, a oh, there we go. So there's a hardwood dapping block like Rachel was using on your screens right now. So... Um, oh, it's a flower box. Yeah, that, I haven't got one of those. And I think Ooh. you could put them in there these flowers, and I think you could, I wish we had one here in the studio just to show you, because I haven't got one. I didn't buy one when we had one out, I'd missed it. And um, that is really good. I think you could, on the other side are smaller flowers, and I think you might be able to put the flowers in that. Oh, but, amazing, um, that'd be perfect. You know, so, um, if not, you can do it manually using, I'm gonna show you how to use them on the little dapping block to make the flower in a minute, actually. I'll do that for mm -hmm. you. Um, let's quickly make this into a curve, and then we'll attach those together. Okay, so this one I made with the flat, the um, small flower shape. This little flower I made using the fl small flower shape. I've lost all the blocks, um, and the um, the third, the second largest. Okay, so you need one big flower shape with either a circular um, disc cut out or a little flower cut, and a larger. Um, one. Oh gosh, did I use that? Just check. Oh no, it's a small one. Sorry, lovelies. Oh, I will get it right. Um, yeah, it'll have to be the, it'll be a smaller one. It's I a don't think there's one. a right there or wrong go. though, is there? There we are. So, and then um, I might, this one might have been drilled. I don't need to drill it, but there we go. Quickly, quickly shape it. That's it. That's how quick it is. This copper is so malleable. Right, so next is adding it all together just to make that little shape. So take a little bit of 0.4 or 0.6 if you feel like you want it to be more durable. And um, so here you've got, you've got the ability to layer a smooth um, piece over a textured piece to really sort of add, add lots of um, texture and detail to each other, to, to it, sorry. Um, come on, Rachel, sort yourself out. <laughs> no, you worry, uh, it's all good. And then um, what you, do is you, you put a bead, and it can be a 6 mil or 8 mil, depending on how big the, the centre hole is. Um, and I basically led this over, it, over. I'm going to take this away. Can you see? You can see it, it's fine. So I, let, I went through one of the sort of inner holes on this, um, uh, larger flower and these are all these other holes are used for attaching so you basically use them to attach other components to and these inner holes are used to attach the bead into so 
I basically wrap round the inner notch of um, the inner flower and through this other drill hole. So the inner drill hole, there we go. Then I'm going to attach on, I'm th gonna go for a six, six millimeter bead, one of, like one of the Amazonites that we had today. Very similar, a beautiful color. And then you come across to the other side. There you go, get there in the end. There's such a lot to show you because there's such a lot of potential. It's just amazing, really. Pop this round. Um, this perhaps didn't need a, the inner flower doesn't need any drill holes in it. I did put drill holes in because actually you need them for the other, some of the other components in the necklace that have drill holes in. There we go. And just pull it a bit tighter. This hasn't come through tighter. Just pull, push it through and then bring it up. And you're meant to go through twice because it just makes, that makes it more secure. Then you bring both wires up inside the inner hole and then wrap it round the wire. So you're going to pull this out a little bit, wrap it round the uh, wire either side of the bead. Can you see? So what I'm going to do is bring this in round just next to the bead and inside the hole and it starts to pull everything in. So I'm putting it quite tight from the back. And then again, once more, we can do two, I'll do another one on the other side. So this has come up on the inside hole and I'm just gonna just wrap it round the wire either side of the bead. Pull it tight and it starts to pull the bead back into the hole and really secures it. I went up round once more again on either side and then cut at the back of the, so imagine I do it twice or once more again on either side of the bead and I cut really close in at the back of this shape and you've got that component made. Can you see that? There we go. So that's that Lovely. Component. So one other thing I needed to show you was, what was mm -hmm. it? Making some in flowers. So, um, it was the flowers for the, the flowers for the necklace, really. But I'm just going to show you how to shape this one or, or texture it first. Um, so you use a, you can use a pointy tool or some of these. This is a scribe, and I think this is on the website, this sort of scribey thing. Okay. Yeah, that's on the website too, but I'm not sure whether it's got a, I don't know what its code is, but it's like a double end subscribe with a ball on an end and a scribey thing at the other end. Okay. Or a scribe. And all you do then is just create a texture. So this is a texture. Can you see how I'm just scraping oh out? Oh gosh, how it's really, easy really, is that? <laughs> really easy. And it creates this really wonderful shiny texture. Can you see it already appearing? Yeah. Well, yes. it's on your screens right now. We've put the graphics on for the scribey, scribey, scribey tool. tool. <laughs> scribey tool, we're calling it. Yeah. <laughs> just that. Pointy scribey tool. Yeah. And and then all I'm doing is creating a sort of really amazing, and it has a reflection in the direction of the. I just turn it, and then I'm making that. That looks like veins and a petal, isn't it? Almost, you know. Mm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some. So look, can you see now? Oh, I've changed lovely. it completely. Again, wow! Text, yeah. You see. And what we need to do with this with this flower is I'm going to bring them in the dapping block. Don't use that one because that's the perfect that one. And then oh gosh, I'm going to choose a little area that I'm going to be able to. Um, I want to put say this. This I've made this bead cap. Sorry, I'm just rambling now. I'm really sorry. But You're not at I've all. Done, used, following you. I've used one of the medium flowers, like 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 that one. Gosh, the the second one up, the second smallest. I made a bead cap using this large largest one here. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I made. I made a cup with a bee cap with this. So this is why I'm using both tools. It's fantastic. And this is going to fit inside this, this flower. But I need to make a cup in this that this will fit into. So I'm just going to slightly make um, a cup, maybe... I'll go for this one, see, here. and try and get in the centre with one of the... Um, small or medium tools like that, like the nine. Yeah, I'm going to put it right in the centre. So I'm going to. This is. I can't remember which one I used. So uh, this is a bit of potluck. <laughs> so I'm going to go in the centre, and everything stays flat on the outside. Can you see that? 
but this will come in nice and you've got a little, oh. little sort of um, dent in the middle. So that's how you start to make the flower. Okay. Lovely. And this will fit really nicely in the, si in the side. And you've got drill holes in the middle so that, remember, drill them in the middle and you can put a bead in the centre. But I'm going to show you a little bit more of something here because I'm going to help you sh shape the petals. And you can do this with chain nose pliers wherever they are. There we go. So um, you could try and dome these like that, but I think it's just easier with this. Just bring in the chain nose pliers, hold close. And if you want to wear gloves for this point, you can. Hold really close to the, to the groove and just rotate to, I suppose, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. And then with this, on this side, you wrote clockwise, anti-clockwise. Uh, okay, so you're folding them in Clockwise, almost. yeah, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise all the way around, and we're nearly there. There we go, can you see how I've just twisted this around, just manually, because the cop is so good. Um, and then we got the, the petal. There we go. So you've got a shaped petal with Beautiful. another cup in the middle and a little bead will fit in the centre. Like Rachel, they're absolutely amazing. I love that. And the fact that you've, you know, if, you're, if you've been following Rachel um, and engrossed and maybe paid no attention to the graphics, lots of the tools that Rachel used have been included, including that flower duffing block, if you Ooh, wanted it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yes, actually. So it's it is front bigger, and reverse. But I think actually you could help, you can help it. You can use it to help you start dating. Yeah. Lovely, so actually. you could add that, plus the hole punch, amazing, plus the disc cutters, amazing, the scribey Thule doobie. Um, we've had that sandbag, which has been yeah. fabulous. <laughs> Um, amazing. So make sure you check out your baskets on the hole punch and the disc cutter in particular because they are getting very limited. What's the stock update on the hole, on the, on the dapping block? Sorry, disc cutter sold out. Less than 20 of the whole uh, plate punch set because lots of you got involved on that. Yeah. Um, but again, the flower dapping block, the sandbag, which I can't remember the last mm. time we saw a sandbag. No, and that you see, again, they're really useful for abs absorbing some of the yeah. bashing, That's for true. shaping, um, in actually protecting can, surfaces. Yeah, you can do all sorts things. of um, uh, lovely shapes um, with, with the sandbag because you can almost create a little groove and then shape. So I saw them in a DIY shop. They're pretty expensive <laughs> elsewhere, aren't they? Yeah, um, they yeah. I mean, I suppose, you know, they do last, but they are pretty expensive in mm. certain places. Mm. The leather as well, aren't they? Yeah, so, yeah. Mm. Um, Rachel, it's been oh, so lovely you. having you back. You. Um, bless you. Mm. Mm. Thank, thank you so much. I mean, hopefully not too long. No, I guess. No, I just have to sort of see how it goes. Enjoy um, your week yeah, off. Yes. Your nice rest. <laughs> bless you. Um, all that on an hour and a half sleep. Oh, bless you. I know. I've got a hotel tonight because I'm covering um, Musgrave holiday leave. So in. So, there you go. So you can have a nice yeah. rest then. <laughs> um, fabulous. It's been an absolutely amazing show. Um, I'm back with you on Wednesday, Drawer of the Wall of Fame. And we've got the lovely, the beautiful Claire McDonald. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Tomorrow you have, what day is it tomorrow? Monday tomorrow. So you've got lovely, uh, lovely Carol and gorgeous Alison. Um, I think they've got some silk. I think as they're early birds, so very exciting. The deal of the day tomorrow um, is, oh, some lovely amber. So that's exciting. A whole hour of amber, yes. gosh. Um, brand new strands. So that's going to be absolutely amazing. We've got Panda Day on Thursday, which I'm very excited <laughs> about. Let's be honest, pandas. I know. They're just, I mean, so wonderfully ridiculous, yeah. aren't they? Um, love those. And I've seen some of the carvings, heshy <gasps> beads and pandas. Okay. You can still get some of the Amazonite. You can still get some of the dapping blocks. Um, and you can still get hold of today's deal of the day. Those three lengths of uh, 50 centimetre chains, um, over 12 grams of sterling silver. The graphics on your screens right now. Um, yeah, big gram weight, amazing deal at 39.99. So you can still get hold of those just about maybe Maybe the J class as well. I'm not entirely sure. Your kits this morning. Please Thank watch you. back yes. um, Rachel's show this morning. It's been amazing. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. We're going to catch up on the lionesses now. But okay. thank you for joining bye -bye, us. Bye-bye. Thank you.